All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you're all doing well. Starting uh, 15 minutes early today. Look at that. We got the magic. Festus here cackling with uh, with glee that he was chosen as the campaign. The Dow we just actually lost to the Warriors of Chaos by literally like 75 votes. It was super close in the poll, but we do have the Warriors of Chaos, and we are going to be playing Festus. I do play Nurgle in tabletop. Got a big Death Guard army, so it certainly feels fun to uh, play the big Chungus himself. And uh, yeah, man, he's stoked. He's got like a little Wookiee type character up on his shoulder. Life is good. The dreaded early start, I know, I know. There's so many fun choices, man. I couldn't decide what I wanted to play. I was like looking at all the Warriors of Chaos characters. I know Bellacor can like teleport around the map, which is pretty cool. Your boy Festus, uh, he obviously has some of the core mechanics that you see with the Nurgle Demons in that he can spread plagues, which is nice. It's, it's, Festus can do it a little bit cheaper. Not Festus, excuse me, Kugath, but um, yeah, it's still useful. Should be fun. I know, I'm super excited. It is a grudgeon for sure. But, you know, it's not my grudging. You guys voted, so we got Festus, we got Valkia here. I played her campaign a little bit of my own. It's really fun. Her campaign is really strong because you can get the uh, Corn Hounds really, really early on. And you can spam them and really cheese like siege battles and, you know, crush back lines. Why is Festus so happy? So it's a bit of a thing with Nurgle that, like, Nurgle followers, at least in my experience of reading the lore, are either like very morose and like depressed, or they're like super just insane and happy. Like, so Festus kind of falls into the second category that we talked about there. So, yes, it's going to be great, man. Festus is really fun. So, what does he bring to the table? His vassals gain a poison attacks and spread Nurgle corruption. It's all right. So, all the different chaos characters, like you know, well, at least the champions of chaos do give the. Uh, give some cool effects to their vassals. He can brew plagues, much like, uh, you know, the Nurgle demons. And whenever he spreads a plague, you get souls. Souls are what is used to pay for your gifts and also do other unique campaign effects, which is quite cool. And then we do also have plague duration plus three turns uh, for the armies in provinces. So plague duration plus three turns, armies in province. Okay, that's pretty cool. So if Festus is, obviously has a plague on himself, it's going to be adding plus three turns, allowing you to spread it even more, which obviously uh, we'll, we'll do one right away and see how it goes and see how effective it could be, so... Battle healing cap. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, that's actually really good. So obviously, you know, the healing cap was put in place to prevent infinite healing from just being one of the most egregious and like broken mechanics in the game, right? But Dr. Festus's healing cap for his whole army is increased by 25%, which is very strong, especially when you get like super high HP characters like Chosen of Nurgle, which is what we're going to be doing. So should be pretty rad. As far as the map goes, he starts up in the north. He starts uh, in the Empire, which I thought would be kind of fun. He starts at the Brass Keep. So we're going to start there and just kind of like take out the nearby empire. Um, this campaign, we're going to go for his long victory instead of the short one like we did with Volkmar. Uh, his long victory is to destroy the empire, Karon. Uh, pretty much the entire order tide needs to go. So that's kind of the direction that we're going to be going. Did I see? Yeah, I saw the zombie healing video. It's pretty fun. Uh, somebody in chat before we start on Festus wanted to see Sigvald. He has a cool new intro. He like walks up to the mirror. Yeah, check it out. This is one that we had on the poll as well. Not too many people wanted to see it, but... I do plan on doing this campaign someday. Um, yeah, Sigvald, Slanesh stuff is just super powerful in general, so. Yes, Festus is here, the big Chungus. Let's get this party started, no more games. And uh, we start with some trolls, giants, warriors, all the good stuff. So, let it begin. Let's have some fun. We uh, have the, what settings do we want to do for the end game? Is there a specific end game scenario that you guys want to see? Let's actually put it to a poll. We'll do this real quick while we have you guys here. So you guys can vote on what you want to see. So uh, we already had the Vampire Ascension. So Wild Hunts, uh, Big Wah, okay. Grudge or Pyramid. All right, so let's see what you guys want. So we already saw the Vampiric Ascension in our last campaign. So you guys can vote on this real quick, and whatever you guys vote, we'll uh, set for, and we can set the turn timer a little bit sooner. We'll do like turn 55, and uh, between turn 55 and like 100, so that way, you know, we'll guaranteed get it. Even if I like manage to finish the campaign really quickly, it's going to happen, so. Turn 10, Wild Hunt, please. Oh my god, just getting like absolutely annihilated. Mm. Yeah, we start with the giant. It's pretty cool. All right, so what have we got voted so far? Uh <laughs> You know, I was really, really, really hoping you guys wouldn't vote for the Grudge one because it's it's going to be, oh my god, it's such a terror for Nurgle. You have all these, like, massive, the Grudge armies that spawn, they come with, like, like organ guns and flame cannons and just, like, iron breakers, and it's just like, oh, hell, kill me, dude. The dwarves demand vengeance for being an F tier. All right, so we're going to we're gonna turn all these, uh, all these off except the Grudge too far, so the Dwarven Grudge will come. Um... 
All right, that looks fine, right? I think we're good. So we got the dwarves as the end game event. And Dr. Yeah, Ner Festus, the dwarves and Nurgle are like enemies. They, they're like lore enemies, so. All right, Big Chungus, you've laughed enough. Let's get in there. Wild Hunt seems pretty miserable Miserable with all the Way Watchers. Oh, I agree for sure. Yeah, f fighting AI Wood Elf armies is probably one of the most unpleasant experiences in this game. I mean, in a fun way, sort of. You know what I'm saying? The end game difficulty? Oh, well, does it actually matter if you like turn it up pretty high? I know I didn't notice that big of a difference when I put it up a little bit. But it should be fine. I'm uh, like The one we faced on Volkmar, which was just normal, was pretty strong, actually. Yeah. A Grudge Too Far is such a cool title. Yeah, it sure seems like it. All right, so we're going to be loading into the Empire with Big Daddy Festus. From there, we will just start doing our thing. And what I love about the Warriors of Chaos is you really don't really... You don't need to worry too much about, like, the direction you go. You kind of just do whatever you want. Yeah, there's not a Vermintide one. I'm sure it'll be getting added later. They'll probably... What they'll do is they'll add Thankwill eventually. You know, the big rat himself. Well, he's not that big, but you guys get the picture. They'll add Thankwill, and then they'll do the Vermintide. It would be my two cents. Saw the thumbnail and had to click this immediately. I thought it was a pretty good thumbnail. Yeah, it was a fun one. Dragon Vault, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Skaven will get a Vermintide one eventually, where they like appear under every city. Alright. So Festus is here. We have a poor Empire army. The Brass Keep as well. Ooh, we actually get a an exalted hero of Nurgle who are super cool. She's like heavy metal, like armored. Uh, Festus is already a pretty good caster, so I don't think we need to kind of get another caster. Although, let's take a look at Festus and look at his abilities real quick. So... He obviously has like Okay, can you can you stop talking? Thank you. He's actually got a pretty standard blue tree, it looks like, although here at the end we do get a casualty replenishment and attrition and disease bearer, which gives us souls gained and nurgle corruption. Okay, nothing too crazy there. Now looking up at the top, we do have the Sage of Contagion. Casualty captured post battle. Infection cost. That's pretty nice. Yeah, minus twenty percent five percent of the infection cost is pretty good. Doctor's order, so battle healing cap, another plus 25%. So you can increase the battle healing cap with Festus uh, of up to 50%. So you can just heal so much more. Bedside manner, diplomatic relations with Warriors of Chaos, Norska, all that sort of good stuff. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, so hit points, unit mass. So that's actually pretty good for him. He's not like as big as you would think compared to like Kugath. So having a little bit of mass to move his Mortis engine around I think isn't bad at all. And Festus is probably one of the cheesiest campaign characters ever. Uh, his ability to mortise engine things without having to be in contact with them is really abusive. You can like hide him behind walls and he'll mortise engine the other side. There's lots of nasty stuff. So looking here, we do have clinical hygiene, chance of spreading a plague, plus 15%, and uh, makes our army immune to contact effects. That's pretty cool. And Gardener of Nurgle, this is, eh, gives him demonic, I guess. So, okay, so it turns Festus into like a demon prince, sort of. So he becomes unbreakable. He's not going to rout. All right, that's okay. That one's kind of cool. Obviously, we have the Nurgle tree. Um, as far as the Nurgle magic goes, it's pretty good. There might be more effective choices, but honestly, just going stream of corruption and, you know, Blight Boil and just spamming that on the blobs of Empire Troopers is going to be totally fine. And the rest of the tree seems pretty fine. Yeah, he's got the Lord of Pestilence, which gives the Nurgle corruption. And that's more or less it. So it's missing a Nurgle roster after DLC and anti-large options. So honestly, Nurgle has good anti-large options. Uh, after some of the changes, because if somebody brings something big, you can use number one, the Nurgle monsters, or you can use the throwing axes. So Nurgle now has throwing axes in multiplayer, so you can use those throwing axes to kill big targets. So Nurgle has plenty of stuff, and they have plenty of good mass to lock down big monsters, so I'm not too concerned about that. So Brass Keep, um, Marauders of Nurgle, we could obviously go recruit some if we want to. Because if we recruit Marauders of Nurgle, if you haven't seen the new Warriors of Chaos update, so let's go ahead and show you guys how this all works. You go and click on a unit, then you then click the Warband Upgrades, and it gives you the option to rank up said unit. So you can see here, uh, these basic Marauders will eventually be able to become Chaos Warriors, which is pretty cool. So um, we can go here, and you can see we could actually already soup these guys up. No, these are the basic Marauders. So yeah, you can switch between the Great Weapon and the Shielded variant. Against Empire, you want to start with Shields. And uh, you can tech up units as they get different skills. So I could, for example, upgrade these Great Weapons to Nurgle Warriors, which... I'll do that right now. So you see now they're Nurgle Warriors, which is awesome. I can turn these Marauders into Nurgle Marauders. The Troll, I can upgrade into an Armored Troll eventually. I don't think he has a Nurgle tree. I don't think so, no. So you can see the different tech trees where you can upgrade units. Typically, there's a requirement to go to the next tier. The unit has to be rank 5. So you can see this is all locked for the Undivided Warriors. I would just need to get rank 5 with these Marauders in combat. So um, 
So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward as far as recruitment. Uh, you can do warband recruitment, which you can do like away from your city, from your dark fortress, and you can get like basic marauders and basic hounds. You can see the uh, percentage that they'll become available each turn. So your warband slowly grows. So when you're on your you know adventures, you just recruit new units and you train them up. Now, of course, Chaos does have like infrastructure. So here I can get, um, you can see there's no tech to get like chosen, right? So the only way to get like the super elite chung is chosen is through uh, getting a warrior and then like upgrading them through the path of ascension, which I think is really cool. That exalted champion of Nurgle has a unique trait. He is your, he is the son of the army leader you'll fight in your first battle. Oh, that's kind of interesting. That's cool. Yeah, the upgrade system is super fun, guys. Um, obviously, I could go for a caster too, but for now, I don't really need that. So what I'm going to do is get the Fighter's Lodge, which will give us the uh, hero exalted hero capacity. So I can start training up another hero. So we're going to start on that. And that also gives us Warriors, which is very, very good. And Big Chung is Festus. You said this guy had a unique trait? Let's see. Uh, melee attack when fighting against humans causes fear when fighting against humans. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Wait, was I just clicking on Festus? I meant to click on this guy. There we go. Okay. Ah, yeah, pretty rad, man. Pretty dude. Look how cool that guy looks, man. Oh man, I love the I love the Nurgle stuff. So we're gonna start get some units and uh, we'll fight the first battle just so I can show you what Festus does in battle and everything. I'm sure you guys have already seen it. I, I went through YouTube today looking to see what campaigns were being played, and it looks like not a lot of people had played Festus. I think there was like one other channel. There's a lot of Valkyria campaigns and several village campaigns, but not too many Festus campaigns. So that was kind of how we decided. And honestly, Azazel doesn't excite me that much other than him sinking like the Titanic in our most recent battle, but you know. So I actually don't have a, any sort of a link, like a affiliate link or whatever for this DLC. So don't thank I do appreciate the gesture, but don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, Luton, he has the same name as his character, huh? Well, that's pretty unfortunate. It's gotta feel bad for your boy Aldebrand here. We'll look at the victory conditions after this as well. Yeah, those are battle effects, not traits. I saw. Yeah. Okoye played Festus, did he? Did he already finish it, though? Or did he just do one episode? The side grade system is really nice. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, he probably did it on Twitch. All right, so we have the Nurgle Warriors. Okay, so let's just kind of approach from... Oh, this is like a like a weird choke point here. Oh, okay, so we have a little bit of, little bit of terrain. Exalted. Festus could maybe solo this army. He's that he's that filthy, which I guess is like lore friendly. Um, you want your marauders to fight as well because you want them to earn chevron, so you want to like actually send them in. And Doctor Festus. So once Festus gets like a little bit more sauced out, we'll try some we'll try some fun stuff with him. Uh, I think there's a mortar over here. What do we have? Some empire knights. Okay, so we probably want to get the trolls here. Trolls are a pretty good anti-cab unit. Typically in multiplayer, you can use them to like buckle Empire Knights and things like that. So close up of the Nurgle Warriors. Yeah, absolutely. If you haven't seen them, I showed them in a couple multiplayer streams, but this is like making me want to play Nurgle in tabletop. Oh my God. I already played them in 40K, but in fantasy, I don't have a Nurgle army. Dude, look how rad they love. I love the Baroque armor like that. And this paint, this paint scheme would be really easy. You would actually, what you would do if you were playing tabletop and you wanted to have an army like this, is you simply uh, spray prime your Nurgle warriors in a gray, like a, a, a gray, sla a, like a really charcoal black. And then you would just do like some sort of a dry brush, it looks like, with like a, like a dirty green to make the armor like green and grimy. And then you would just do like a little bit of gold trim with like a, like a, like a beaten bronze. Yeah, I can already see it. Festus is here, baby. The doctor is in. All right, let's get the Marauders to go flank. What are these? These are just some Haggard Empire Knights, which we're going to take them apart probably. All right, so we'll fast forward as we approach the army. Again, you want everything to fight with chaos. It's really important to have like some effective combat because you want to, um, you want to, um, what's it called? You want to be getting the. We'll get the hounds kind of chilling up on the high ground here. You want to get the chevrons on things, right? Festus, uh, what does he start with? He starts with miasma pestilence. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we're getting chosen of Nurgle. My goal is to have an entire army of just just erect great weapon Nurgle warriors that just get in there and uh, we'll go with the mortis engine for now. Oh, can I? Yeah, okay, I can just switch between them. I guess in multiplayer it's a little bit different. So yeah, we have Stream of Corruption. We have all sor sorts of good stuff. Um, these Empire Knights will wreck my Marauders a little bit, but if we get a surround, it should be okay. All right, so let's get you guys around the back. Prepare for the Mortars. Dr. Festus is in. Obviously, the Archers hurt a little bit. Where are, they? Where are you going, buddy? Are you just trying to flee the scene there a little bit? All right. Yep, so we take a little charge from the Empire Knights. It's okay. Get you around the back. That's why we go Shielded Warriors. 
And Festus is about to get real OP. We just have to make sure that Empire Captain doesn't like beat him up too much. But you can see his Mortis engine is already like in effect, right? Which is pretty crazy. All right, so you guys sandwich those Empire Knights. Should lead to their demise. We can go here. Giants are in shop. And let's get these Empire Knights moving as the Mortar gets crumped by the Hounds. There we go. All right. So Dr. Festus having a good old jolly time. Uh, we do have another stream. I don't know if we really even need it. Okay, let's get the Hounds running away. Hound's about to get run over by those Empire Knights. Let's get the Armored Trolls in there. You guys go here. Run away from those Empire Knights. Dr. Festus just being nice and overpowered. Let's go get the Giant to lay a beat down on the Aldebrand here. And you can see what I'm saying. Those Empire Knights kind of get crumped. We'll get the Hounds. And uh, yeah, we should earn some Chevrons post-battle, hopefully. All right, Warriors and Trolls surge into the backfield. Warriors get back here. Uh, feels like multiplayer when like Empire battle lines hold for like five seconds. Five seconds against Warriors of Chaos. We're gonna switch to healing elixirs now. Just start, start healing up the crew since we don't really need the Mortis at this point. And uh, ooh, those hounds actually kind of got wrecked a little bit. What do we have? We have some uh, some melee attack buffs. Let's drop those. All right, team. We need the Marauders to go join the hounds. Perfect. Perfect. So Festus is in. The good doctor has arrived. We will hunt down whatever we can. Obviously, the army is going to be able to retreat, so we want to do as much damage as possible. And you can see Festus is healing. It's really insane because you can gather your entire army uh, at the end of the battle and just heal them if you want to with Festus too. It's another very, very strong mechanic here. All right, trolls are chasing. We have you guys doing your thing. Let's go after these guys. Exalted hero can go take down Big Papa here. Although it looks like the giants got that covered. All right, swordsmen, let's go. This is good. Letting the Marauders kind of grind in melee a little bit is going to earn them some more chevrons, which is good, which is solid, I would say. All right, let's get these Empire Knights. Surprised how well the uh, Empire is doing here. The AI is not doing bad. All right, so we need to chase down some stuff using Hounds. Um, we have some units here we can hunt. Let's get the Marauders to go chase, and we want them to try and earn some chevrons if possible. Looks like they didn't really get any, which is unfortunate, but you can't win them all. And there you go. Hey, Gunhound, welcome to the stream. A grudge too far, yeah. So we're getting the Dwarven Endgame scenario, which is going to be the plan. Alright, everything's looking pretty good to me, man. A decisive victory, man. We're so good at this game. We certainly have crushed the AI. Empire armies are, I would say, one of the... Nah, you know, late game Empire armies can be a little bit annoying to fight when they have, like, Hellstorms and things like that, but... Yeah, we got a Chevron on one of the Warriors, right? So once he gets rank 5, I can then send him up to the next rank, which would be Chosen. So that's how it works. The poll was for the end game event, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure many people joined in. They're just like, all right, I'm just going to vote for Grudge because, because you know, Grudge. Have you or any other channel done any campaign co-op before? Um, I've done head-to-head uh, -head campaigns in the past, and I actually was talking to Okoy, and we're going to do a 2v2 campaign. We'll get Professor Pwn. I think Pwn and I will be on a team like facing off against like Okoy and someone else, which would be really, really fun. So, um, yeah, I'm super hyped. We'll do that after launch. Uh, we'll find something really fun to do. Like, really fun combination. Okay, so we can take Infections, Souls. It's kind of a tricky one. Yeah, let's take the Infections. Ah, I totally forgot to spread the plague. It is what it is. So, um... Gambler's Armor. Ooh, that's actually not a bad first item to get. Okay. Yeah, that gives Ward save. Oh my god, look at how, look at this Chungus. So, Route Marcher is always useful. Let's go down. Devoted of Chaos is kind of a nice one because it increases the experience gain for units when you're fighting against Order, right? So this is kind of nice to get really quick. I think I'm going to do this because that will give us 20% more experience and extra souls as well. But that means our armies will become chosen quicker. Do the chevrons reset when the upgrade? Yeah. So when you re when you upgrade someone, it resets them basically. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Marcus will fart in Alberic. We'll do. We'll put it to a vote. It's going to be fun. Do you still do campaigns with Italian Spartacus? If he wants to, yeah. He's thing is Sparty covers a lot of games now, so he's not just on Total War. So it's uh. Yeah, we're going to do Devoted of Chaos. That one's pretty good. The experience gain versus order is going to add up. Uh, training is actually decent because it gives you the chevrons on the units so you can check them out quicker, right? Okay, so let's go ahead. I love how there's like a, a cultist camp that makes dies. So we're going to go ahead and get the growth. So the Gift of Nurgle. This is the new other new mechanic. You can put... You unlock gifts over time. And to unlock a gift, you can see this, right? So... Uh, the higher the number of active gifts, the chaos you have, the more Eye of the Gods draws your faction. So the more gifts you have active, the more the chaos gods give you eventually. So you unlock all these slots. 
So what you can do is you can go and have a Nurgle gift on the outside and you have your undivided gifts on the middle, which is pretty good. So I can put the Rotting Retinue in here, which means that every couple turns I get Plague Bearers and Nurglings added to my pool, or I can do the Bloom of Decay. Now what the Bloom of Decay does is uh, growth per region plus 75 after winning a battle. So for example, if I want to get the bigger, if I'm like in one of my Dark Fortress areas, you could put that and get a little bit of goodness. Now what else do we have down here? Uh, this gives us Beasts of Nurgle. Ooh, I might actually do the Blighted Beasts because the Beasts of Nurgle actually are not a bad unit to have early on. Turn really out here making his hero fight his own dad. You know, you got no choice, man. You got no choice. And this one, this gift will unlock after sacrificing the specified number of souls. Okay, so once we sacrifice more souls, we unlock. Missile resist for all Nurgle units are really good. Virulent Contagion for an army ability, and eventually we get the War Shrine of Nurgle. All right, so there's a lot of cool stuff down here. Eventually, yeah, okay. So somebody in chat was asking if we can get great unclean ones, and it looks like we can. So we can get them with the Pestilent Plague Fraud. I actually didn't even look at that, so. We are going to do the uh, Beast of Nurgle one. Let's do the Blighted Beast. So I'm going to add that to the slot. It does have an upkeep of 50 souls per turn. Okay, so a little bit tricky. Uh, and now for Undivided, this one can give us Furies. Um... Adding it to the slot does cost 500, so I'm just going to chill out on just that one for now. So, that should be okay. Now, as far as Brewing Plagues go, let's see what we got. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've taken a look at these. Oh my god, there's some there's some crazy stuff here. Festus's Abubos. Plague, Festus's Rot. So, plus 5 infections when a plague is spread. Souls gained from battle. Okay, that's pretty good. Energal Authority. This one, yeah, looks like they're more or less the same. Yeah, it's the second tier that is different. They all give you the baseline of infection. So that gives you Nurgle Authority and Missile Resist. I feel like the Souls gain post-battle is going to be the good one. So let's go ahead and assign the Festus's Rot here. What do we currently have? Festus's Pox. So that gives you... Yeah, no, it doesn't seem that, that good. So let's get you. And these will... Once we get Festus's Rot unlocked a couple times... Because the Souls gain from battle seems useful... We can eventually get the summons from beyond where we get a plague bearer summon which is super useful because we can use that to uh to uh you know basically tie down different missile pieces and whatnot and and yes so we will go it says medium casualties here wow that's uh, that's quite surprising all right let's fight the battle can you do a video on how to use plagues properly to be honest chris i'm not really an expert uh i haven't played this is my second nurgle campaign ever the first one was Kugath at launch, so I'm a little bit rusty on it. We're going to be learning mostly together today, so we'll find out what works. Crumbling Agu is by far the best. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. Thank you, Patrick. Nurgle brewed a pox quite recently. Yeah, I know for sure. But we're going to learn together. Like, I don't know what the most efficient, you know, uh, system is here, so. I'm not going to auto-resolve this. I mean, we could just send Festus in. Do we want to see if Festus and, like, his champion can just solo everything? Just hide the rest of the army. That's kind of stupid, though, because you want the chevrons. Even if Festus can cheese everything, you want to get chevrons on your units. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty. I'm pretty new to the uh, to the Nurgle campaign here, so we'll see if Big Chungus can do it. Hey, Jack, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, so obviously, I could just move in and like a big mouth breathing blob, which would be strong, I'm sure. But we'll attack from a couple angles at least. We'll have the faster marauders like head into the back of the city. So they can go over here. And you guys can go over here. So we can do three and four. We'll get some trolls rolling with the marauders. Yes. And the hounds are always good for back capping objectives and things like that. So an empire, like when you when you're facing like a very thin set of defenders, it's usually a good idea to uh, to spread out because they won't be able to defend all the fronts. Alright, so let's get you guys in here. And you know, Marauders of Chaos do trade pretty well into basic state troopers. Yeah. Should be fine, man. Let's get the let's get the Lord of Triple Chins in there, and we're gonna go for the Harbinger of Pestilence right now. Festus, uh, I think if somebody was asking this earlier, in terms of multiplayer, I think that Festus is hands down the strongest uh, champion of chaos. His ability to AOE Mortis and AOE Heal is just really, really gross. It's very strong. All right, so let's get the champions up on the point to decap that. The giant, the giant is in. The Marauders have gotten in as well, so let's get you guys and just capture this. We got some trolls fighting a little bit ahead of themselves and some haggard warriors of Nurgle taking their time getting in there. Yeah, because look, he's going to start mortising them even when he's out of contact. So they're getting hit with a mortise right now, so you can cheese so hard with Festus. If you got some item to give him like 40 speed too, like dude, Festus would just be unholy. Like how fast and, and troll he is. Oh my god. 
All right, so we got the towers down. We got the warriors coming in. Should be pretty straightforward here. Uh, eh, that's all right. It's not going to do that much damage, but it'll do it'll do a little something something. Yeah, I think he's hands down the strongest. Like the potential for abuse that you can have with Festus in the campaign is just it's just ludicrous. All right, so these guys are crumped. It looks like the fights are going pretty well everywhere. We have the badass Nurgle warriors getting us around here. And uh, no, he doesn't get a mount. If Festus had a mount, he would be one of the most broken characters in the game. Can you imagine in multiplayer or any sort of a PvP game having Dr. Festus on like... Okay, dude, here, look, hear me out. Imagine Dr. Festus on a brood horror, right? He's riding a Skaven brood horror. And he... Um, I don't want my trolls to die here. And he has like 90 speed and he can mortis you without touching you. So he could literally just be like the gingerbread man. He could just be like running circles around you, draining your health. And just would be the absolute trolliest shit I could ever think of. Those marauders are kind of getting their butts kicked. I guess we are on the hard, ba the highest battle difficulty. So that's that's part of it. <laughs> I was expecting them to do better. Eh, well, hey, they fought. Hopefully they'll earn a little bit of a, you know favor of the dark gods and we'll be good. I legit thought about doing another empire campaign. I thought about doing a Franz one. What's the best anti-Festus tech? Luminarch, Jack? Dude, Jack, you are on it, brother. Yeah, Luminarch. So when Festus first came out, I was playing early access battles with um, with like Houseplant and Platypus and all these like top, you know, top five, top 10 players in the world, right? And one of the gimmicks that I found that was beating some of these players with, with Empire was just, they would always go Festus because they wanted to play him. And the Luminarch was just like three-shotting. I mean, he's too slow to dodge it. So it was so strong. Yeah. Yeah, this is Warhammer 1 Fae Enchantress is busted, yeah. Festus on land battles is going to be a problem. I agree. Yeah, I agree. He'll be really strong. But, I mean, uh, in land battles, they can you can kite Festus. Obsidian Amulet, so we get a little bit of spell resist. Okay, that's cool. So, yeah, you can see we can occupy it, but we don't get the souls. Uh, let's just occupy it to show you guys what that looks like. So, um, when we occupy settlements... It spreads Nurgle Corruption, number one. So you can see it gives you plus three Nurgle Corruption. And you have a couple building options. You can get the Bleeding Grounds, which gives you access to local Marauder recruitment. So you can basically recruit Marauders and level them up and do all that sort of stuff. You also have the Ritual Hut, which gives you Winds of Magic in the region, and the Twisted Relic. This one's actually not bad. It does give you Magic Drop Chance and Souls Gained from Battle in adjacent regions. On top of that, you have a defensive building. So we're just going to go for the Souls Gained here. And uh, I mean, what ends up happening with these little settlements is they usually just get taken and... Don't do a whole lot for you, but yeah, Festus is, he's happy here. So you can see we have some Nurglings that we could recruit. Don't really think it's worth it. Uh, you know what? Let's get these Marauders. Let's get the Marauders and turn them into Nurgle Marauders. So let's go to Nurgle and do we want great, probably just shields against most of what we're fighting is going to be fine. Okay. So we got Nurgle Marauders and... Oops, I accidentally upgraded that guy twice. It's okay. So yeah, cool. And as far as the region goes, we just want to get growth there. The Fly Lord smiles on us to stay. Nurgle authority for each active gift of Nurgle, which is what we have right now. So this one's really good too, though. Unit experience gained from Marauders will help you level them up quicker. So we're going to start with that. All right. Imagine how Festus would look if he ran it in Kari speeds. You know, that what's interesting is... Um, yeah. I think units are capped by their animation limitations, so some units you can't run that fast. Like, even if CA changes their speed to be like 150, the animations limit the rate at which they can run. So what's really nice about Middenheim is it's actually a dark fortress, which means it's one of our like big settlements. We can turn it into another brass keep. So you always want to keep an eye out when you're playing Warriors of Chaos for these type of uh, settlements here. This actually doesn't look easy though, like there's no easy like place for me to go next. Right? Like, my army is pretty small. Well, the Boris's army... Oh, yeah, that, that army sucks. Okay, never mind. We're going to go just karate chop Boris. Sorry, buddy. Uh, Warband upgrades. No, thank you. Brass Keep. We have the Exalted Hero coming out. I think this is an easy fight, especially especially in the city. All right, let's go Let's go take uh, Middenheim here. Toddy... We have to do it before Toddy gets a full stack. So what is the difference between Nurgle Marauders and normal ones? Good question. So, Nurgle Marauders have poison and higher melee defense and less melee attack. So, you can see here the mark of Nurgle. These are all the different boons you get. You get hit points, you get melee defense, you get poison, but you lose melee attack and you lose speed. So, normal Marauders are faster and have better melee attack, but Nurgle has basically better defensive stats across the board in conjunction with poison and more HP. So, 
Professor Pone says, the only thing I don't like about Festus is that he doesn't get to start where he can confederate a Norsecan tribe like the others. Yeah, it's tricky. So let's look at victory conditions. His short victory seems kind of like miserable, actually. Like, you have to control 13 random-ass provinces, okay? And, like, sack 35. The sacking part is easy, but, like, look where all these are, dude. Like, how am I going to control all these? They're, like, all over the map. It's just absolute anarchy. So I really actually don't like the short campaign victory for, for the chaos. But, like, long campaign, it seems a little bit more reasonable. You get 80, and then you just take out the order tide. And, like, that that's, shouldn't be too hard, right? I mean, it'll take time, but... So this will be a longer campaign. We'll probably have, like, six episodes, I would wager. All right, Toddy. I'm sorry. It has to happen, brother. Uh-huh. Valiant defeat, you say? Um, let's continue the siege. I wanted to look at the plagues real quick. Oh, I can't do it while I'm... While I'm sitting here, huh? I'll ignore that. I'll ignore that. Should be fine. All right, let's fight the battle. Can Scarbrand and Kari uh, recruit the new Mortal Chaos Lords? Uh, are we? If we're talking about multiplayer, yes. Like the Mono Gods can each get their Champion of Chaos, but if we're talking uh, campaign, no, they they are not in that. Like if you go to do like a Nurgle campaign, Kugath is still the only playable Lord. So yeah, you just vassalize your way. I suppose so. It's Toddy, baby. Yeah, maybe it's to uh, encourage the use of rift portals. Yeah, because there are portals which we can jump around. I, I still don't like it too much. I, f I feel like the short campaign victory for the Warriors of Chaos should have just been like, like, you know, t I like if I had a Festus short campaign, I would love it if the short campaign victory was just like kill the Empire, kill Bretonia, uh, call it a day. Like that's like a nice 70 turns. Like it's clean. It's fun. It's like straightforward. You have to select the character to use the plagues. I know I always forget to do that. It's fine, though. We already have one active right now, so we should be able to give the love here. And again, I'm learning Festus and Nurgle in general, guys, so bear with me as we, we stumble through and make mistakes. Sees massive army right outside of a city. Oh, it's not a massive army. And it doesn't matter. Festus is so OP that if we just take the city and turn it into a dark fortress, there's nothing they can do against us. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Yeah. We'll show you the aspiring champions. Uh, looking outside, oh my god, Middenheim is a huge city. Uh, so we have a gatehouse here, I'm trying to see, and then we have the water here. Yes, good, good. I'm trying to see, like, the most efficient way for capturing. This uh, side looks okay. We'll probably just keep our army together and, like, go for this gatehouse. So what we'll do is we'll get, like, a big healing blob. And we'll use, like, one hound to back pressure the city. So we'll keep you in the bushes here. Like, like, on small settlements, I don't mind sp sp splitting up. But here, I can just put Dr. Festus in Healing Stance, and then I can just, like, get the OP action here. How would you feel if the army losses was removed from the game? Oh, I like army losses, because, like, when there's, like, dumb AI battles, it can end them for you. No, 200 turns plus is too much for me. Yeah, that's too much. All right, so let's just Mouth Breathe. This is, like, the ultimate Nurgle Mouth Breathing. Just, like, put on a Healing Aura and just charge the gates. So once we get, like, look, ner like we're just going to get a fat amount of healing here. So all these, like, warriors are being healed right now. We might lose, like, some marauders or whatever, but, like, it's pretty insane, the the capabilities with that. And once they want to fight us in the gates, I don't think Festus actually has access to, uh, you know, we should probably juke a little bit. They're actually AI, Lord Sniping Cheese. All right. So let's get you. We can have you go jump on this gate right here. And I'm pretty sure we can actually cheese even harder. Oh my god, Festus is draining them on the walls. And behind the gate, too. Dude, that is such filth. Oh my god, that is such filth. So we can have some of the warriors climb the walls. So we can have you do this, and then you do this. So Festus is AoE cheesing right now. He's at, he's legitimately draining them. Ah, eh, wasn't that... Ah, eh, that was a decent cast, I guess. We hit a couple guys. That spell got nerfed, so... Alright, so let's get Festus in there. Make sure he's draining everybody. Dude... Okay, so what we could do if we were really degenerate is we could just sit underneath the wall and mortise and the engine them with Festus and keep the entire army just chilling in the shadows. Dude, that is so dirty. That is so dirty. See, this is the problem with non-contact mortise engines. I mean, the thing about campaign, though, is like nobody really gives a shit if campaigns are imbalanced. It's like they're supposed to be stupid and just wild, right? And thankfully in multiplayer, this this like kind of like style isn't really an issue. Like I, I almost don't see any point in going in here, but we will uh, we'll move in. All right, the hordes of hell have gotten through, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get the trolls back. The trolls are, you know, they are what they are. 
Can we almost see the gates here? Almost. So Dr. Festus is draining. He's having a good old jolly time. Let's get some of these marauders in here. And we got marauders on the walls, warriors on the walls. You guys get in there and the, the drain is on. I can see Legend sitting there for three hours draining him I know. I don't have the I don't have the patience for that. I couldn't do it myself. Alright, so yeah, the mortise is on and we got the drain, which is good. So these state troopers are gonna start getting lowered. Toddy is gonna get the wrath of uh, the giant. The giant's gonna give him the dirty. Yeah. That's a lot of Jacka though, actually. Those crosswomen might be able to actually get me, although okay. Looks like the hounds have gotten in. Have they? Have they gotten in? Not quite. Okay. Don't wanna lose my giant early. Maybe we gotta run the giant out. Yeah, I think we do. Festus healing elixirs, go, go, go. Okay, so Festus has got his healing elixirs. The warriors have gotten in the gates. Oh my god, they're still climbing the ladders. It's so slow. Let's get the giant back here. So more marauders in. The Nurgle marauders obviously very tanky. We have a nice little AoE heal right now, which is good. Let's get you going. And nice. We got some warriors who came from down, down yonder. And we're going to probably switch back to the mortis engine right now, I think. Yeah, the giant might be able to get some like terror routes and things like that, but overall. Oh, man, the trolls really... Really did run pretty far, didn't they? More dissension here is going to be better. There's just so much to drain. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong if we take the back streets? All right, so it looks like we've gotten through. So let's just go start capturing key points in the city to delete the towers and stuff. And you can see, like, how tanky the... Uh... Are we draining these guys? Are we on... Okay, so it looks like they're not being drained right now. Weird. Festus is, we gotta, maybe, maybe you have to like click it and then reset it or something? Okay. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting the big drains. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do some magic. A little bit of magic. Not bad. Toddy is nearby as well. Causing some problems. Warriors are here. Trolls are on their way back in. The dogs are going to back cap some of the city here. Although, honestly, I'm, I feel like bringing the dogs over here would be... Oh, Pistoliers. Okay, we can fight them. We can actually use Curse of the Slug on them. Slow them down so our hounds can catch them. And we're getting the drain going. It's a little bit messy, but, you know, we'll get there in time. We have a fair amount of guys trapped in the gatehouse. Okay, so let's get you guys down this way. Toddy could actually probably beat Festus in combat, so I have to be a little bit careful. Um, Festus is already up to, yeah, about 1,500 value. All right, so let's get you guys set like this. Get another stream. We got warriors coming down from the cliff. Should be able to break them. Hounds managed to catch the Pistoliers because of the Curse of the Slug. Nurgle's got a lot of fun utility, man, but... Once we get these Marauders upgraded to the big big Chad Nurgle boys, we should be fine. All right, so we can go after Toddy now. All right, there we go. Perfect. The walls have been breached. The Chungus Champion of Nurgle is here. Uh, we can we can give Toddy the two-for-one the two for one special. We'll have Fleshy Abundance soon-ish, too. Like, I'm just getting the tree that maxes out the amount of souls we get. Plus, I can heal the Giant using the old, uh, the old, the old cheese there. Ah, there's probably better cast angles, actually. So the Hounds have taken down the Pistoliers. Good. You know what? Uh, let's just have the Hounds come and get these crossbows. It's probably more valuable, honestly. Okay, Toddy is getting getting the business. Warriors of Nurgle are just so badass. Like, I was looking, uh, you know, I, I like, was looking even at, like, the Nurgle armies that exist in Age of Sigmar right now, and I was, like, kind of excited for it. I was like, oh, this could be kind of cool. Let's uh, do the healing elixirs now. But, like, even the Nurgle army, it has these, like, elite characters that are called the Blight... What are they called? I can't remember. But they're... Like, there's not, a, like, a basic rank-and-file Nurgle warrior that looks really cool, which is a bit of a shame. All right, so the Doggos are coming. We got the healing elixirs going. Toddy is getting just smashed by the giant. And Festus is in. The good doctor has arrived. Trolls are battling. Should be the last of the army. It looks like there's, like, a couple units back here, but... Maybe I need to like switch back and forth and back and forth. I don't know. Do we go back to the mortise? Yeah, I think I think we do. Okay, so now the mortise is in effect. Toddy should be getting the business here. And what the hell is this? We get intercepted by crossbowmen. Oh my god! And the pistolier rear charge. M might lose my hounds there. Yeah, no heals yet. We don't have like any direct healing. Maybe rushing fleshy abundance would have been the play. Okay, should be army losses here soon, anyways. Dude, Toddy is just fighting like an absolute madman here. All right, let's do that. Let's see about Toddy a little bit. Move you guys over here. Those hounds, okay, they lived at least. The hound that got away. And we can have you guys go move back here. I think the giant will beat Toddy eventually, yeah. Because he's just like a foot-based character here, right? So certainly a harder fight than I expected, but we're going to be able to recruit some demons after this to fill out our army in case we get attacked. 
And uh, this is a dark fortress, so we're going to be able to just basically rule the city. Dude, watch Toddy defeat this guy. Wouldn't that be cool? Toddy's owning that giant. He's certainly giving it a lot of problems, yeah. Let's go healing elixirs. Heal up the crew. Oh my god, Toddy is owning the giant. I mean, does he... He already has the Midland Rune Fang, so he is healing. Okay. Dude, this giant just can't hit him either. Toddy's just going to go down to army losses, most likely. All right, so um, let's move back here with you guys. We can move you over there. We got the, the hounds on top of the crossbows, which is good. My army's very small. Like, the chaos armies that you start with are very tiny. Oh, come on, giant. Oh, no. Their state trooper is coming. Okay, Festus might be needed over here. Let's debuff Toddy with uh, the Masma Pestilence. Maybe we just get a terror out right there. I don't know how competitive you are, but you could always play uh, Slaves of Darkness with Nurgle's Allied in. That way you can use a Warrior Paint Scheme. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I could, but those those models are kind of dated. Dude, this giant's getting his butt kicked by Toddy. Goodness. Toddy would have won that if it weren't for army losses. What a chad. All right, it's a city battle, so we obviously don't need to let's like stay the course. But like, yeah, you could cheese that super hard with Nurgle. You could just have Festus hide under the walls and drain for like 15 minutes. We'll try it at some point just to see its capabilities. There's certainly a lot of potential there. So Toddy has fallen before Lord Chungus. There's actually an ogre, uh, ogre character that Creative Assembly put on the map, and his name is like his name is actually Chungus. I was I saw it on an Okoy stream. It was really funny. Level one, yeah, I, I have no idea how level one Toddy is just going balls deep and slaying the. We do have the highest battle difficulty, so maybe that's why like the AI gets some cheating. But yeah, Putrid Blight Kings is what it was. Yeah, those are cool models for sure. Still waiting for the Midland DLC. I think it'll happen. Like this game will probably be supported for five years. So I would wager that they're going to eventually like run out of the original factions and need to add some new stuff. So. so we get some souls, a lot of experience, and this is a dark fortress. So check it out. Middenheim is a pretty sweet one. Uh, we can get the... What can we get right away? Yeah, I'm probably going to want to recruit some units. I don't think there's any other armies around that are like a threat. Nah, it doesn't look like it. So we'll just go for the basic buildings. So we'll get that, and we'll get the growth. And then we have a little bit of dough, so let's get a Marauder for the Warband. Big Daddy Festus. So Devoted to Chaos is maxed out, so now we're getting a ton of extra experience. Uh, from here, I need to go get Fleshy Abundance and Blight Boil. Blight Boil is good at like blowing up blobs at the gates and things like that. I really like the new uh, Chaos like traits here. So you, when you get to level 5, you can choose one of these three. You can be a Gladiator, a Commander, or a Strategist, so you get Campaign Effects. Uh, you know, support unit or just like pure fighter. You can also get these unique ones at level 7. So you get the Locus of Fecundity, which is super cool. So he gets access to an AoE heal. Uh, this one gives him damage reflection, which isn't as good. And this one gives you uh, Nurgle authority on your hero's army. The best one is the, the Stench Ridden. Path to Glory, of course, we have it. But um, yeah, you can see we can unlock, unlock these different things. We just got to like meet unique traits. There's so much cool stuff. This, this, this rework is just awesome. Uh, let's get another hound unit. Hound units are really useful for like against the empire for chasing down their archers and different tools like that. Uh, let's go blade master. Hmm. So the ague. Somebody mentioned the crumbling ague. Yeah, this one. Okay. So plague duration plus five turns, chance of plague spreading, character experience, and casualty replenishment. Yeah, there's a lot of cool ones. There are a lot of cool ones. So we can see how many times we spread it. I don't think we've even... I mean, I guess it's it's kind of kind of gone off. We can put it on characters, right? And have them go spread it. All right. Looking good. We'll do some Nurgle Diplomacy in the next few turns. Yeah. Looking looking fine. We've got Chevrons coming up. Life treating us well. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So Dark Fortress is a unique city on the map, which you can turn into a chaos capital, which allows you to actually build infrastructure. Basic cities do not yield that. They are just like kind of like Wood Elf outposts where you can only build a couple support buildings. But um, the Dark Fortresses are obviously very, very nice. Nice, easy regen on that hero. Yeah, for sure. It's very good. It's very, very good. What else would you get other than Knights of the White Wolf? You'd probably get like unique, unique state troopers with like some sort of great weapons and other things like that. So Settlement has received the Ague. So check that out. We spread the plague, man, which is good. 
Four turns here, so we're gonna go just squash Middenheim. Hey, we got a we got a mount, although honestly, part of me wants to keep that guy on, on foot. Path to glory. Um let's actually keep him on foot. I think I prefer that because then he can like hide a little bit easier in the mortise blob. And uh, Nurgle, you just want to be tough to kill. So we'll head over here. Yeah, you can see we can get a beast of Nurgle now, which I'm gonna get one beast of Nurgle just for the debuffs and for the auto resolve. Yeah, very nice. So let's go here. We're just gonna wipe out Midland right now. Man, these auto resolves really hate us. Like, I feel like I have a super good army, like, in comparing to this. Like, this should be, I guess it's battle difficulty. Okay, so let's just squash them real quick. <laughs> Turn back before it's too late. What the corruption? Crumbling of you causes most attrition to enemies, and if you uh, use a cultist, an army, or settlement, will have it for seven turns and will not replenish and attrition down hard. That's pretty good, yeah. I always thought the summon one was really nice, like being able to summon the demons, but... Yeah, Crumbling of you seems good. We'll experiment with all of them. And cause Beasts of Nurgle. Yeah, Beasts of Nurgle are good boys, they are. Yeah, I like just one. If we're just going to be doing, like, Mortis Blob cheeses, then, you know, having a AoE debuff is pretty good. It's the Settlement Towers, I guess, yeah. Crumbling of you on your army gives 20% replenishment and Vanguard deployment in all your units. Ooh, wow. Okay, we'll have to try that. I'll switch I'll switch to that one next time. We're just, we're exploring all the glory that Nurgle has to offer. Must be nice to have speed in Nurgle. Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, that's uh, the Poison Hounds. The poison Hounds cover us. Yeah, it really punishes you for damaged troops. That makes sense. What I love about Nurgle, from somebody who has, you know, a nerve nerve problems or hand problems, is that I can just get this mouth-breathing blob of doom. Right, just like the ugliest, ugliest blob. We can just move the, the slightly less healthy ones on this side. Um, Hounds will start out here. And they're just gonna, they're just gonna try and build out. We'll hide the giant. Just so he doesn't die. And uh, the Marauders... We'll get the Marauders to move here. We want them to earn Chevron, so. All right, let's get in there. We're coming for you. All right, Hounds, you guys go capture the back of the city. And now we can fast forward a little bit. Let's get Dr. Festus on the uh, the Mortis. As he's going to move in and uh, should be able to butter the bread here. All right, Marauders, go get them Chevrons. Look at that AI draw kiting me, dude. How rude. All right, so we're about in. Beast of Nurgle's ready to party. Eh, I need to be a little bit further away. All right, there, yeah, something like that should do the trick. All right, so we captured that one. Let's go capture this. Looking good. Let's get that OP Mortis engine going. Dude, Dr. Festus is such a beast. Come on, get in there, baby. Let's see some of his animations now that we have an easy fight. Oh, he just threw his Nurgling at that guy. Oh, man, that's great. Oh. Oh, he just like... Oh, he just forced that guy to drink out of his little... Uh, out of his bottle there. That's pretty cool. All right, so we just have like a haggard blob over here, which is fine. All right, so we can fast forward that. We have the uh, the Warrior Priest. Unfortunately, Warrior Priests have pretty god-awful armor piercing, so... Not going to be super hot here. How's this fight going? It's perfect. Just give the give those Marauders Chevrons, which... Hopefully they'll eventually get. Warriors of Nurgle. Warriors of Nurgle. All right, let's go over here and ninja this. I always feel bad battling my my fellow Sigmarites, you know. But it has to be done. Okay, uh, let's get the trolls to continue beating on this priest character. Let's get you here. You chase. We got the hounds swarming all over the place. The haggard marauder blob up here is having a good time. Can send you to go help. Come on, buddy. Go get those archers. There we go. All right. So now we just need to, you know, get there. Let's do the healing elixirs now just to heal the crew up. Debuff the warrior priest. Should army loss him pretty soon, honestly. And we've got another one. So let's head to the back of the city. Perfect. Towers are destroyed all across the front. The exalted boy rear charging there should do the trick. Should army loss him soon-ish. All right, so yeah, he's he's down for the count. He's pretty much a non-factor now. And uh, I believe there's more towers over here. Yeah, looks like there is. Yes! No need for the guilt, I know. Well, it's what I play in tabletop, so I just, you know. Yeah, easy peasy. 
The giant just got to sit in the trees. There is a unique uh, Nurgle ROR giant too, so we're going to get him over the course of the campaign. Yeah, AI Empire is pretty easy to bully, I would say. What? Okay, so here's a question for all of you in chat. What do you guys think is the worst AI army to fight? Like, so let's say you start a campaign and you start in somebody's territory, okay? Like, who, who do you not want to start near? That is just like a nightmare. I always feel like dwarves are a little bit annoying to fight early because they're just so durable. Like, even their baseline troops and quarrelers and just like all that. I don't know. I'm trying to think who the worst to fight early is. Yeah, AI doesn't understand coordination. That's true. Yeah. Festus the Leech Lord, dude. The Fedora King. Lord of Magic the Gathering. I think Wood Elves, too. Wood Elves are probably one of the worst. Oh, Skaven are annoying, too, because they summon rats on you. Yeah, that's really annoying. Wood Elves, Dwarves. Yeah, I think I think we're all onto something here. So I could take this. I could raise it. Raising it will give me some souls. So let's let's just try raising this, right? Like, we don't have to, like, take every territory. And that'll give us souls and all sorts of goodness. Um, so I can get Vashnar's Conquest. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I hear you on that. Festus is level seven. Children of Nurgle is not a bad one. It does, you know, provide healing, which is always good. Is there anything else we can do here? Doesn't look like it. We can get another Hound unit, I suppose. That's kind of expensive, but whatever. Who cares? Oh, here we go. Okay, so now we can get another one of you guys. So open dies or... Yeah, character experience gain. I like that. So one sec here. So infect selection. Okay. So look at that. We got the weeping eyes. and This doesn't seem that good, I guess. Infection is spread. And then the crumbling ague is the one you guys were talking about. So that is, that requires, the listed symptoms must be unlocked. So Festus is ague, Pestilence and Mucus run. Okay. So Pestilence, where is it? Yes, 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 that's this. The Pox. So it would have to be this bad boy. So we need Festus is ague. We need Pestilence, which is over here. So Pestilence unlocks once you spread Festus's buboes. Okay, so you have to unlock like a couple different ones there. Interesting. Chance of spreading a plague. Character experience, casualty replenishment. Plague duration plus five turns. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Hey, Lockerus, Lord of the Magic the Gathering slayed me. I know, it's so true. It's, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, I guess we'll keep going down this tree for now. I mean, we have such an excess of infections. I mean, we have this plague for another four turns. And this one gives us a lot of souls, so it seems pretty good. Um, we'll go take another Middenheim city, and we'll just clear out Middenheim. If you guys want to see true suffering, we'll go to Lalorn Forest. As far as gifts, I think we're pretty happy with the Blighted Beasts. I think that one's more or less going to be fine. Do we want to put some Chaos Undivided gift in? So defensive supplies, oh, we get the Shatterstone Siege ability. Allegiance points with Norska. Like, none of these are really that great. Unit experience gained for Marauders. Uh, sure, why not? Let's let's try it. We have some Marauders, so. Could take some Nurglings if we want to, but I think we're okay. Here we go. So, the more gifts you have active, the, the faster you unlock more gifts. So, I think, it, I think it's worth, for sure. Dude, you know what's really nice about this campaign, too? Like, I just straight up don't have to worry about like protecting shit. Like I just don't even need to think about it. Anyone else not hearing anything? Uh, I think that's just you. You would probably see a lot more comments in chat if uh, that were the case. Hey, Lockerus, thank you again for that donation. Really do appreciate that, my friend. Yeah, hell cannons could be good. I'd be down to have some Nurgle, Nurgle infused hell cannons. So let's get the Nurgle authority, the rotten altar. And I gotta explore these plagues a little bit more, man. There's so much. So this one gives you plague duration, plague duration, yeah, income from sacking, the crumbling ague. Where does it where does it say plague effects on all armies and settlements? Plague duration. Yeah, plus five turns. Okay. Yeah. That's actually not bad. Spell resist, pretty, pretty much trash. So does this require in pestilence and mucus runs? I would like to get the uh, summons from beyond. That does seem pretty cool. How many times do we have to spread it? Current count is seven. Ooh, man, we have to do 50 times to get that bad boy going. Yeah. Can you turn trolls into giants or are these separate trees? Okay, so let's take a look. 
Uh, trolls can be turned into armored trolls, which I actually can do that now. Ah, eh, okay. You know, why the hell not? Let's do, let's do some fine-tuning of our warband here. We're, of course, going to go Nurgle marked and everything. So the Marauders have been upgraded, and we got a little bit of action going in that regard. So big boy Nurgle is going to go here. We see the... Uh, Doctor on call. <laughs> Doctor on call. I love it, man. I love it. That's pretty fun. All right. So homeboy's going to head down here and join the army. Very good. So he'll be there soon. Get another nice character. Hey, it's Spartacus. I hate this thumbnail. Sparty, you love it, dude. You love every second of it. Don't lie. Yeah. I think I played my last sealed tournament against the guy in the thumbnail. I know. I don't know why, dude. Something happened with... Like, I used to play Magic, like, pretty religiously. Like, every Friday I was at FNM and... And I was playing Commander, you know, twice a week. But then when I started playing Warhammer Tabletop, I, I like, something happened. I just lost interest in Magic and just got, like, so absorbed in Warhammer Tabletop. I just can't even bring myself to do it. Nurgle Rotfly is purely fun because of the thematics, yeah. Well, graphics card? Uh, it should be in my YouTube channel description. Yeah, it should be. All right, so let's get in here and uh, drop the Chungus. So Settlement receives the Plague. Look at that. We're spreading all this glory. I mean, yeah, I guess it's pretty easy to spread those. Uh, the Marauder Horseman tech, yeah, we, we really actually don't need that. So we should should have deleted that earlier. We have another Dark Fortress at Middenheim. Let's get you in the army. So what will happen then is this Nurg... Let me show you how it works with this guy. So that's going to take away our movement, which is whatever. We want him for the next battle. But on path to glory. So we can devote him to Nur Nurgle using 2,000 souls. And once he reaches level 5, which is pretty cool. So obviously we're playing like a thematic Nurgle campaign. So that's going to happen. Um, so we have this. Yeah, it's spread eight times, which is pretty good. Once we get other another army going, that's when you can really start just like getting all those. All right, so pass turn. Ziggy, here's my copay. Lo loving, yeah, you're truly, truly taking the American route. Here's the copay. Loving all the Warhammer content. See, Doctor Festus is he's more about he's more about the socialized kind of like healthcare for everyone, right? Doctor Festus is if he was running for office, he would run under. Uh, uh, Festus care where you know everybody gets health care for free it might not be the best but hey you're getting it for free and uh and yeah <laughs> he spreads the love dude but there's something about FNM that is a lot of fun I agree 100 percent but one of my favorite things to do is like in terms of hobbying is to, like go to a tournament with a bunch of friends and just sit around and uh Warhammer tabletop tournament is what I'm saying okay so we can do extra growth here uh we can get the sorcerers if we want and devote them to different gods. We can also get the chaos spawn, which I don't really care for spawn. I don't think we're going to bother with them. Let's just get the income building. It's always good. Middenheim can now be leveled up. Cool. Festus care. Festus wants to make sure everybody's taken care of. What the hell is this shit? It's like a rogue ar goblin army, like, sieging this. Did we just go attack this? Does he actually have any settlements? Okay, he's just had, he has the black pit. All right. So, I don't want this little gremlin to get this. He forces healthcare down your throat and you might feel the rot afterwards, yeah? All right, guys. Uh, what do you think? Do we go kick his butt? I feel like we do, because eventually we'll take the black pit. Is that a, uh, a dark fortress? It's not. I'm surprised Altdorf doesn't count as a, as a dark fortress also. Looking around, I'm trying to see if there's any other near me. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Man, how annoying are these little goblins here? Like, we can go and eviscerate them pretty hard. They would probably run from me? What does the garrison look like at Weismund here? So Karaberg is down there. Okay, so we need to go this way. This is like kind of our whole game plan. We'll go take out Altorf next. Do it. Yeah, it's a lot of souls, I, I figure. All right, screw it. We're chaos. We fight everybody. Come on, baby. Dude, what if... What if Middenheim joined me? Dude, how am I taking medium casualties against this shit? Look at this. It should be low. Goblin soul farm, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my, my graphics card is pretty old. But, like, it, it does the job. It, it honestly does. You don't need, like, crazy tech to run this game. Yeah, more souls. Yeah, exactly. Nurgle, you want all them souls, well, for all the Chaos factions, so. Yeah, Carl's gonna get the business. 
Fest is going to give it to you, dude. He's going to summon his energy MX and just, just, dude, you, you guys remember how good that song was? X is going to give it to you. Like, I, oh man, I remember listening to that or uh, one of our football coaches would play that four games and it was so good, man. It was so good. Yeah. Okay. So, the, you know, what's really good about this fight too is there's a lot of like goblins to just beat down. So our haggard marauders are going to get like a ton of experience here, which is, which is really good. The dreaded goblin beat down. Dude, could Festus solo this army is the question. Maybe he could. We have our new aspiring dude. The real like proper way to play this would just be to blob everything and just have like a mouth breathing like mortis strain. But um, I think we're okay. Send some trolls on the outside too. Nurgle does, yeah, yeah. The archers will be okay, but like, obviously with, with this DLC, Nurgle now has armor, right? So for Dr. Festus, let's start with the mortis. I think that's gonna be a little bit better. Yeah, AoE 4 has been punishing my PC, and it's funny because the game looks like really like simplistic, like it looks like it shouldn't do that. It's very weird. Okay, so let's just get the hounds around the back, and then we can uh, we can go ahead and just send you guys in. Make sure they have proper charge targets, get the exalted boy in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's some vindictive, vindictive goblin magic. Let's get the giant over here. All right, looking good. The trolls don't give any shits. They're just like, all right, dude, let's party. All right, Dr. Festus. Let's get a stream of corruption right down the archers there. That should do a fair amount of damage. We'll have to see. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. Can't complain. All right, so yeah, random trolls just getting super far ahead of themselves. This army is just going to get absolutely folded like a piece of paper. All right, let's do that, do that, do that. Warriors here. Warriors here. And now we just fast forward, because this is just is just going to be like bully beatdown status. You guys remember that show on MTV where they would have like a professional MMA fighter come in and just like like take down a bully? <laughs> that, that shit was so good, man. There were so many weird shows like that back in the day that were just so much fun. All right, hounds. Release the hounds. Yeah, good old smithers. All right, so we just put on the AoE heal right now to kind of top everybody off. Hopefully you don't mind me playing fast forward on some of these easier battles. This one is just a joke. Um, we will for sure feast. Dude, look at the amount of chevrons we're getting, though. This is super cost-effective for us. This is very cost-effective. Let's get Dr. Festus over here to help out with this blob. Um, yeah, so we just chase the goblins. Obviously, our warriors aren't great at chasing because they're very slow. You know, our, our warriors have like something like 23 speed. Which I think kind of makes sense. Yeah, like, I think Plague Bearers should be faster than Nurgle Warriors, because, and they are, they have 28 speed. Because, um, you know, the demons aren't, like, wearing, like, just these massive, massive, like, plate mail. Back, back at the turn of the millennium when you could kick or scare the hell out of a kid and it was good television. <laughs> oh, are we talking about Scared Straight? Oh my god, that show was amazing. Yeah, Scared Straight would not fly today, I don't think. That, that was, uh, that was a really fun one. Alright, let's get the hounds over here. And uh, Festus needs to just waddle over this way, and then we can just... Yeah, Marauders are getting Chevrons. See, this this um, Nurgle Marauder is like... He's he's on the path to Ascension. Let's do Curse of the Slug to slow those guys down. Perfect. Hounds. Uh, what is this? Yeah, that was a good one right there. That should trigger army losses. And we'll, we'll nibble on the Lord, because the thing is, we're going to have to chase down this Goblin army afterwards. Um, yeah. So what you could do if you really want to be like kind of min-maxing is... I'll show you guys in a second. Hold on. I'm surprised they haven't been army lost yet. What the hell is this? Is there actually a goblin archer fighting back here? Oh, interesting. They fight back. All right, so we got the level one character. You hunt. Uh, yeah, and the champions are down. So you would gather all your single entity models like this, and then you would just turn Festus onto his healing aura, which he is now. Okay, and you could just like heal, heal them all up. <laughs> turn did that to me the first week of college. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, those are wild times, man. That, that, that was the, the golden... What other shows were really good back in the 90s? Like, like Cops was always fun to watch, too. Like, the early ones. So, I was watching recently a Canadian version of Cops. Yeah, see, they're healing now, right? Which is crazy value. And my giant is healing to full. So, like, dude, fastest campaign cheese is real. Oh, man. Okay, I think we've mainly chased everything down, but, like... Healing it. So healing infantry does, for anybody who's new to the game, healing infantry doesn't really matter, right? Because Marauders of Nurgle 
when units are on the campaign map, their HP is based on the number of models left, whereas SEMs, it's actually based like on their HP. So look, everyone's full health now, like all our characters. Crazy, crazy good. When moving, why do you click the move something and then click on them again? Uh, some So when you click the auto charge order when you, with your full army, they'll charge the nearest target. But if the enemy moves in the time in between the initial order and, you know, when they're about to fight, sometimes they charge the wrong target because they'll keep chasing whatever you gave the initial order to and they won't like adjust. So I will then, uh, but yeah, the Canadian version of cops and like, dude, every every criminal that they found or every suspect had like a, a, a Canadian tuxedo on. The, the jeans, the jean jacket, some sort of a mullet and like just like some like classic rock t-shirt. It was so good. Anyways, back to the game. Don't want to get too off subject. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot of souls. Yeah, that is. And uh, hopefully we could just chase them down and we got to heal our characters too. Yep, 500 souls. Oh yeah, that's that's the good stuff right there. Can can we actually catch him? No, it looks like we're caught in the, the aura of the city. Hey, Path to Glory. Samuel Ludenhoff has completed a challenge and has gained the boon of chaos and they've gained the Mage Hunter. Oh, let's go check this out. Okay, we got level five. Currently active, so we just unlock those. Hit points, oh, and regeneration, dude, I forgot. That's so good. Yeah, so he just heals now, which is gross. He also has missile resistance, spell resistance, and aura, so our blobs become even more disgusting. Lose a battle and survive. So, oh, wow, we'd actually have to lose a battle and survive for him to get the ward save. Huh, well, that's, that's never gonna happen. Uh, Chaos Gladiator, Chaos Commander gives that. Chaos Strategist gives us Experience per turn is increased. Okay, let's go ahead and get him as the strategist. Yeah, because that's going to increase the training and also will give us casualty replan, which seems pretty good. So we'll do that. And this guy, um, we can just make him like a pure combat beast. He's going to be turning into an Urgle guy anyways. So, All right, so let's get stream of corruption upgraded. Seems good. Samuel Jackson, you want him to be Samuel L. Jackson? Yeah, 500 souls is pretty good. Dudes, stop it with these these haggard mediums. I have to fight like every battle. Yeah, 5% replenishment is great. Nurgle has plenty of uh plenty of of good traits there. Yeah. Does getting wounded because of immortal count of surviving? If you retreat, that doesn't count as a loss. It probably would, actually. I could do that, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Why would lose a battle be a campaign objective? It's not an objective. It's just like... So we're going to go like ultimate mouth breather here. Just like... I don't know. I'm trying to think. I have an example. You know, it's funny. A lot of pro gamers actually mouth breathe. Like when you watch like really, really high level like strategy gamers. Like I've noticed a lot of them when they're in competition will just have their mouths like wide open. Maybe, maybe it's some sort of like a correlation to focus. I mean, my nose has been messed up many times from football and stuff. So I, I do a little bit sometimes when I'm sleeping at least. Uh, Alright, let's get this. Oh, they're so metal, dude. So we'll send the Marauders over. The Marauders are just here to get some experience. They're just like, alright, well, let's send the Marauders with like a little bit of a contingency. And the Hounds can be over here. We'll put the Trolls over here. We'll send the Warrior Corps up this way. Uh, okay, so let's, let's, let's go party. All right, Marauders, you guys, oh, perfect. Look at this, we just have like this nice little pocket of experience here. And uh, these are Spearmen, so let's see if there's any way we can like sneak to the back of the city there. All right, Dr. Festus, let's start with the healing aura on the approach and then we can switch to the Mortis once we get in range. We have you guys, perfect. They're just gonna bump and grind. We do have the armor trolls now, so that's good. And yeah, you can see we're out healing a lot of these. Um, now we can switch to the Mortis. We have our exalted homeboys in there. Perfect. A couple haggard swordsmen. And you guys have gotten in. Perfect. Hounds have gotten into the back of the city. This is why you always want hounds. They're just so effective. All right, so let's use some magic. Yeah, not the best cast, but it'll butter some bread. And we've gotten the back cap in the city, which is pretty great. <laughs> that's one way to do it. That's gonna give us, uh, that's gonna take away the melee defense buff and leadership buff that all these guys have. Mortis Engine Drain doing the work. Been able to push through, which is great. Uh, our Hounds can circle beat that one unit, so we'll keep them parked there until the time is ready. 
Hey, turn, just start a battle and then retreat. You immediately get it. Yeah, that's that's probably the idea. We'll do that eventually. Once the other guy has access to that um, and he's marked, we'll do it just to get it all at once. All right, let's get you over here, buddy. You guys can just kind of keep advancing through the city. Move up onto the point here to get rid of the towers. Festus can come get the Drain of the Gods. And these are Empire Archers. They're actually kind of loose formation, so you see we don't do too much damage to them. Um, all right, so here's what we do here. Check it out. We will get you around the back, get you here, you here, and get like a full surround on these guys. So just the classic multiplayer surround tactics. Yes, good, good. And then we should be able to kill them pretty quickly. All right. Yeah, because Empire State Troopers, you know, normally like if you try and surround any sort of Chaos Infantry, they're just going to be like, like, what are you, what are you doing, dude? You know, but uh, these ones obviously will not. So let's move and get these archers. It's so nice having shielded warriors, and typically I recommend against Empire you want to go with the uh, shielded warriors. The hounds are getting chevrons. It's too bad they don't turn into anything, anything cool. But yeah, those guys should get nibbled on pretty good. How's this unholy horde doing here? Alright, looking good. Let's get on these archers. Another stream of corruption. Should be a pretty good cast. That was a, that was a money cast right there. That was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. Alright, so let's move up. Chase these archers through the city. We can have some of the warriors just ponderously move in. Let's get some of the marauders to go fight these archers to get the experience. Yes, my marauders. You see, several of them are getting chevrons, which means they're going to they're gonna be on their way to uh, becoming chaos warriors. I really love that mechanic. It's so cool because like these individual units have, like each of them has essentially their own narrative, which, oh man, I, I, I just got so excited about that that I forgot about my hounds in the city. But um, yeah, that's there's another classic multiplayer trick, just forgetting about your units and losing them. But um, yeah, I love the narrative of it. It's so fun. So fun. Decisive victory. I know, guys. I just wanted to launch so we can all play tournaments together. I'm so excited. You guys should all, for all of you guys who are a little bit too nervous about getting into multiplayer, maybe, you know, a little ladder anxiety, you should you should join one of our early tournaments. It's double elimination, so you're guaranteed a couple games. And even if you're playing someone who you think is better than you, do just get in there and like bring like two Luminarchs and just have some fun blasting their Lord. You might lose the game, but whatever, you know. Have some fun with it. Mm. Okay, so Big Chungus, Festus, Lord of Triple Chins, King of Mountain Dew, Heralds of Magic the Gathering has won. He's going to be Cetra. He's getting going to get like 50 names here. Dude, I, lo I love the Ascension system. It's so cool. It's so cool. Have you been able to use the Demon Prince mechanics for Lords? Uh, no, I haven't really messed with that. I mean, run battle settings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. So the city has been taken, and uh, that's a lot of souls to just raise it. Although, sacking it does give us a lot of infections, and occupying it does give us infections. That's kind of tricky for Festus. With the other Chaos Champions, it's way easier, you know, because you just kind of focus on the souls. But with Festus, it's like, part of you wants the infections as well. Sacking it does give us unit experience as well. Hmm. Let's actually sack that and then raise it next turn. Or can we just sack and raise it now? Let's see. It's been a while. Yeah, so we'll do that. We'll finish off this army. Auto-resolve that. And then next turn, we'll... Oh, it's like so tricky, because the experience is super nice too, right? Because it levels up all of our warriors and stuff. Let's take the infections here. Or do we go for souls, right? So Big Daddy Festus uh, is on his way. Stream of Corruption. Rancid Visitations, I guess, will be okay for finishing something off. What is a doctor without instruments? <laughs> what is a doctor without instruments is what he says. I love it. Okay, so who's close to being leveled up? This warrior, I think... Okay, so we need the Rite of Ascension, and he must be rank 7. So he's, what, rank 5 right now? So we will get the Rotten Altar, and then we need to go Rite of Ascension to get the ch get the Chosen. Okay, so we kind of know what's going on here. How's the Plague? So Festus's Rot has one more turn, and then we'll take that out. Turn, what do you reckon an FFA between Festus, Mazda, Money, Greasus, and Grom? Dude, that is the ultimate chunky battle. I'd be down for it. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try and organize that. We'll do some... Imagine being like the one non-Nurgle dude just hanging out with a bunch of Nurgle followers. How bad that would suck. Let's give him the spell resist. The Fear of Aminar. Oh, that's, kind of, that's kind of okay. Uh, yep, yeah, let's upgrade you. Do you have any other Dark Fortress action? You really just only care about the Dark Fortresses. 
We can get another Nurgle Marauder. I believe we had one in the recruitment. Yep, very nice. So one of them came to our warband. No, this Lord Pack CP came with a ton of units. This is like one of the most massive DLCs we've ever gotten. It's like like four factions getting massively fleshed out, which I think certainly makes sense considering how haggard it was last time around. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sparty says get the Ride of Ascension ASAP, but it also... Yeah, we're getting that. That's the plan. Yeah, see, okay, whatever. They, they can have that. They won't be able to take the Dark Fortress, so... It's fine with me, dude. Fine with me. You treat yourself. As long as the Dark Fortresses stand, then then we're chilling. Get the Ride of Ascension, but also get the top buff Aspiring Champions, the bottom line military build, and keep the Growth Plagues, too. Keep, keep the Growth Plagues on, too. Okay, sounds good. Tribute from Vassals. Yeah, I know. That's probably better. Alright, so the Growth Plague, though, is we've been keeping this one on. Festus's Pox. Yeah, there's so many options. And then we have Festus's Ague. Plague effects on, on Nurgle settlements. Okay, so the plague would have to be on the actual settlement for it to grow. We've got 14 spreads here. So, we're getting there. Which of the Chaos God factions is the strongest? Slanesh, for sure. Slanesh is really overpowered in multiplayer. Uh, Brass Keep, favor generated, yep. What do the garrisons look like? That's pretty good. I mean, we got trolls, like, Empire armies wouldn't be able to take that. That's for damn sure. So we'll go raid this one. Hopefully we don't lose any units. He says, on your settlements. Yeah, so I have the growth thing on here. This is what you're talking about, right, Sparty? The the plague apothecary? Chance of a plague spreading. Armies and province. Plague duration, 100%. That's really nice. So we could also put plagues on Middenheim, right? Huh. So if I put... So he says, on your settlement, sorry, keep the ague on your settlements and the pox or replenishment on you. Okay, that's pretty cool. So let's uh, let's try this. So we will keep the ague. So that one gives us growth. Okay. On the brass keep. Dude, Sparty coming in with the steel chair advice. I love it. Middenheim. And then it would like spread all over the place, right? That's kind of the idea. Hmm. I like that. That's cool. So let's try it on Middenheim. So we'll go to Middenheim, we'll do this, and on Middenheim we will put the Festus's Ague for the growth, based on Sparty's feedback. Oh, I like that, okay, it's pretty fun. Let's try that. And uh, can we do it on multiple settlements? I believe we should be able to, right? And then Festus's Ague here, we'll do that for the growth. Turns until available one, okay, got it. I've heard you say you have an Urgle tabletop army, so I play Death Guard, yeah. The 40k one. Let's see, so. Very cool. Uh, it's a lot of Poxwalkers. Yeah, it's a lot. So, I, I mean, I have pretty much the entire Death Guard, like, roster, right? So, yeah, Toddy getting smashed. We get a Hellfire Sword, which isn't a terrible item. And now we can, um, probably just... Do we want to just occupy this? Here, let's occupy it. Why not? Hey, it has a Lumber Camp. Not that we want that. Nothing terribly useful for us there. And uh, let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, okay. So this is where we can get the Locus of Fecundity on him. So now we have an AoE heal. His path to glory. Okay, so now we can devote him to Nurgle, see? But it's going to cost a lot of souls. But let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to choose the path. And then he gets a couple abilities here. Um, and let's just make him a fighter. This guy's going to be like a world beater. Yeah. Wow, this is pretty cool, man. That obviously costs a lot of souls. Okay, so let's get this. Let's get the Charioteer, which Sparty loves. Battle healing cap for each active Nurgle gift. Dude, that's pretty nuts. But we want to get the Rite of Ascension because I want to get some Chosen. So. Okay, so let's get our new guy. And we can give him uh, the Hellfire Sword. Festus doesn't really need that as much. He's just going to be running around with his Mortis Engine cackling. None of the Marauders have enough to become Warriors yet. And uh, Gifts of Chaos. Looks like we have a new one. So you have the Blighted Beasts, which, uh, yeah, is okay, I guess. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, so we're halfway to getting Infectious Offerings, which give us experience gains and Virulent Contagion. Missile Resist for all units with Mark of Nurgle. Yeah, we'll just keep them as they are. I don't think training stacks. I could be wrong, but you guys will have to let me know. It's been a while since I've done some campaign. Okay. Everything seems good. We have the dreaded ague. 
Shouldn't it be... Oh, no, it's at Middenheim. Okay. So growth and infections when plague is spread. And then at Middenheim... Yeah, we would need to... So the thing is about having this is, yeah, chance of a plague spreading armies and province, plague duration. All right, that's fine. There's probably some cheeses I'm, like, not doing that could be done. Apparently there's research here. Exalted heroes are devoted to Nurgle when you get them. Oh, makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. So we got this, like, little plague here. That's kind of cool. So that's going to give us growth on our cities. I'll put one on uh, Brass Keep, too, so we can get the gro extra growth on that. And then we'll go to the, the Black Pit and, uh, well, actually, we should probably just take out Middenheim first. You can see we have just our dreaded plagues spreading all over the lands. Hey, looks like some Empire took it. Hey, that's good. Okay, so now they're going to probably get that, that loving right there, which is awesome. All right, so let's get Middenheim. Middenheim has Festus as a Gyu. The Brass Keep, we can go ahead and infect this with uh, the growth as well. And that does give us Limit Blight, the Flux, and Mucus runs. Oh, that's the one that gives you Vanguard deployment. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, so let's uh, let's do that. So we've infected both of them with the growth. And honestly, the infections... I was, like, kind of thinking it might be hard to, like, keep pace with all that. Let's go ahead and get the defensive building here. So, um... That should keep the Empire... Haggard Empire armies from taking us down. Head-to-head -head campaign. Yeah, so... Hey, thank you for the donation. I will do head-to-head -head campaigns. Is this, like... Look, oh, it's Emperor Karl Franz. I'm pretty sure it takes him a while to get across the old river there. So let's go into Ambush Dance. Then we'll take down Karaburg, and that will be the end of those guys. Then we have to go finish off the Orcs of the Black Pit. All right, looking good, looking good. And life is good. Have a look at the Wood Camp turn. I watch Valky's Let's Play. Yeah, so it gives you a bonus to Marauder Horseman, which I don't have any. So it's it's not worth it. Yeah, Eye of the Gods almost has another unlock for us. Okay. Your boy Festus going strong. If you have another army, you can swap back and forth and then get the infection twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that cheese. It used to be infinite, too. I remember when the game first came out, you could just, like, go back and forth. Okay, Franz has left Altdorf. Guys, you think we, we take out Altdorf? Is that, is, that the, is that the game plan here? So the plagues will keep spreading, hopefully, to these different armies. Yeah, having the growth plagues on the, the cities is nice for sure. Ryan, are you streaming today? You got anything going on? They want a peace treaty already. Oh my god. We're going to come feast on goblins. Has Nurgle been... Nurgle's great. Nurgle is like one of the more balanced chaos factions in multiplayer because they have a glaring weakness in their speed. So, like, Slanesh is like very actually tanky. Um, all right, so let's get... Ooh, yeah. Let's get that. Brass Keep nice and leveled up. And we can head over here. Just probably auto this. We'll have to see. Franz could come in with the steel chair, and he might be able to get us if we're not careful. Oh, look at that. We got a Forsaken of Nurgle. That's pretty cool. Let's recruit that, just because they look so badass. And uh, here we go. All right, moving in. Growth Gift of Chaos seems good. Does it stack for battle? Turn, just making this Azazel video, plus another video. Ah, very cool. Look at this. Look at this auto. Oh, my God. No more. We'll take Altorf, dude. Altorf will be our city. Yes, Festus the Leech Lord. I think I forgot to put a plague on him. Yeah, it's all good. Have they increased the attrition caused by the plague to AI? I'm not sure. How is the game load speed on Immortal Empires? So my computer is like an old potato, and it's honestly not that bad. It's not that bad. Can we expect you to get a farting troll? You mean the big giant? You talking about... um? The Nurgle ROR? Oh, for sure. I'll, I'll get him in the army. Although Giants are pretty god-awful. I think Giants are one of my, like, least favorite units. They just, like, they just kind of suck, you know? I don't know. The Autoresolve really doesn't like it, I know. That guy literally has a horn coming out of his face. He can't be comfortable. All right, so... Uh, against Empire, since they have, like, individually weak units, like, normally... If you didn't care about like experience, you could just send in. We'll send in the warriors. The marauders are just gonna go like around the city and have like various engagements, just like attack from different angles. Yeah, that's fine. And we can get some of you guys here, and you guys here actually would be in four, four, and we get a beast of Nurgle with you, a giant with you guys. 
and the doggos can go on the other side of the city. And the dogs are just going to try and backcap something. We'll get the trolls with Festus. All right, so we got our angles of attack. Let's bounce over here, see what we got. Do we have anything in the city? Okay, they don't have enough to defend it, so we'll move in there. Give an attack order here. And an attack order over here. And the dogs. Who let the dogs out? We will. I can't, I can't like... Because of the battle difficulty, I can't get the camera over there. Ugh, it's so annoying. Okay, here we go. All good, my friends. All good. So moving in. Trolls. Trying to Danny DeBito him and pay the troll toll here. Let's get the Mortis Engine to clear these bad boys out. I love how the Spears are draw kiting me, dude. We need some tournament attacking rules for them. Ah, eh, you know, Forsaken, pretty useful at actually chasing these kind of units, right? Send the Giant down here to just capture this. <laughs> he doesn't need Chevrons. Like, it's not as important for him. Alright, so Dr. Festus is in. The doctor, the good doctor has, has arrived. All right, you guys are doing good. You guys are fighting a nice little fight over here. The hounds have gotten into the back of the city. So we're gonna just start stealing objectives, basically. You guys will get to see a lot of battles here. This one will tank the leadership of these uh, swordsmen here. And we'll just pop this for the healing effect. Cool. Yeah, Forsaken or Money, dude. Look how quickly they chew through these units. Like, I don't think they're a good long-term campaign unit, but for the sake of this, like, I think they, they for sure get the job done. All right, so any other capture points we want to get? Looks like Festus has broken through the front gates. Uh, we can move up here and send the trolls to go capture this. Swordsmen, Marauders hunt here. We don't want to lose these Marauders. They have two Chevrons, so we probably just pull back the really injured ones. And it uh, looks like, yeah, we do have some state troopers coming to, coming to mess with us here. So let's pull here and try and lure them into an open field fight. All right, it's almost over, guys. The dry Yeah, Giants should be able to carry Giant giant hell cannons like if a giant if you could strap two hell cannons to a giant's arms just make him like edward scissor hands but with uh with cannons or <laughs> with hell cannons you know that'd be pretty good yeah let's get those chevrons baby let's get it festus has moved in yeah i feel like there's a lot of like land like these kind of battles being fought more so than uh more so than like open field which i think is a little bit more fun okay looks like we didn't send enough over here and this is where we're, we're paying the troll toll Okay, so let's like surround this guy, surround him. Surround, and uh, surround over the top. Yeah, we this one warrior is a little bit unsupported here. Looks like the Marauders were able to get away, which is good. They're too far away for any help. Still a fair amount of guys here. Of course, they can go tear those guys up in the walls. In the back, we've nibbled on them. We get those army losses. What does a man have to do to get army losses around here? Looks like we've capped most of the city. Uh, oh, okay. So he's got, he's got like, a lord up here. That's why he's not getting army lost. Edward Cannon Hands. Yeah, exactly, man. I think it'd be great. Okay, almost got those guys broken down with the dreaded Hound Flank. You know what Nurgle Lord I really want is uh, Tamarcon. Dude, if we got, like, just a giant toad... I mean, it's gonna happen. Okay, these Chaos Warriors, we can't afford to lose them. And the Beast of Nurgle, we don't really care about. We could lose that for sure. So these these guys suffered the shameful defeat at the hands of some haggard state troopers. All right, so those archers are down. Let's get here. Festus and company gonna head after you. And is there anything else we can capture over here? Yeah, we can get this. And looking good. Yeah, so those warriors are fleeing. As long as they don't get wiped to a man, then we're okay. Because we just uh, what the hell is this? Oh, the barricade here. Okay. The houndos have gotten in the back of the city. Forsaken space jam into them, and you guys just go hide outside the city. Yeah, we don't want to lose them. They, they've they've come a long way on their their adventures here. Eh, rancid visitations, like kind of like a overpriced spirit leech, basically. Okay, so the hounds are capturing that. Oh, we better watch out. We don't lose them. Let's head here. Festus and company. Nurgle is certainly slow. It takes them their their sweet time to get here. Let's go chase those crosswomen down. We got the surround here. Honestly, should be army lost pretty soon. Let's get our characters and put them in a little beat beatdown squad here. All right, so we captured the center. The points are ours. Most of the city is ours. The hounds have done their job in the back. We just have to see where the character is. There he is. All right, so let's get our exalted heroes. I think I should probably switch them onto horseback. 
Like, I thought having him on foot would be better for the Mortis Cheese, but I think just having him be able to go goon enemy characters is slightly more valuable. Jindobre! Can we show his tech tree? Yes, we can. Dude, look at the Nurgle. Just absolute bully beatdown right here. Yeah, so Festus' skill tree is pretty cool. And for those of you guys just joining the stream, I'll make sure to show you here. How is this not army losses, by the way? Uh, I guess they still have some units down here. Yeah, it feels like it should be, though. Okay. So have you guys, like, hustle over here and chase them. The Nurgle warriors survived outside the city. The hounds, are they trapped in this alley here? No, they can actually escape this way. Okay. Yeah, Nurgle siege battles can take a while, because you're very slow. Should just be army losses soon, though, really. All right. Get you guys over here. Festus and company are coming. He's taking his time. All right, let's drop that. Nice little damage there. And there it is. They aren't slow. Everybody else is just in a rush. Yeah, Nurgle is definitely more... Didn't Tamarcon can't, uh, end up in... Yeah, most most likely. I think, I think so. <laughs> Exalted Heroes playing ping pong. Yeah, they were. Dude. All right, guys. That's, that, that is one of my hidden talents. You know how, like, most people... You meet in life are like really like good at one really strange activity. I am actually a very good table a ping pong player, dude. Oh, we should do a ping pong stream. That would be pretty fun. It's like a duel of fates. Hey, Pen, thank you for the fifty. Arrived late, so watching from an hour in the past, but thrilled to see you playing some Plague Santa. Hey, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Goddamn, it's generous. Yeah, it has to be the battle difficulty. Pump those plague infested legs. I know. I'm really happy you guys voted for Nurgle today, though. Because, like, i played so many dwarf campaigns already. Pone, are you good at table tennis? You could totally have a duel of fates. Um, let's raise this. We have enough infections. We want the souls. So let's raise that. And, uh, oh, oh! Carl Franz is nearby. He's in March, Dan. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to get Franz versus Festus in this episode. This is going to be fun. And for you, you know what? We can start getting training um, because he's going to go into a different army eventually. Like, we'll split those characters up. Uh, did we lose the Beast of Nurgle? Oh, oh, yeah. Bilious Thunderguff. He only costs 300 upkeep. All right, we got the Nurgle Giant. That should help our auto resolves for sure. Um, yes, dude. I'm not great, but I can hold my own. A ping pong stream. I'm down, dude. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we're having a lot of settlement battles. Which I, I prefer open battles, but, you know. What can you do, man? So what do we want to give Big Chungus, man? I feel like I'm kind of just doing a bunch of wild shit. Um, so the Ague is the growth one, which we have on our settlements. So, yeah, both of our main settlements, which we want the growth on, have that. So that's how we play that. And then I feel like we're starting to, like, figure out, like, a pattern. So for the crumbling ague, which is really good, we have, yeah, I'm trying to think which one we want the most, sacking growth, yeah. We'll do the crumbling ague. This one, uh, we need the pestilence and mucus run. And this one we are doing, okay. And then pestilence is over here. So we would have to do Festus's bubos. Casualty replenishment plus one, minus 50% battle healing cap. Hmm. So we're gonna need this. So Pestilence. So we could just give this one to Big Daddy Festus right now. Yeah, let's just try it. Yeah, no point in doing that, really. Okay, so Festus has got the, the love of Nurgle. Franz is nearby. Yeah, yeah. The, he, he basically he basically unleashes his uh, his flatulence on the enemies. Dude, I hope Franz March dances over here and just gets karate chopped. Oh, okay, he fled the scene. 100 Nurgle Corruption. Going to be spreading that sweet love to Altdorf. Like, Empire Armies are really haggard. Oh, care what the hell? Did I not teach you your lesson, old man? <laughs> Look at this. Karaburg is settled again. I thought they were done for, but I guess he still had an army out there somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, I think low-tier settlements should just be open field battles. Okay. So, I mean, this is fine. We can go back and just, you know, rinse and repeat. We still have 100 Nurgle Corruption over here. The goblins look to be coming to Middenheim. I'm pretty sure we could just defend that. 
Champions of the Arena or Display of Might. Yeah, we'll do the unit experience. Middenheim is pretty decent, actually, especially against like a crappy goblin army. They would actually probably take a peace treaty, but... I'm actually down. I'm down to party. Uh, Middenheim again. I could have sworn that's their last settlement. Let's see. Negative 500! Holy shit! I don't think I've ever seen it that bad. Yeah, so this will be the end of Middenheim here if we go back. Like, Fran France could be laying in, in wait over here. Oh, Franz will constantly reoccupy and give it to Boris. Oh, that's right, for the Imperial Authority. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do here? So the Brass Keep is on its way to level. We can take the favor. Now we can get some... Getting the basic warrior building it probably isn't terrible. So we could recruit warriors instead of having to level up marauders. Uh, any defensive infrastructure we can get. Now yeah, we're a little bit too poor right now. Yes. Yeah, we can. I'm pretty sure we can search the runes. I always hated those stupid puzzles, so I don't really bother with it. I mean, wait, what? Oh, so Fr Franz just gave it back to him? But, like, I didn't even see the Franz army come. That's really weird. Yeah, because, see, I'm not even at war with them right now. What comes slithering along the ground? A serpent enthralled to repulsive. Oh my god, Toddy's really talking shit. So. I guess in a way that's not terrible because I can just keep like refreshing. So let's go take down the Black Pit. Let's go hammer the goblins. I could march dance. It's a little bit risky. I really don't think the goblins are too much of a threat. So let's see what the... We'll go here. And that way we can maybe intercept this army. So we'll let Toddy rebuild and we'll just try and farm. Uh, all right. I think all our settlements have plagues. Our lord has a plague. Life's good. Can these guys be leveled up yet? Let's see. Not quite. Yeah, rank 5. So they're rank 4 right now. These guys are on their way. Dude, we can go Chaos Knights too. Oh, that's so metal. That's so metal. Toddy's... Yeah, we're going to go to Altor. But first I'm just going to deal with these goblins so they don't just like keep cycle charging my, my bases here. Oh, look at that. One of the plagues even spread to Lalorn Forest. Oh, so good. All right, let's punish these goblins. I, I actually smell a little bit like Festus right now. Oh man, yeah, that's a hot dog smell. It's like, it's been like 32. It's been 32 like every day, temperature wise, for those of you who are in Europe. And uh, yeah, about 90, 94, 95 degrees. So dude, just the hot dog smells just, just, just going ham. Okay, so the goblin army is over there. They probably realize they can't actually do anything here. All right, cool. Settlement receives the goodness. So now we need to do the Rites of Ascension to get the Chosen. Dude, I, I hope the goblins just come in droves. Uh, 3,000 for the defensive building there. Okay, that's pretty pricey. Got you at level 8. I forgot to use your ability last time. Or of Chaos. What does that give me? Or is okay. Well, let's take the Black Pit on. Should be pretty damn easy. Let's see what the auto-resolve looks like. Here we go, baby. It's around Legend Stream. He cheesed it for the glory, but it seems like Franz has a hard, a hard on for giving Karaburg to Toddy. Yeah, it's interesting. So we could auto this. Um, the other goblin army will attack. Do you guys want to... Okay. We can fight this, and the reason why we're going to fight it is so we can show you the Nurgle giant farting on some goblins, which I'm sure is, uh, is part of the fun. Hey, Rusty. Take care, man. I, I completely get that. I completely get that. Are you going to try and do an eight-person co-op campaign? Uh, I think the most I would do is four, because eight is just like asking to have a miserable slideshow. Uh, if Creative Assembly ever added like dedicated servers, then I would do eight-player campaigns all day. It'd be really fun. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's I think so. That's the plan. Do Marauder Horsemen upgrades to Chaos Knights? No, I don't think so. The Warriors upgrade to Knights. The Marauders can upgrade to Marauder Horsemen of Nurgle with throwing axes. Yeah. Oh, we don't need towers for this. It's just a crappy goblin army. Like, we can just steamroll in through the front gate here. Warriors of Nurgle! Warriors of Nurgle. All right, let's get here. We have the dreaded double giant. Um, Looks good. We can have you guys assault this gatehouse. Just going to be really sloppy with it. Um, 
the hounds can go on the other side of the city. So go to the dark side of the moon over here. Have you guys just like chilling over here. Two exalted heroes. So one of them has Locus of Fecundity. Yeah, dude, how good is that? So he can go with the Marauder Horde and give them the uh, the regeneration. Yeah, we'll have both of them go here. And the trolls can go there as well. So we're just going to do an all-out assault on this side. And it should be fun. Um, in the lore, Boris Toddbringer looks at um, looks at Carol Franz as like a rival, sort of, like a political rival. But eventually, I think eventually, Fran there's like a whole story where Franz like basically wins everyone over. Because they're like, alright, he's the best. Like, the Volkmar, uh, in the lore, even at first, Volkmar doesn't even like Franz at first. Because there's like, obviously, this is when like the Emperor is being decided, right? And so Carl Franz is like, the thing is, is like when he was a young man, he he's like the classic trope of like, this guy should be the leader, but doesn't want to, you know, because he he had like in his earlier life, he you know, Franz partied a little bit. He lived he lived the life of like an everyday man, sort of. I mean, obviously, he was the prince or whatever, so not the everyday man, but he was more like, you know, like relatable. Um, so to, to, like Volkmar didn't like him because he wasn't like a super devout, like Sigmarite type character. But then there's this whole like bit where they... Uh, Volkmar and Franz like s discover a Zinchian agent trying to like manipulate the elections I think and uh, I'm trying to remember the story but eventually they become homies and then like Volkmar and Franz become really tight and then um oh my god did we how do we get that gate open so quickly goodness all right let's move in here yeah we need to get those chevrons so Festus let's go with the the Festus engine start draining down the wall here yeah, Giants have Wall Breaker. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I could have just, like, beaten down the walls. So, yeah, Giants can attack the walls, huh? Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that's really cool. Well, they can just get through the gates. The gates, it's... it's. I'm a harder target anyway, so... All right, so let's get in here. Start farting on some of them goblins. We've gotten into the back of the city. All right, great. So let's go capture some points. All right. No, but Franz is, uh, yeah... Like, the, in the story of Franz, they, they like, okay, you guys ready to see him just take a fat one on some of the goblins? Here we go. Oh! Oh, yeah, dude, right on that pile of goblins. I love it. Look at that. You guys wanted that. That's that's what you're here for, just that hot giant, giant action. All right. Giants have wall breaker. Yes. I think these are just goblins coming after me, so we could probably, oh, they're actually orc boys. Okay, it's a little bit harder, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, we'll just kind of move, keep moving in here. We can use the Locus of Fecundity on the other guy to heal the blob. So that's very good. It's kind of annoying to chase down all these guys, for sure. And a couple of you warriors can just go this way. So this battle's going to take a little while. It'll be a little tedious. <laughs> but that's all good. Alright, so yeah, it looks like there's an orc warboss chasing us. Alright, we got that. Let's go capture the top of the city here. For some reason, I'm struggling to move there. There we go. Alright. Come on, team. Franz, Franz has some pretty cool lore, though. Like, some of the more epic moments with Karl Franz are, um... Yeah, when uh, when they have, like, the second battle of the Blackfire Pass and, like, the, um... The Elector Count of, uh, of Averland, I believe. Averland, I think it is? He's the Mad Count, Marius, Marius, um... He's like out there having some like you know doing doing good doing some work for the emperor right but he uh, he actually gets killed and fr and then you know it's kind of a losing battle right but then Franz uh, Franz leads the uh, I'm pretty sure he like takes charge personally instead of sitting back you know and that's kind of what everyone was like expecting they're like oh yeah he's gonna sit back but Franz personally takes charge of the uh, of the Reichsguard and like leads them in some epic charge against the Greenskins and then um, he gets drawn into like solo combat. With the um, with the what's it called? With the war boss, who's obviously physically stronger and bigger, and Franz is you know the classic trope of the hero getting his butt kicked. You know, just you know, Warhammer usually is just classical tropes, right? But um, you know, it's a little bit of a rough fight. But then Franz gets like possessed by Sigmar because Sigmar fought that same battle like it, like a long time ago, right? During the foundation of the empire, and uh, so Franz gets like possessed by Sigmar essentially, or gets the power of Sigmar, and he's just, like wielding Galmaraz and. All the um, Empire troops, like, like they like they think they're like, like hallucinating, and they're seeing like Sigmar himself fighting up there with the Warhammer, and it's like this epic scene where Franz just like takes down the war boss in this like duel, and like all the all the sons of Sigmar like rally, and it's just like this super epic moment, and that's like 
you know, it's it's just classic tropes, right? It's nothing like super innovative, but like that's that's just cool shit in general, right? So let's uh, let's go ahead and just stream of corruption these guys. I think we need to take a fat one on the goblins again. Let's move the giant through. I, I might I might be a little bit off on on the story. Like it's been a while since I've read it, but um, it's it's basically along those lines. Okay, so the dogs are kind of getting hunted a little bit. So let's uh, go back here. All right, come on, doggies. There they go. Okay, let's flee through the back of the city. He, he suplexes the orc war boss. Yeah, basically. So, like, my casualties are going to be so much lower here than they would have been. I feel like Festus could solo this. Uh, Festus isn't a great fighter, though. He might lose to the war boss is the only thing. Yeah, he might lose to the war boss. How are the dogs doing? They're getting hunted. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just, like, keep running about and, like, stealing all the points, which is pretty hilarious. All right, so exalted boys. Keep fighting. Festus and company moving up. Uh, looks like we have a haggard barricade to get through, so let's break that down if we can. We'll grab Festus and company and move to the high ground. Uh, is there anything up here we want to take? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. There's like a huge broken like gate here. Oh, there's actually a platform. Okay. Yeah, the Warhammer lore is fun. It's like, obviously, it's, a lot of it is just taken from, you know, Tolkien and other things like that, or heavily inspired by. Like, I, I love those. There's a lot of great channels on YouTube that do, like, like, Book of Choyer is one of my favorite. If you guys haven't seen Book of Choyer in terms of, like, animated, like, lore stuff, it's really cool to see. Um, there's so many battles in lore I want to, like, recreate. Like, I want to recreate the Battle of Helm's Deep in a cinematic way, but it's like, it's like, you have, like, dwarves at Helm's Deep holding against, like, hordes of chaos, and then you have, like, all the cab factions, like, Bretonia, Kislev, and the Empire with, like, Reichsguard, Winged Lancers, and, uh, and Grail Knights, like, riding down the hill to just smash chaos. Like, I think you could recreate so many cool battles. Yeah. All right, let's go get this barrier down. It's such a grind, some of these battles. <laughs> Never going to want to do another siege battle again after this. All right, so we've taken that. Let's move up here and just get this one. We can leave, like, one guy to defend this. All right, so we've got in the back cap here. Looking fine. Orc boys are actually going to be a bit of a problem, so we don't want to fight them. Dude, look how slow we are. It's just, like, we're just the potato legion. Can't wait till, uh... Yeah. Yeah, Skaven are pretty original for sure. Yeah, Skaven are. Skaven are one of the like most iconic elements of Warhammer Fantasy in general, or Warhammer in general, right? Just like overall. Uh, so we got the Mortis. Don't really need it. I think just the heals are going to be better. Get those giants like topped off. Get the barrier down. Take down the goblins. Exalted man. Just go do your thing. Only a couple seconds left on that. Are the orc boys still chasing us? Oh, they're they're not. Okay, so we can just. Is there any points we can go steal? Yeah, there's the, the top city. You can go steal that one. All right, keep it up. Actually, a reasonably big garrison here. Perfect. A single, yeah, a single bloat, a bloat, like, so the Urukai in that in that scenario we were talking about would be the bloat. Okay, I, I, I don't know if the violent win. Let's see what the stats are. Okay, so it actually corrodes their armor. Interesting. You guys ready? One more glorious... Oh yeah, here we go, baby. These goblins are gonna get it. Let's go ahead and slow them down so they can't run. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, uh... <laughs> that's so janky, dude. I love that animation. It actually, I feel like it should do way more damage. Like that spell seems kind of weak, to be fair. Hellfire sword. How are the hounds doing? Have they have they captured it? Oh, we actually had some trolls up there. Interesting. Uh, and there's now a gate. Can I get through the gate? Oh, it's like one of those spike trap things. Huh. I think the hounds should be able to win that. All right, so we're just waddling up. I guess they had a surprising amount of stuff. There's a lot of like haggard units rallying here. So let's just keep our warriors fighting to get chevrons. And uh, we've captured this one. Let's go capture this one up here. Warriors are just grinding their way through, just bumping and grinding. All right, let's go get this. Take Dr. Festus over here. Yes, marauders are earning chevrons, exactly what we want. Goblins here kind of getting crumped a little bit, but our doggos could be Ooh, that's not good actually. Let's let's get, get down here if we can. I need to get fleshy abundance so I can like cast these overcasted heals. Come on, Dr. Festus. Okay, let's get some of these warriors moving this way. Hounds can just chase. Perfect. Dr. Festus is on his way over. And we should capture the top point, which should just end the battle, I'm pretty sure. Festus can use the scroll of Aminar to leadership on those guys. Hellfire Sword. And, uh, yeah. Should be able to get this. Come on, Giants. 
Yeah, so obviously the autoresolve would have had us losing quite a bit, but that's a decisive victory, so I'll take it. Have you seen the videos from in, in, uh, Engaging Bear? Yeah, his stuff's really good. His stuff's really good, too. It's really good. Yeah, no, there's a lot of YouTube channels I watch. I, I, like, whenever um, Spartacus makes like a, like a tutorial video on something, I'll always watch his stuff. Like He did some nice ones. Like I was watching his Valkyrie videos last night. Choyer yeah, Choy has been the one I've been going to for lore because he he puts like really good cinematic footage with the with the stories because there's tons of lore channels that just usually you know read off a Wikipedia page or just paraphrase Wikipedia, but like Choyer goes like the extra extra length and just like and there's nothing wrong with that other approach. It's great if you like someone's voice and you like them reading it too. But um, I I really like seeing the accompanying footage from Total War. It's really nice. Okay, cool. So taking them out the goblins will probably come back we get the opal amulet which is not a bad item uh let's occupy it yeah screw it just so the rats don't keep keep setting up here we get the defensive building and then let's go to uh middenheim and get some walls like the big chungus walls that'll give us marauders chaos trolls all sorts of great stuff roses are red violets are blue if a giant <laughs> enemies depart thank you man <laughs> Thank you, thank you. All right, let's get the fleshy abundance. Uh, Blight Boy and fleshy abundance. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. So, homie's level five. So we have a chaos strategist. Let's get a uh, chaos gladiator. Make him like way, way stronger. This guy, I think, can ascend now. Yeah, check it out, guys. So one of our marauders has now uh, ascended. So we can turn him into a chaos warrior. So boom, now we have another chaos warrior. I love that. But he does lose the chevrons. So we've confirmed that, but that's really a neat way to like progressively get your army getting more stacked. So now we just need to deal with this like haggard goblin army. I don't think they can take any of our garrisons. Um, Middenheim still has the, the Agu. We still have the Agu here. Let's refresh it on the Brass Keep. So the Brass Keep is going to get the uh, Agu, which is going to give us the growth. So that should replenish it at five. And then next turn, we'll do it in the other city too. We should be good. Hmm. Can you show victory conditions and rewards? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, Book of is amazing. I was actually talking to him yesterday. We were, we were chatting on Discord. He's um, he's going to uh, help me make a, a channel trailer. So we used to have the Doom trailer. I always wanted to have like an epic trailer playing before all the tournaments and things like that. So he's going to make one for the channel here. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to work with him on that. It's going to be great. So we'll have some we'll have something fun coming that way. Okay, so the little gremlin army. I'm pretty sure that's the only base they had. Let's see. We could even just take a peace treaty with them. Okay, so Middenheim only has... Oh, so Middenheim got... It received the plague from the army of Grebits. Oh my god, I love it, dude. How many bases do you have left, homie? You got one? Yeah, see, I'm not going to go all the way up there. So at this point, we can just take a peace treaty with the goblins. Look, look, I can get like a non-aggression and everything out of them. Like, they'll just straight up be my friends. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Do we become friends with Grebits and get an outpost and get goblins in our Nurgle army? Nurgle goblins! We're playing in the hardest battle difficulty. Yeah, very hard. It's the hardest you can go for that. Mm -hmm. Dude, do we do we become homies? Are we, are we best friends now? Non-aggression... Peace treaty. Grebits is the man. All right, let's bounce the offer, get some money out of him. I think we do it. I think we do it. Do we want to become homies with Grebits? I think we do. Yeah, he's looking pretty good. He can help us against the, the foul terrors of this land. All right, let's get some Nurgle goblins. <laughs> right. I like it. Now we're best friends, dude. You know, we had our problems. We had our fallout, but now now we are friends with the goblins. We can, we can put our past grievances behind us. Yeah, all right. So Middenheim, let's get this. And the goblins are now here. <laughs> you need a province capital? Okay, well, it doesn't matter. That's that's true. <laughs> he Does he have one up here? Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe he'll recapture a province capital. Let's be optimistic here, shall we? So we're, we're piecing out here. We've taken a city, and we have a nice little defensive building there, which should make it a little bit harder. 
Um, we probably want to take out these guys here as well and go to Talapime. So let's head this direction. Festus has a couple more turns of the Festus's Bubos. And uh, let's pass. Is there any other diplomacy we could do? Like, who else likes us? Yeah, nobody. Okay. We should become friends with Lawlorn. Let's be, make some Nurgle elves. I could threaten them. I really don't want to, like, fight them. The pit. Lawlorn Forest could be an interesting fight, though. Trade him the Black Pit. No, I'm... I could give him the Black Pit back. That's true. Dude, the plagues are just spreading, man. It's crazy. I don't even have to do anything. It's just like... So Ride of Ascension is coming in a couple turns. Uh, you wanted to see victory conditions? Here you go. So the short victory, which is not what we're doing, is control 13 random ass settlements across the world and then sack 35. We're going for long victory, which is going to be 80 settlements, and then we have to destroy the Order Tide. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Mindenheim is good. We're good here. Uh, is there any other regions I want to put? Like, I already have the plagues everywhere. Yeah, see, we got the tier here, which is good. So the crumbling ague, what do we need? We need the mucus runs. Where's the mucus runs? I always forget. Uh, I think it's down here, so it's constant. Yeah, there it is, okay. So this is the growth one, which just spreads super quick. Like we're already at 12 of 25. Yeah, that should be easy, okay. Festus has got, yeah, he's all good. The, gre the green tide, the elvish goblin tide. The goblin will stab me in the back. It's okay. Yeah, so Festus doesn't get vassals early. That's 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 true. He's one of the ones who uh, has to kind of pay the troll toll a little bit. Long victory conditions include include the short victory ones, do they? Oh, that's terrible. No, they don't. No, I'm pretty sure it's separate. But regardless, like we're just gonna play until we get those long victory conditions. You don't like it's your own experience. You don't have to do all that. Because it's like, if I'm if I'm just overpowered and just playing whack-a-mole on the campaign map, like, that, at that point, it's just kind of like, what are you even doing? Yeah, okay, so you guys are confirming that. We will see. All right, so let's go take this down. This should be a pretty easy auto. I mean, the garrison's like a couple spearmen. We took a fair amount of damage from that, actually. So let's just occupy this, just to get the Nurgle corruption going, and we'll get the defensive building. The, the having the defensive buildings will mitigate some of the um, some of the pressure coming in. See, these guys are almost chosen status. Oh yeah, dude, did we get the great weapon chosen? I think so. Chaos needs profane weaponry, which is where. So profane weaponry is right here. Okay, so. Then we need to get this too, it looks like. No, no, we don't. Okay. So Chaos War Knight, Chaos Knights, yeah. We know what's going on. That goblin army is just sitting there, just like getting wrecked. Plagues look up to date everywhere, I think, yeah. We're we're good here. Then we just go take this out. It's Aldebrand. Toddy is just gonna be suffering over here, no problem. Which endgame? Uh we went with the uh the dwarf one. So the dwarves will come around like turn 60 or turn 70. The dwarves are just going to go balls deep and start attacking all our shit, which is fun. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like how we can effectively like... We have to own 13 settlements that are just like randomly spread out across the map. It seems really, really like hard to get them all unless you use diplomacy, I guess. Because you can have it with military. Is Kazrak... I haven't seen Kazrak actually. I haven't seen... I haven't seen the one eye, the haggard man himself. We obviously don't have a good enough economy to start a second army. It seems to take a while for that. We got to keep tally of the plagues. Yeah, it's pretty important for efficiency, for sure. Hey, oh, I thought they were going to come in peace, and I was wrong. I was so wrong. Yeah, it definitely sucks for the Empire to come into these territories. Like, the attrition you take, like, if you're in the wrong stance, the whole army just, like, gets wrecked. And Nurgle, I think, has good towers, too, so we could, like, cheese, tower cheese. So he's got his little business here. This army's just dying to one of our plagues. Festus has the uh, plague for one turn, so let's replenish that. He's got the Bubos, which is what we were doing. So Bubos is going to give us the Gush Rot, which is kind of cool. I mean, uh, that gives us casualty replan. Yeah, so we're going for the Crumbling Ague. Best plague and symptoms of this recipe. All right. Hmm. 
So we just need the mucus wrench for this. Maybe we just kind of further accentuate it by going for this one. Yeah, but that just gives growth on Nurgle settlements. This one does give us the Nurgle authority, which is nice. Souls gained from battle is also not bad at all. Let's just uh, get this so we can speed along to the uh, mucus runs, and then that will unlock the uh, crumbling ague, which should be very, very strong. All right, your boy Festus has got it. Let's go to the city, siege this bad boy down. Yeah, not, there's no way they can do anything against us. The auto isn't going to be... Yeah, the auto would obviously be terrible, but these are just crappy state troopers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue the siege. Let's get some towers. That'll be fun. And hopefully they'll just fight me in open field where I can just crump them super easily with my hounds. All right, so we have the next tier here of units. Um, sorcerer building could be okay. Yeah, nothing worth building at that point. Goblins are just chilling out. We're pretty close to getting a gift. Defensive supplies. So this gives us Shatterstone. So this actually isn't bad. We could we could replace this. Because currently we... What do we have? Raiders. Yeah, we have the one that gives us Marauder buff. Unit experience gained from Marauders. Horrifying presence. We're not quite there yet. Uh... Switching it will cost a bit. So removing the gift, casualty replenishment from Marauders. Let's see what Nurgle options we have. Oh, I think we got some good ones. We got some new ones. Missile resist for all our units. Okay, and we don't quite have the, the good, good stuff. Yeah, Chosen Great Weapons are going to be rad. We're very close to getting them. I think we can actually upgrade very soon. Furies would be nice. It'd be nice to have like a couple Furies, which we could replace with the... So let's do that. And try and get some Furies. Did we finish the Ride of Ascension? No, it's two more turns. Okay. So we're not quite there yet. All right. Uh, so we're going to Siege for a turn. Just wear them down. They'll start taking some heavy attrition. And we'll spread the plague to all these armies. And Yeah, should be fine. So these are not... Uh, there's only two of the, the Doom Fortresses near us here. We have this one and we have the other one here. I think there's another one down in the Empire somewhere. So let's see if the plague spreads here. Dark Bastions are all across the map. Yeah, there's a bunch on the map. I think there's like 10 or 15 of them or something. We could add another symptom, but it wasn't that useful. The other ones we have are just like, I don't know, like enemy missile accuracy. I guess that could be okay. How long will it take to get to Zen? Uh, so I don't think we're allowed to do the final battle for this campaign yet. So we'll have to finish it after the, uh, the game launches. Something like that, yeah. Uh, all right, so Master of Ceremonies, Chaos Undivided Corruption, and let's just take the uh, Nurgle stuff. Hey, we gave him the good loving. All right, so the garrison is just getting attrition down super hard. Ooh, yeah. Let's actually, like, play the attrition game. Let's do some Nurgle Siege Warfare here. Seems like fun. Uh, die resources and leadership for horsemen. Okay, that's pretty trash. And let's go ahead and get the big walls. It's good. You know, if we're far away and, you know, Franz decides to come rampage in our lands, it'd be pretty useful to have that. And what symptoms do we have? Speed for infantry. Attrition when under siege. Okay, this actually seems pretty good. Let's let's test this. So we're going to go to Festus, and we're going to add the attrition when under siege. Should have done that before, actually. That would have been pretty rad. And uh, let's pop it. Brass keep. Ah, uh, we need to get the ague updated there. We will. So hopefully that will give them the updated version. Minus 35% extra. That's really strong. Absolutely not. I want to see how effective that is. All right, let's keep sieging. Pretty sure you don't have that naive. That's Realms of Chaos thing. There are portals, I'm pretty sure. I I didn't spoil this campaign for myself by watching somebody else play it. So this is my first time playing the, the Champions of Chaos. Other than playing like six turns of Valkia just to like look at the new units. Test this with Festus. Yes. Those goblins? Yeah, they're becoming Nurgle goblins. I told you guys. It was all part of the plan. The plague god is welcoming everyone. That's for when you're under siege? Oh, is it? Okay. Well, oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. There's no leaving here without him. Oh, Toddy wants war again, dude. Is he is he coming back? Is Toddy here with a full stack? We need to get a second army soon. Hmm. Need souls for portals, yeah. I guess that's how we get around, huh? I refuse. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, dude. It's time. Wait. And, oh, we're not quite rank 7. We're rank 6. <laughs> we're one rank short of getting the Chosen. I got so excited. All right, so Dark Diplomacy. 
Profane Weaponry will give us some Chaos Knights, which I, I for sure want. Oh, wow, you can get Terror on Chaos Spawn units. That would be good in, like, a head-to-head. -head. Okay, so see, now we can auto-resolve with no casualties because of the siege. Uh, continue siege. Let me make sure there's no other armies around. We'll just auto this. Okay, so Talipime. Yeah, I think we... Let's just auto-resolve this? I mean, I could win this, but it's just going to be a grindy siege. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, I guess. I mean, it was way more damage than I would have taken, but... So sacking it will give us a fair amount. We could just sack it and then occupy it next turn, which doesn't seem like a terrible idea to me. What does that give us? Infections. We can get the souls. It also gives us unit experience. Okay. Or we do the raise. I'd rather sack it and then occupy it, I think. The Chaos Sorcerer and Mergle would be pretty neat. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see what you guys want to see. I mean, we can go any any of the gods. We could even have a, a Slanesh army, I suppose. Yeah, we could. But I think we're going to kind of stay in the Nurgle character here. Yeah, the choices for the infections. I guess my infections are super high, so the souls are more important. But I don't want to colonize it, so it's a fair amount of favor. And I do like the experience gain. Yeah, I'm always such a conundrum here. Okay, let's uh, sack that. And then uh, what's cool about this is we can waddle back to our territory, like out of harm's way. We can encamp to get some replenishment. And then next turn, we just come back and... And take that. And that should be fine. Got a little bit of dough. Are any of the boys close to... Oh, they're all they're all so close. Like, all these warriors. They're all so close. So, Blight Boil reduces the cost. Fleshy Abundance will reduce the cost of it as well. So, those two spells we're going to be spamming a lot. Oh, hold on. Shit, I didn't even think of Festus' unique abilities. Did we unlock them yet? Yeah. I'm just skipping all of Festus' unique abilities. It's okay. We'll get them in the next few turns. I was just so excited for that magic. Let's get training. Let's get, um... Yeah. The stench ridden for the AoEs. Yeah, but I guess raising is probably better for the souls, but, like, I, I kind of wanted to just get the infections. Okay, so we need the growth one here on the city. Okay, uh, plague effects on non-Nurgle armies, plus 50% suffered from all attrition. Okay, yeah, the flux. That's pretty good. Minus 35%, got it, on non-Nurgle armies. Okay, I'm seeing all this now. And uh, let's just do this. Do that here. Yeah, the choices are meaningful, for sure. Let's upgrade you. We'll be back next turn, let's pass. We'll go and raise it in the next... I, I think I'll start raising. I... I I kind of wanted to occupy the ones near my, like, main heartland here. I don't know if that's, like, the right play, but I don't know. We'll see. We will see. So you can select humans as an endgame invasion? No, no. They have they have dwarves. They have greenskins. They have, like, tomb kings with kind of an Nagash sub-theme. Uh, they have vampire counts. And there's one other one, I think. The Grudge. The Dawi. Yeah, raising raising seems like it probably is a better option. But the cool part is I get to harvest another battle here. So I'm just going to like heal up and then go auto again. And, you know, I get a little bit more experience. So you can cheese this, I think. You could just keep like like chain raiding it maybe. I don't know. Interesting. An infected eye opens. Your actions have drawn the attention of Nurgle, the Urfather, and the Plague Lord. Through his generosity, these gifts shall be awarded. Yet your influence is still to play a part. So... Gift of Chaos Activation cost. That's not very good. Um, total favor, 10,000. Nah. Spawn of War. Okay, so passive ability. Horrible regeneration for Chaos Spawn. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, but that's only for five turns? Yeah. Honestly, I think I just take the, the hero. 10,000 is whatever. The exalted hero. Yeah. So let's recruit another one of these bad boys. And uh, Slaughter Strength. Nice. No, I must Wait, what were his traits? Uh, okay. Oh, when he assaults garrisons. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. I love it. I bet it's dwarves. Oh, it's actually beastmen. Oh shit. Okay. So we'll uh, we'll do this quest battle here today. Yeah, the money thing. Like money comes and goes very quickly as chaos. I think this is better. Okay. So. As long as I don't lose any of the boys here, I'm happy with an auto. Yeah, they're all like super low. 
So obviously raising this isn't really worth anymore, so we're just going to occupy it to get the replenishment. And uh, let's get the walls going. We have the timber logs here. I love that Nurgle has lumberjacks and they're just like, yeah, no, they're not going to do anything. Okay, the Brass Keep. We could level this up. Unlocks, Warband upgrades, Hero Capacity for Exalted Heroes. So that would give us another one. Hmm, it's pretty good. That is pretty good. But I think we hold on because I want to upgrade some units. So the settlement has received the plague. All my cities are under its effects. This one we can just replenish right now. So we want to get the growth on that. We just need the mucus runs and then we unlock the crumbling ague. All right, looking good. It's going well, team. Oh, we're going to start raising more settlements, though. We have our nice little heartland of Nurgle territories. Toddy's army is probably too shitty to even take Wisem. Yeah, like, I feel like the Chaos Warriors will win this fight. So, are we even at war with these Empire? We're not, actually. Are we at war with you guys? Yeah, we are. Okay. That'll for sure be for a second army. It seems a little bit hard to get a second army. One to two powder units would be enough to counter Festus in multiplayer? Uh, it depends, because Nurgle has Fury, so they can they can fly and cackle and give you some problems. So we have the Forsaken ROR. Yeah, I wanted some Furies. They're really useful for chasing down missile units. Um, so let's combine some of the Hounds. We only probably need two. Oh, we have an Ogre Mercenary. That's pretty fun. We're going to get these Furies and uh, update them to Nurgle Furies at some point. All right, so I'm trying to think here. Maximum Nurgle gifts, armies rot. Dude, the tree is just so dense. Gifted unit capacity for Nurglings. Summoned from beyond. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that gives us upgrading gift, rot rotting retinue. Okay. Man, how do we like choose where to go? It's just it's just wild. So we, we can upgrade Marauders now, yeah. I think we can. So these Marauders will be turned into the... Uh, get them into Great Weapons. Into Great Weapons. These guys need one more rank, but yeah, we got more warriors coming in now, which is good. Forsaken can be upgraded into spawn. I do like that. That's a very nice touch. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and pass the old turn. Demogriffs are good. Like, yeah, I, I don't know how, how great they are, but like a Demi Halberd is always a useful anti-large tool for the Empire. as like a sweeper unit. So if there's like enemy like cav in your back lines, you can, you can go cause some problems. We're going to go take down Toddy again out here, I think. The Empire armies are definitely not happy about moving into my lands here. We'll go raising. So we have another gift, yeah. I think I think we have another gift slot, so we'll evaluate if that's worth it as well. Dr. Festus. I used to think Nurgle's followers were unrealistic, yet it was only a short time ago I learned we made toxic <laughs> rain toxic to drink everywhere in the world. Yeah, see? Nurgle's, Nurgle's down to party, dude. Okay, we need to go finish off Toddy and Franz. Okay, Festus has got just stuff spreading everywhere. This settlement's probably going to die. Okay, let's go here. Like, I could just go finish these guys off at Wolfenburg. Hmm. Okay, the Eye of the Gods icon just disappeared for some reason. That's weird. Do we have another gift slot? I thought we unlocked another gift slot. Like, what's going on here? Gained Gifts of Chaos plus two. Blighted Beasts. Uh, is there anything more fun we could do here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, Experience Gain for Nurgle Units. Oh, that actually seems pretty good. So let's do that. So now we just get more experience on all our units, so they'll level up quicker. And Faction Leader grants 25% of experience to other Lords. It's not terrible. But right now, it is not in the cards. All right, so let's head on over this way, I guess. Or do we just go finish off this settlement here? Because I can reach them. And that would, would that be the end of them? How many territories? Oh, they actually have a lot. So we'd have to go all the way up and around and just like stomp through these territories. Meanwhile, Toddy rampages. Let's just go deal with Toddy. How far can he reach? Okay, so he can get kind of far. He's got probably like an archer spearman army. Kind of playing a little bit of whack-a-mole here, because as soon as I leave, these guys will just descend upon the... They definitely don't want a peace treaty. Mm. Dr. Festus currently has... What do we want to give him? 
So minus 35% attrition went under siege, yeah. Okay. I know there was one that affected the siege, actually. Plus 50% casualty suffered from all attrition. Yeah. That seems like the way. So battle healing cap, casualty replenishment rate. Minus 75% attrition. Yeah, there's some, there's some interesting traits here. So we're just trying to get this, I think, right now. Festus currently has that. We'll switch it when we actually get into a siege situation. What's good? Hey, welcome. The I was the event where you took the hero capacity. Yeah, yeah, I knew the event triggered, but I thought you could keep getting that, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, so how far can Toddy reach? I don't want to just get caught in like a stupid march dance fight. Yeah, so we'll just yield this settlement here. I feel like going for Aldorf and down in this region is going to be more fun anyway, so let's do that. Big Chungus is moving. He's almost here. Yeah, we don't have Nurgle cultists to put plagues on. That's one of the nice things about Chaos uh, or the Nurgle faction. All right, Toddy. Time for time for your 10th beatdown. Dude, we're so close to getting some Chosen, guys. We're so close. Now I have an updated question from the last stream, which involves the Immortal Empires. They got all three games on Steam and now getting the DLC. So when Immortal Empire... Yeah, if, you, if you're all on the same platform, you're fine, I think. As long as you have everything on the same platform, you should be good, Devin. You should be aces, brother. Should be aces. Okay, so... I wonder if Toddy will attack there. I feel like we could actually win. with just His whole ar army is probably just Tier 1 State Troopers. So we'll see what happens. I should have actually... Hmm. Okay, he's got two armies. It is a valiant defeat. Do we want to try this, actually? So let's try this. I'll fast forward. You know, and... Make sure it's like, you know, quick here, but imagine wedging your head in Festus's chin fold. <laughs> can you get an Urgle Demon Prince? I don't know if we can actually. That's a good question. I, I don't think so. I didn't I don't think I saw the option. Toddy didn't hear Nobel, he didn't, but we have Chaos Warriors and uh he's got a shit ton of archers though. Oh my god, look how many there are. Look how many there are. I can turn a lord into a demon prince. Okay, so maybe I can turn basic chaos lords. We'll look, because I'm gonna recruit a second lord here eventually. And we'll see, uh, we'll see what the option is. We will see. I wonder how soon we get a second Lord. I guess like if we're really aggressive with Festus, the set, we can just pay for our second army with, with Festus's aggression, right? I am way outnumbered, but I'm like, eh, Nurgle Towers maybe. Oh, okay. So where do we defend is the question. Um, this center choke point. So this is the main one, right? No, this is over here. Okay, the key building. So we get a tower here, but only over here. How many towers does it yield give us? So we got that one. We got this one. So that's going to be hitting this army. But this spot doesn't seem like super... Actually, you know what? This seems like a relatively defensible spot. Yeah, they can't come up here. They have to come through this like choke. Then they have to come over here. So we could get one Chaos Warrior right there. Do we have more towers here? No, just like barriers. Okay, so let's get you over here. You over here. You're here. These horsemen can just kind of zip around the city and recapture points that were lost. So Nurgle Towers, I'm trying to remember which ones are really good. Can you guys remind me? You have the Piercing Tower, and we have the Magic Tower, and then we have this Piercing Tower. Yeah, I think the Magic Tower, the 1400 one, is really good. So I can get a Demon Prince. That's good to know. Thank you, guys. All right, we'll give it a try. We'll see. Like, Empire Troopers are really terrible, so I'm, like, trying to see if we can do something here. Yeah, all right. So the tower should be coming up soon. The forces of the, the Hordes of Hell are upon us. I think it's the 1400 one. That was a really good tower. It's been so long since I've done a campaign with, uh, with Chaos. Okay, so Magic Tower. We'll get that soon. Let's try it. Tier 1 or Tier 3? Yeah, I think the Tier 3 tower is the way. Let's go poke a little bit. Do a little Benny Hill. Alright, so avoid the archers. See if they want to chase. And uh, they're going to go capture that point. So then we just like rotate over there and see what we can do. Let's do the um, spike trap here. So then when they fight on that, they're going to be taking a damage penalty. So And perfect. Alright, so the warriors have done their job. Let's uh, go kind of cackle back here, and we can run down some of these loose archers, actually, which will be really nice. Okay, so yeah, we've literally taken no casualties here. 
Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's like basically a hell cannon. Oh, lovely. The first shot hits a building. Love every second of that. So a free archer unit. Sign me up. Sweet Christmas. And uh, this is going to be the hardest part, though. Toddy, Toddy coming over here is a little problematic. And do we have any other towers we can get? Yeah, we have the spike trap, so those guys are holding well. We've routed some archers here. So let's get the second horsemen and have them go route these archers. And then we just go recapture the points in the city. Okay. See what kind of damage we get. Not very accurate. It's, it's certainly trying its best, but... How are the warriors holding? Yeah, we lost two warriors and the spearman unit's almost dead, so that's good. This is a nice catch, though. The fact that we're getting these guys is uh, is very good for us. Toddy's a problem, though. We need to get the Great Weapon Marauders over to try and kill Toddy. We got archers coming. Yeah, that actually did a lot of damage. Nice. So this cannon's pretty sweet. Um, what other spots in the city can we work with? Okay, so we did this. Let's go capture this point back. Get that going for us. <laughs> Duplex them. I know. I know, we're trying. Couple guys trying to get in. Hopefully the Hell Cannons will do the trick. These warriors will be able to easily hold that front. And uh, yeah, two archer units have been destroyed already. There's plenty more around the city to capture. These horsemen are kind of lo losing models against these archers though, strangely enough. Yeah, Toddy is, is going to be the biggest issue here. Although those Hell Cannon shots are doing work. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That tower is doing good. If we win this, that's going to be pretty insane. I, I think we're going to lose it, but... Yeah, the blockade zone. Yeah, yeah, this didn't finish building, unfortunately. It's okay. It's whatever. I should be saving up for towers anyways, so... Alright, so this archer unit is routed, and we've recapped this, which is going to give us a little bit of battlefield momentum. Uh, please don't shoot my Chaos Warriors. Uh, let's shoot the Spearman unit in the back. Awesome. Although, over here seems like a better target. Honestly, that blob is way bigger, so let's shoot at that. Alright, ooh, damn, Archer is trolling me here. <laughs> that guy sounded like Howard Dean. Alright, so we got this one over here. This point will be coming back to us. Dude, Chaos Infantry are just so good. I mean, as they should be, right? Okay, so let's get the horsemen. They should probably stay together in a goon squad. That's going to be way more cost effective. Warriors cutting through. The big blob punishing spells are underway. We could retreat some marauders out of this area. And have them like kite the empire around the city. That could actually be reasonably strong. All right, let's uh, let's go get some more free units here. So we're gonna we're gonna go hunt them down right there. See if we can. Can you unlock the Nurgle battle abilities? Yeah, you can. I, I have Curse of the Slug. I already started with that one. So, oh yeah, dude, look at that cannon. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. All right, so let's pull these gray opens back. Get you he heading over here, and let's go see if we can surround that army. Uh, what do we have? More archers over here, more state troopers, okay. And the marauders should be able to get on these. Yeah, let's just pile in. Uh, unfortunately, some of the archers are still shooting us, so. Ooh, those big blob punishment spells are doing good. Need to hide you away from the archers. Yeah, it's going okay. You see we have Curse of the Slug, so we could, like, slow down reinforcements from getting there for the AI. So we'll, like, slow this guy down. Yeah, we're not going to win this. I don't think we're going to win this. Yeah, there's just too much. It, it's literally like two full stacks. Um, do we have any towers that are tied to this? We do have some back here. So we could do this guy. And uh, do we finish that? We did. Okay, so let's just pull back here. And see if we can like keep these archers in check. Maybe, hopefully the other marauders will come back too, soon too. Alright, let's get you guys chasing. Let's get you guys hustling. We can actually like start to consider abandoning this point. We are holding them back, and this is for sure big casualties. Okay, that unfortunately went for like the edge of the formation. Marauder should be able to take them out. Let's go hunt you down. Hopefully they win against the Empire Archers. We'll have to see. More shots. All right, Marauders, you guys are staying and fighting the good fight against Toddy's forces. Archers have been taken out in the back there. Chaos Marauders doing their thing. This choke point battle is very good, too. And, uh, yeah, we got a nice charge. Did our other horsemen shatter? Oh, that's kind of weird. Why would they just shatter like that? Hmm. It's a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Okay, so a shit ton of archers back there. Like, if we had a little magic, maybe. We definitely did more damage than the auto-resolve did. Would do. So let's get these marauders heading over here. They can just, like, flee the scene. Chaos Warrior's doing really good. We still have some great weapons here. So we'll hold this for as long as we can, I suppose. 
These Chaos Warriors have gotten a lot of kills. Not a ton of value, but hey, we did break these guys down, which is good. Okay, so let's keep chasing. And then we need to go recap some points. We have some Marauders that are going to try to escape. I bet you with like a really crazy, like well thought out strategy, this would maybe be winnable. Like maybe, maybe. All right, so let's get Marauders fleeing the scene. Fight these archers. You guys do this. And we now have a Hell Cannon Tower here, which is good. So please don't friendly fire me. And the horsemen, can they go over here and cap this? Maybe? Yeah, I can't even like look over there, which is so annoying. We'll go try and, ah, that one's being guarded. This tower is tied to what? Okay, let's get the tier one tower here. Horsemen, let's keep poking. We got some Marauders chasing, and uh, these guys need to break through here. So I can get these Marauders out and maybe drag them around the city. Those towers are doing the work of the gods though, man. Look at this huge blob just getting punished. Yeah, they got all the, they got, they just army lost us basically. All right, I mean, yeah, Toddy's army's basically destroyed. I mean, that's just a crappy garrison there, so. I do wish Chaos had something like the Beastmen where they couldn't like resettle. Yeah, where they couldn't settle. That'd be nice. Maybe that's winnable, actually. Yeah, if you like, if you put like a Chaos Warrior at each point in the city and just build like a Hell Cannon Tower at each one and just kind of cheese that way, I bet you it is winnable. You would just have to really min max it. Yeah, not too many options. That's true. But like abusing towers and dragging the AI in the wrong directions, there's probably some sort of a min maxy way to do that. Yeah, I would guess. All right, so Festus will be there next turn. Boris is going to get auto result and. Uh, I wonder if they'll occupy it. They probably will. Yeah, I think raising it for the souls is probably the way. Okay, and then they come over here. It's fine. They can all suffer the lovely attrition and just feed, feed us experience as we just uh, farm them. But we're going to go get Toddy and head to uh, head to Aldorf and stuff. I think that's way more fun. All right, Festus is here. Oh, they didn't, they didn't, uh, they didn't actually take it. Is it actually like, is there any point in repairing that? I feel like not really. So Festus has got options. Our little green skin homies. Not likely. You know, oh, you know what I should have been doing is I should have been gifting it to my green skin allies. That would have been really funny, actually. Okay, Festus has got the plague. Middenheim has got all sorts of stuff. Kerberg belongs to your boy. Lord Lund up there as well. What is a what is the penalty for a second army for me? Okay, so Chaos Sorcerer Lord. We could start with metal. Evil eyeball. So campaign line of sight. Infernal dominance gives us undivided authority. Because they, they, they would all be made into Nurgles. Oh, look at that. Nurgles rot. Path to glory. Minus 25% to devote to Nurgle. That's nice. Check that out. So upkeep costs. We could get him with some marauders. Yeah, I don't have any. So Festus doesn't really start with vassals, guys. That's the thing. So there's no Norskin vassals down here to uh, start with. So this army is obviously just going to retreat from me. I'll have to hunt them down. Uh, can I upgrade you? Yes, we can. Let's get some uh, some great weapons. Yes, perfect. So only a couple of marauders left from our initial army, actually. Yeah, metal's metal's good. Metal's a good, a powerful lore. So Karaberg is gonna keep getting. How's Franz looking? Franz has five territories. Okay. Aldorf must pay the troll toll. All right, let's go, baby. We're gonna push him back, and then we're just gonna go take out Toddy. Yep, looks fine. No surprises. And then Festus will just continue waddling. I don't think there's like legit any threats here that we have to worry about. Uh, we can get a second hero though, I guess. And he can, if he just like sits in the garrison here, that'll probably prevent them from doing their thing. Yeah, Nurgle, Nurgle boy with fire. Burning body. It's a Chaos Lord. I wonder, so a Chaos Lord of Nurgle... Does, what does that look like? Have you guys actually seen that? I think the Sorcerer Lord is better though, but yeah, we're just gonna do the Nurgle's Rock Eye. He's 250. Okay, let's get you. Go join here. We can get some warriors. They're 180 upkeep. Okay, so let's let's start on the second army. All right, uh, that should be fine. We should still be in the green in terms of eco. All right, cool. So we have a second army now. Uh, once. If he potentially pushes up, we should be okay. Uh, we can go ahead and give them the plague too. So let's have him help. We're trying to rush to this. We have 49 right now and we need... 
Okay, so we just need one more until that's done. Wow, that is that one is spreading like wildfire. So what else would we want to tech out to in terms of plague? There's no Nurgle melee, Lord. Yeah, I saw that. That's a bit of a shame. It's okay. That's not a huge deal. I wanted to get the uh, the summon from beyond one. So we can just go ahead and do this. And uh, we can give it some symptoms here. Ah, eh, we don't really need to. Okay. No worries. Cool. So everything's going to plan, more or less. Just kind of grinding. They're saving Nurgle and Zinch Lords for later. Yeah, I think so. They, they will eventually get added because they exist in tabletop, right? And they're... They have the potential to be super cool, but definitely makes sense. So yeah, Toddy's going to have to get steel chaired here. I've had enough of his shit. And then we're going straight to Altorf to have a word with Franz. Because Franz is going to keep resurrecting Toddy if I don't. We saw his army in March Dance there. We saw it in March Dance. There's also, um, I don't think there's a Nurgle Lord, a Nurgle Sorcerer. Because that would kind of... Like, I was really hoping there would be one. Okay, do we actually get a victory here? Are you serious? Okay, well. <laughs> that was easy. I'll take the souls. Oh, don't declare war on me. You love me, dude. I thought we were friends. Man, look at that. So, yes, we will continue gearing up the army. Our, our glorious goblin allies doing the work of work of Sigmar here. Boris Toddbringer just... Scrambling to Middenheim. He's he's looking longingly at his old city, at what has been lost. Uh, so we got more warriors. We actually have a Manticore here, which is kind of cool. But let's recruit you. The plague has spread. Brass Keep has some level ups. But we need to we need to just get the business going. All right, Doctor Festus. Oh, can we level up you real quick? Okay, that should not be medium casualties, but. We're just going to do it, because it's quick. And let's go ahead and... Man, raising that does give us a lot of souls, but sacking it also gives us the, the money we need to kind of sustain our war effort. Yeah, let's just raise it. But then Franz is going to come back and give it to him. No, we can't. We got to... We got to... We got to make this difficult. All right, very good. Province secured Midland. Oh, that's actually good, too, because it gives us the province. Okay, that's probably... Yeah, see, like, that's another reason why... You want to settle instead of raising, because like you get Nurgle pretty good, like growth and chances of plague spreading, plague duration a hundred percent longer. Like, dude, I feel like you have to do that. Okay, so we're learning. We're learning together what needs to be done. Manticores, a two percent chance every turn to get a Manticore. Uh, huh? So we could turn him into a Nurgle Marauder. Let's get some Hounds, I guess. And uh, I don't know if he's ready to go take on. Let's move out here and see if there's an army sitting here. So that army did die. Okay, so next turn what we can do is we can go and take this and get that back. Yeah, because now we have the province, so the plagues will just last longer. And look, okay, so now we have the crumbling ague. Yeah, check that out. Okay, that's sweet. So what does this give us? Plague duration plus five, growth... And Vanguard on all our stuff. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, so we need to go put this on Big Chungus like right now. Yes, it's 150, which is no sweat off our back. We're just going to constantly have this on all our armies. Oh, baby. Oh yeah, it's getting real. It's getting real, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's like actually play Festus with his... So now we have this. We still have to do his quest battle. Oh, you ready for the first Chosen? Dude, this, this is so fun. Wait, do we have enough? No, rank seven. Oh, okay, we're not quite there yet. Damn. Chaos Warrior, great weapons. That army is just getting meaty. Toddy's gonna just attack a nearby city and uh, just meet his end most likely. The Black Pit, yeah, he couldn't take any of these. That's so strong. That's so strong, man. I think in the head-to-head -head campaign, I want to play Nurgle. <laughs> I feel like the amount of trolling you can do is so, so good. It's so good. All right, so what's Toddy doing? Toddy's just dying of attrition in the forest. We see Carl Franz. Franz is going to get wrecked. Empire gets owned by um, by armor. Unless you are like have a really good micro and a ton of handgunners, like Empire State Troopers have no chance. Can you get the Exalted Hero with that healing ability and multiplayer? I have it. My two my two aspiring or Exalted Heroes both have AoE heals. They have Locus of Fecundity. It's crazy. It's crazy. So our other Nurgle army will go get this. Yeah, Toddy is... Toddy, look, Toddy's sieging his home. 
like a sad moment in the movies when like you know some someone tries to reclaim their former glory and fails you will die at the gates of Middenheim my friend you will take your souls for the dark gods all right and settlements are receiving the plague we get some winds of magic let's go ahead and get the yeah these guys have the plague Let's give you the crumbling ague as well. And now we have some money, so I'm going to go in the red a little bit. And I think this is wolf... Well, yeah, that's their only army, so... What we do is... Oh my god, and the garrison's like just going to get wrecked by this. Hell yeah. Alright, so we're going to continue that. We're going to build some rams. And that garrison is just going to get plagued out because of the crumbling ague. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Character experience gain is so nice. Chance of spreading a plague. Plague duration plus five. Sweet, dude. Sweet. So Festus has done it. Can we get to Altdorf? We could just straight up go to Altdorf this turn. Oh, man. Okay, Altdorf's going to just fall. The Empire is certainly looking to be in rough shape. And <laughs> now you die. Here's our homie. Humies of the North. Oh wait, he doesn't. Is he mad at us now? I want some Nurgle elves. Can we can we be friends with Lalor and Forest? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, so as far as the victory conditions go, control at least thirteen of the following settlements either through direct ownership or through vassals. You see how they're just all over the place? It's like, dude, like look at these. Look where these territories are on the map. It's just, it's just, it's just wild. Like, how the hell are we gonna, dude? How do you get these? Easily, without like waddling. I guess you have the portal system, but I don't know, man. That just seems that just seems not fun to have to chase all those down. Green filth. Okay, we have a quest to take him down, even though he's our friend now. Uh, we could teleport to the pestilent potions. Let's do uh, let's do the quest battle, yeah. Festus just feels so strong. Wait, why am I high casualties for this? Oh, they have double jabber scythe. Shit. I guess my giants kill jabber scythe, so that's okay. This actually seems like a hardish fight. Which is good. That'll be fun. Yeah, I'm more or less healthy. Oh, wait. I think some, some of these guys can get uh, upgraded into Chosen. Hold up. Okay, rank 7. Oh, that must be in the gold tier. Requires right of ascension. Okay, so we do have that. Oh, and you can go straight to the panel. Okay. So let's see how hard this quest battle is. My army is somewhat damaged, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. All right, thank you, world events. Pestilent potions will give us this, which that gives us Nurgle authority, melee defense, which is good, and uh, of course his potion ability. All right, let's uh, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't have much diplomacy action through vassal and military ally, but yeah, like how do I got to get over there? How do I, do I just have to send some agents across and just like kind of, that still is a really, really, I, I don't like, I don't like that victory condition. It's, it's really not, not very good. Yeah, we're going to get some bomb experience and plus the plague that we have gives us character experience so our champions can level up. Yeah, the beastmen are going to get wrecked. Although they have two jabber slights, they also have a gorgon um, and two cygors. Cygors are really good against chaos infantry, so you know, they can throw giant boulders at you. We have the double giants to fight, and, like, any infantry they have are going to get wrecked. Um, but this will still be a challenging fight, I think. Let's see. Okay, you guys ready for the Festus speech? Speech! He's like reading the ingredients. He doesn't speak very loud. Oh, it just starts right away. Okay, interesting. So unfortunately the giant started on the outside of the formation. Uh, let's get the hounds in. Three and get the Furies in four. 
pull the giants into the center. And Saigor is, of course, going to be dropping some boulder on, boulders on us here. So we have uh, the giants. We'll get one. Oh, oh, it put one of my guys on a chariot. Shit, I should have been paying attention. Let's start with the uh, healing elixirs. All right, so get you guys moving up. Take down some of those centigors, and we can just more or less move up the whole army. Stop the Saigor bombardment. Yeah, easier said than done with me and me and what mobility, my friend. So we need to get our characters in there battling against those those big boys. The infantry fight should be pretty decisive. And uh, we can, I guess we could send our Furies back there to kind of tie them up a little bit. We'll have to see. Yeah, there's no like easy way of getting back there. Okay, so Giants, giants should do okay against the dreaded Gorgon here. With the help of the Fart Master. Okay, one Jabber Slide is actually almost already dead, so that's that's pretty good. Um, raiders and Raiders. The bombardment's pretty nasty. Let's do a, a leadership discouraging effect on the Jabber Slide to try and break him. Anybody need Fleshy Abundance right now? We're chilling. Get some of these Chaos Warriors here. All right, Trolls. Get him there. Make him pay the Troll Toll a little bit. Hounds. We can uh, loop the Hounds up and around like so. Seems to be going okay. Beast of Nurgle on the Lord. Yeah, Furies are on the targets they need to be on. Send you back there. All right, so how are the Giants doing? Bilius. So one Jabber Scythe is broken. So let's actually get some of the Hounds to chase him off. So we don't have to deal with that later. And you can just chill here. And great. So that guy's dealt with. Now we need to go move on and just take out the other monsters. The Giant will get to them eventually, but... Okay, let's get your boy here. Stream of Corruption. You guys go here. Furies have done their job. Most of the backliners are karate chopped. We have anything to help out in the forest up here. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Yeah, like, it says shut down the bombardment, but there's not a whole lot we can actually do to shut that down, to be fair. All right, Warriors, Beast of Nurgle. I think there's still a Jabber Slice here. Jabber Slice are a problem. They have a Mortis Engine, so we need to uh, get on that guy's stat. So let's slow him down. Get our giant heading over here to fart on him, hopefully. Uh, we can go with the, the farting aura right now. I think that'll be fine. And the hounds could go after the Jabber Scythe, I suppose. Yeah, like our warriors are kind of getting tracked in that area. I, I feel like I need to um, replace the Forsaken, too. They don't seem terribly useful. All right, so let's get you guys. Chase these archers. Beast of Nurgle obviously losing here, but that's to be expected. Festus and the Exalted Squad. Let's go back there. The Exalted Boys can uh, run. Let's pop the AoE heals. And save the other ones for later. And now we have a giant for the Jabber Scythe. Yeah, the two giants will take that guy down. Easy peasy. Okay, Furies over the top. Forsaken here. Looking good. We have Dr. Fest Festus helping the Beast of Nurgle. Um, do we have any heals for him right now? I'm going to go healing elixirs. All right. How are the Exalted Heroes doing? Yeah, kill the Gorgon. Kill the Gorgon. Get them dragged into melee here. Seems okay. All right, perfect. Said I'm going through a tunnel. Did my audio sound really weird or something? Hopefully not. Uh, Ungors, yeah, we could like flank him with Furies. Whatever, it's fine. Should be able to take those guys down. All right, sorry about that. We are the plague. We are the plague. Okay, so the beast caster is dead. We're we're getting them sweet potions. We definitely took a little little bit of damage. One of the harder fights we've had so far. Come on, Jabber Slay. Two giants should be able to just like end that guy's career right there. And uh, yeah, now we just gotta get on the Cygors here. Gorgons, of course, are anti-large. So they're gonna be especially good against our exalted boys. But we do have layers of healing, so. No problem. Yeah, once the SEMs are dealt with, it's... I mean, this battle's been over for a while, for sure. Marauders getting some some action here. The Warriors. We're very close to getting the Chosen. Slow you down. Maybe let one of the Giants catch you and give you the biz. Alright, so the Gorgon has fallen to the two champions. Dr. Festus has battled the Beast Lord. You can heal. Then do the Elixirs. I did have the word saving amulet too. Let's pop that. Alright, Exalted Boys, good job. Let's go get the Cygors now and take out the Bray Shaman back here. Let's get you, and you can come around, go chase them. And the Giant's waddling to get him off the battlefield. And after this, the Empire will, uh, will feel the wrath of Nurgle for sure. Alright, so let's get the Exalted Boys, AoE heals. Oh, it's so, so nice that we have the Locus of Fecundity on those. So damn nice. Yeah, look at look at how effectively they just goon this character. Yeah. We don't need to like finish him, it's a quest battle, so we just we just get in there and pile in and finish the Cygors. 
All right, so Saigors are almost down for the count. Another AoE heal for our whole blob there. Festus, head over here. And I don't think there's much left. So we want to gather all of our SEMs. I guess they're all pretty healthy. So take down the Saigor for Chevrons. Chevrons for the Chevron God. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. That's the good stuff right there. Uh, healing elixirs, yes. Oh, they have some chaos spawn fighting somewhere. Okay, that'll do. That'll do, pig. <laughs> Nurgle actually disgusts you. Giants with Nurgle support. Yeah, they, they've been okay. They're a little bit rough in the beginning, but um, yeah, being able to just heal giants is always nice, of course. There's no Nurgle sorcerer, basic Nurgle sorcerer in multiplayer. I don't think there was in campaign either. So there, uh, there would have been some really powerful combos if there was, because you could bring a Nurgle sorcerer and bring Kolek, and a Kolek could be getting fleshy abundance and just like literally stomping everyone. It could have been brutal. Hey, Eli, thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. I did miss that one, but thank you so much. Uh, giants are situationally okay in multiplayer. Like they've not, they're not like terrible against like vampire counts and things like that. Giants, if they had better capture weight, could actually be pretty good. Yeah, Festus needs some neckbeard lines for sure. But everything is basically a pun on you know him being a doctor. All right. Uh, what do we want to take? Let's take the souls and the money. Ah, oh, we lost Fury, but who cares? Hey, we got the Chaos Chariot. Pestilent Potions, nice. Oh my god, he like struggled to say his own name there. Okay, Battle Healing Cap. This one gives us relations with all the all the boys. Slime Trail, Clinical Hygiene, Chance of Spreading a Plague, Armies in the Province. That's pretty good, too. Gardener of Nurgle seems okay. That makes him a demon. So, let's get the Arcane Conduit. Obviously, that's good. I think having these guys on chariots is pretty strong. Right on. They're not quite immortal, so we have to be careful with them still. Okay, so let's get back into the city. Casualty replan, very, very nice here. Uh, we'll save the money, because obviously we don't have like a great army. Take some, take some hounds for you. So we're going to continue the siege here. I want to see what kind of an effect the, the plague has on the city. Okay, eh, whatever, we can get that. It's fine. We have enough aggressive momentum now that we're constantly going to be, you know, sitting sitting pretty well financially. Um, no, we don't want that. Don't want that right now. <laughs> this is the goblin army, guys, that's been sitting there for like 15 turns, just, just plaguing itself into oblivion. Yeah, it's been great. Tiamat, been loving the IE domination matches since Gorse has gone from Haggard to Palpatine. Has been, yeah, so Gorse is going to get nerfed because um, he's stupidly overpowered. Because the fact that you're paying only 600 for a Mortis engine and a caster is really stupid. So, like, even if someone goes through all the effort of killing Gorse, which he already has, like, friggin' a ton of HP, he just comes back for 600. It's really, really stupid. So, Helm and Gorse, I'm pretty sure, is getting nerfed. Um, his corpse cart. It's not going to affect any of you campaign players, so don't worry about it. His Corpse Guard is just being brought up to the same cost as a Mortis, like, close to a Mortis engine, right? Oh, they're sallying forth to fight, are they? Uh, yeah, we'll just fight this. It's fine. Vassalize the Goblin so they can ruin Dwell for you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I can... Yeah, I'll see, I'll see what we can do. The Goblin, uh... He hasn't been happy. So rather than suffer through the plague, the Empire Army sallies forth and has opted to come fight me in open field, which... They have a decent chance. I mean, the Hounds will win the game for me or win the battle, but yeah, they will. No, Gorse is, Gorse is not getting nerfed in campaign. You're going to have no problems. It's only making his Corpse Cart cost more in multiplayer. So if you're if you're playing a multiplayer game, you're fine. Yeah. We're talking about multiplayer costs. Yeah, you're good, brother. You're good. You're going to... Campaign doesn't matter. Like, look, once you get enough experience in this game... You can just know how to abuse the AI to the point where you can basically make any, like, Haggard strategy work. Not any. There's still some that, like, like, Mass Grail releaks will probably never be good. But that's the thing. Like, campaign doesn't matter if shit is overpowered. I mean, you still want some balance so the same faction doesn't just, like, stomp every time. Okay, so the Empire is attacking me. So we'll get you on the sides, get you on the sides. Warriors are just so strong here. We could actually go fight them here. Uh, what metal do I have? I have this guy's fire. That's right. Yeah, a rad quest battle would be the Siege of Prague from the Beast Slayer novel. That would be really cool, actually. That would be really, really, really rad. 
Come, my hounds. What are these, swordsmen? Oh, we can actually get the swordsmen. So we can attack with one hound, and the other one can, like, run up and under and just surround him. We'll see what's going on. All right, so we're moving in. Yeah, no, we don't want to mess with the spears, actually. Okay, so we'll get a little bit closer. You guys come over here. You hounds. Look at the AI kind of, kind of defending its back line, which is cool. You want to target the uh, infantry, because if you target the archers, they usually fall back and you miss your charge. So that's not fun. Cascading Fire Cloak. We need to go get the character, so let's take our two characters and go get his. Hounds. Hounds in the back. Hounds over here. And now we're uh, we're chilling, so should be able to get the character. All right. Here you go. Here you go. He does have some free company militia, which are okay. Um, let's go ahead and circle you guys about. But we got the tanky Nurgle Marauders, and the whole backfield is going to be feasted on by hounds. One day you'll make it work. The Mass Grail Relic build, that that's definitely pushing it. Warrior uh, Arch Lectures are pretty terrible fighters, so we don't need to worry too much about that. All right, so those archers have been munched on. Let's get you guys to go after these swordsmen. Uh, these guys are... Yeah, this is a garrison, so we don't need to like go too crazy with chasing stuff down. All right, so let's pull here. I, you know, I honestly think Chaos Warhounds and like Hound units in general are one of like the most useful things like ever. They're just so useful. Okay, so going after the Lord, he's getting a little bit beat up, so let's uh, let's pop a little, little razzle-dazzle on some of these fights. I'll give it to you guys. You're in a pretty hard one there. All right, so let's go up and over the top. Warriors are coming in to sandwich those swordsmen. Should be fine. Definitely going to be better than what this damn auto-resolve gave us. Yeah, Nurgle is really fun, dude. I, I love the Nurgle campaign. The whole plague mechanic, like, at first I was looking at it and it was, like, confusing me, but I was like, my 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 monkey brain can't figure this out. But, like, once you get the hang of it, it's, uh, it's, it's super fun. All right, so now we can just use our dogs to break formations. So we'll just kind of charge into the back of these front lines. The exalted hero should be able to take down this guy. Maybe just fast forward a little bit. Yeah. That should do the trick. The line breaker dog's doing great. We've gotten into the backfield again. These are free company. Let's go ahead and sandwich them. Hounds doing the work of uh, work of the dark gods, man. Nurgle should bless these hounds with a little bit more than just, you know, the basic stuff. Getting the surround, so you see we come around the back and just hit these units and some of the hounds break when I fast forward, but that's okay. Alright. Because free company are actually good fighters, so a lot of times they can actually give the business to some of your units. Alright, looking good. Exalted Hero's kind of getting his butt kicked a little bit. Man, I did not expect that. Okay, so let's get the Hounds. Let's line break these guys. Yeah, kind of a little bit of a heavy fight, actually. How are the Hounds doing? Yeah, they've almost got that free company broken. Let's get into the Archers now. And uh, one of you guys loop around and jump on the other Archer. You can curse to the slug these guys so they can't like kind of reinforce the fight quite as quickly. This, uh, this, this Warrior Priest is... He is, he is doing the work. Okay, let's pull back a little bit. Be a little bit safer here. Mm. After this, we'll do some emergency recruiting of units to make sure this army doesn't get hit by, like, another army afterwards. This character is going to become a Nurgle Sorcerer anyway, so... That's kind of the plan for him. Okay, so free company. Let's get some of you guys around the side. Get you warriors flanking them. We should win most of these fights here. Let's uh, turn and charge there. Nurgle Marauders are slow and steady, man. They get the job done. They just take their time. Let's get a Fireball down the line here. Exalted Hero can go help out. Fireball's okay if you go, like, right down the side of something and then shoot a Fireball. It can... Yeah, this is a cool map. I like this one. This is a land battle map. Let's keep chasing the archers down. This is our second army that we just created, so... At least they're not starting off, like, dying like most of my new armies do in campaign. Uh-huh. Get the Hounds. Chase the units down. I guess Nurgle can kind of chase things down because they do do poison damage, so there's a little something about that. Okay, so let's do this. Bunch of you guys. Hounds come in. Hounds come in. Curse of the Slug. Kind of weaken that formation a little bit. Let's do that. Anything else to chase down? So you guys chase these guys. And uh, that is just a single Spearman who is shattered. Let's go after these. I'm pretty sure it was a Siege Battle. I'll do a little bit of chasing just to be safe. Because there might still be an auto-resolve, right? If they sally out to attack. I can't remember. Someone tell Anticity Turn is using buff spells. <laughs> well, the thing is, I only have Fireball. Yeah. Buff spells aren't bad. So here's the thing. Like, buff spells, depending on what you're casting them on, the value can increase. Situationally, buff spells are good. Direct damage, generally speaking, is better. 
just X way better. Like it's just a fact. Like Spirit Leech has always been good. Like epic AOE crowd clearing on Blob Day AI has always been kind of a thing, right? So, you know. How would you rate the new Malice campaign? I haven't played it. I haven't played it. I, for some reason, Malice's campaign doesn't really interest me. Um, I don't know why. It just doesn't tickle my pickle. I know. So Kyle Ass is on his way up. You know, he's 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 gonna try and ascend to a, a new level. The corn mechanic. Yeah, corn looks fun though. I, Valkia's campaign looks pretty badass. She starts right next to um she starts right next to Malekith. She starts right next to a couple other characters. Grom Brindle's up there too. Grom Brindle got moved. He, he he was the dwarf campaign I would have done if that had won the vote. Yeah. The only buffs that can compete with direct damage spells, which I think needs to be addressed somehow, is um, ma like map-wide buffs. So something like uh, Slanesh's lore passive can arguably be better than like a direct damage spell because it buffs your entire army and the more units you have engaged, the more value you're getting across the board. See what I'm saying? So it, it certainly goes both ways. Okay, we have another hour left before I have to go. I have a, something I have to do in the afternoon. So what were we, we, were gonna, we were gonna continue to take provinces yeah, let's just like let's like expand. Yeah, see, so we still have to fight this. So that's why I wanted to do that. Cause like it actually helps us to take provinces as Nurgle, because we get these really good commandments that just like let our plagues spread like crazy. So yeah, Festus will go down into the Empire. He's gonna go take Aldorf and uh homeboy here, who's leveled up. We're going to dedicate him to Nurgle, so it doesn't really matter too much where we put his points, because it'll reset him. Training is always good. Okay, we should just have an easy auto here. That's alright, we need to continue the siege for a turn. Yeah, alrighty. So we got 10,000 Gs, playing Chaos as it used to be played. Pro Profane weaponry is done. Gorby's chariots. Allegiance points with... Yeah, so this helps us like become allies with other Norskins, which we're not going to find. Battle healing cap for each active gift of Nurgle seems good. And Nurgle Corruption from Chaos Altars. Huh. So unlocks bonus growth effects for Dark Fortress military buildings. That's kind of cool. Local Lord Recruit rank. This will give us access to Fecundity as an army ability, which I think is probably something we want to work towards. So let's start going down here and try and get the Fecundity. Path to Glory, 50% levels kept. Oh, that's nice. So when you ascend someone, they, uh, they keep some of their previous experience. All right, so we can take the, do we have the, any income buildings here? They've all been sauced out. Growth, the fortress, man, the chaos buildings are really, really expensive though, guys. They're super pricey. Midland is on its way, leveling up. Uh, we could take the growth, I guess, but 6,000 is a lot, but it, you know, I suppose it's worth. Yeah, Franz isn't home. Can only Sorcerer Lord of Nurgle be given the mark of Nurgle? No, you can do it to any of them. He just, he's cheaper. I'm actually not even at war with the Empire. Holy shit. Receive. How am I not at war with friends? The fact that you... I refuse. What if we just became Nurgle and just became best friends with friends? That'd be so funny. Yeah, nobody here is ready to... Oh, actually, we can go straight into Nurgle, guys. Does it heal them? No, it doesn't heal them. Oh my god, they're just like roaring all angrily. Okay, so we just upgraded a bunch of the boys to Nurgle. Come join the fun. Uh, we have more plagues... How are we doing here at the cities? So Festus is Ague is still active. We still have the Festus is Ague here. And the Brass Keep, what would this give us? Yeah, we could do this. That It gives you like growth and just all sorts of good stuff. Okay, Altdorf is reasonably entrenched, but nothing Big Daddy isn't going to be able to handle. Could have gone up the coast, but like I feel like just... Yeah, no thanks. So, I mean, dude, storming this city is going to be a joke. Yeah, we should just fight the battle. <laughs> we just become best friends. Yeah. Carl and Nurgle together against the Dawian Skaven. I mean, in head-to-head -head campaigns, we can do a lot of crazy stuff. Carl will be back. He's going to come and, uh, and try and liberate his city, but he probably just has crappy state trooper army right now. Why are there no more uh, High Elf mains? Well, Vlad, we're going to find out if there are. Like, the thing is, Immortal Empires hasn't even launched yet, so we don't know what people are going to be maining, right? Like, there will be High Elf players, because on Total Tavern, you're going to be able to see the stats of who plays what in tournaments, so you will see people, if people are even playing High Elves. I think Cathay is going to be one of the least played factions, probably. 
Yeah, I'm surprised Aldorf doesn't turn into a Dark Fortress. That that's that's what I was a little bit shocked about, but you know. I feel like settling is better than than raising with Nurgle. Cause you have that like sweet aura. So yeah, basically here what we do, guys, is we get all our mobility on one side of the city. They're just cackling, okay. And then the mouth breathing blob of doom, which is Nurgle's defined playstyle, is just gonna move, storm these gates here. Yeah, like our army is so jacked right now, guys. It is just nuts. So we'll get the two exalted boys. Festus will have the AOE heals for this force, and then these guys are just gonna get healed by you. Giants will beat down the walls. So we haven't tried that yet. Beast of Nurgle can join Festus. Trolls can join this posse. All right, so let's uh, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Let's get the giants to beat down the walls and giants to beat down the walls. That's actually going to be pretty fun. And then the hounds can get in here. We'll get some furies to go into the city. Furies can attack towers. That's one of the things they're best for here. Yeah, Forsaken. I don't really care about the Forsaken. They're going to get replaced. Uh, let's get the healing elixirs. So we should be able to drop some fat heals. We do also have Blight Boils, so... Unfortunately, it can't be used on walls. Let's try it right here. See what kind of damage we get. Yeah, It's an expensive spell, but it does kind of one-shot whatever it hits. Okay, just wanted to test the waters. So the Giants are beating on the walls now, which is cool. Let's go, team. Come on. How long does it take the Giant to get through the wall? It doesn't look like very long. And this guy. What the hell? Oh my god, I forgot to redeploy him. That's sad. Sad, sad. So we could just go Dr. Mortis Engine now. The walls are almost destroyed, actually, which is really cool. So the Hounds have gotten in, and uh, where do we see Cannon Towers? Furies are just so good at killing towers. So we'll just get them over there to kind of crump that tower there. Though it looks like they have one over here, too. Haldorf stands at the ready against the Nurgle Swarm. All right, big giant. How's the wall going? You almost got it down. Okay, one more shot, and that wall should fall. Granted, we're already in with most of the army. The dreaded AI using its handgunners to defend the walls in melee. It's very classic stuff. Okay, giants move in. Giants. Looks like we're about to be in here. A little bit longer. A little bit longer. Uh, do we want to pop any heals from the boys? Dude, they have three charges of that heal too. That's pretty nuts. Okay. Almost in. And a couple more attacks. The hounds. Trying to get in the gatehouse. And we're in. Alright, let's go have some fun. Well, fun by... Our standards, I suppose. All right, so Festus has gotten in. Everyone's getting drained. Let's get the giant moving here, and we can use the dreaded fleshy abundance on the giant. Nurgle healing. Always good. Have the hounds gotten in the gatehouse? Looks like they're about to. Good, Anakin. Good. Let the hate flow. So Altdorf has fallen. Let's keep moving this way. This way. We can go after you. Get the giant to potentially deal with him. We've almost gotten in. And is the gate open here? Have the hounds gotten in? All right, great. So the hounds the hounds have been released. So let's go over here. So like this, and then up and right here. And that should give us that capture point in the old city of Altor. But really, uh, the defenders are sp spread super thin. We're about to kill, the giant is just crumping the Lord. Fury didn't kill the tower as quickly as I remember it doing. Maybe they nerfed that. Let's drop some big AOE heals from our Nurgle champs. Uh, Dr. Festus is on Mortis right now. Let's throw his potion here. Leadership debuff. Try and just route them like almost instantly. And uh, there's not much to Mortis here, so let's just go heal. Let's see where they're going to set up here. Let's do a Blight Boil. Uh, you know, they didn't kill that tower that quick. Yeah, I guess I was wrong about that. Let's attack here. I guess just taking this region is going to be quicker anyways. All right. The Farting Giant has gotten in. We got the Blight Boil. Buckling their formation. Hounds are in the city. Uh, so we'll get one of you here and one of you here. Dr. Festus. We just need to keep beating these guys down over and over. Until they uh, until they learn the business. Let's get the Nurgle army moving there. Furies are still chasing. Uh, any other stuff I want to occupy here? It looks like most of these top places will be taken. So let's go to the center. We can have one unit of uh, Forsaken. Just keep chasing. Should be enough to kind of route those guys off. Okay, so we got halberds on the giant here. Um, nothing that a little fleshy abundance isn't going to fix up. Very slow, ponderous Nurgle armies. Uh-oh, the swordsmen are coming. They, they don't want that. Okay, so we got that. 
Big Chungus is here. Uh, Harbinger Pestilence, not bad. Yeah, the Double Giants, obviously able to do work. I lost Fury, it's fine. They were gonna be replaced anyways. <laughs> Give me the gate. Those poor handgunners, certainly in the wrong neighborhood. We're gonna slow them down with Curse. Uh, I don't think they really have anything left. Okay, I see some state troopers over here, some swordsmen that are fleeing. Um, you guys go to the center to take this. Yeah, we've mainly taken this, so let's head over here. You guys go here, Festus this way. The hounds have taken the back of the city. Hey, look at that, we got Altorf, man. We got Altorf. I really wish YouTube would get rid of the bot accounts. Yeah, they're super annoying. I don't know, YouTube, get your stuff together. I mean, YouTube has so much potential for streaming. You know, typically, um, YouTube's like streaming situation isn't really optimized. Like, uh, it has a lot of potential. I mean, YouTube, if you compare YouTube to Twitch, like just head to head, YouTube, the amount of viewers that YouTube has is just blows Twitch out of the water, right? Just absolutely annihilates them. If YouTube would like optimize their streaming and properly send it out, like it does a really terrible job of notifying viewers. Whereas from people who stream on Twitch I've talked to, they said that Twitch is better at notifying people that, you know, someone's streaming. And that's like, you see, you, you do see that. You'll see people on Twitch who might have, you know, a third the number of overall quote unquote followers or subscribers get a, a much higher percentage in terms of, you know, people being notified and showing up to the streams. But it's all good, you know. The thing about YouTube that's cool is it becomes a video afterwards so people can catch up later. I much prefer YouTube myself, but. Um, all right, so Altorf is ours. Um, sacking it is mighty tempting for the money, but I think we just occupy it. Oh, look, we get a Chaos Wharf, that's cool. Yeah, like, just minimal damage. Could have even cheesed it harder. Oh, uh, we're gonna max out Trainer just so he can. Uh... How long till we get the Chosen? Yeah, we're almost there. Swords of Chaos. Ooh, and the Festering Stooges. All right. So we can get some good ROR's here. That's continuing the siege. Could get recruit some ogres and marauders. Okay. So this is big boy Festus. Let's go an apple a day. That gives him hit points and slime trail, which is nice. Uh, casualty replan for the Lord's army. Always good. Yeah, YouTube's, YouTube has so much potential for streaming. It just, uh, hopefully they realize it. I mean, they could, they could really, really give the business to Twitch if they wanted to, if they did things properly. Uh, yeah, that's okay. We could work on that. That'll give us another exalted hero. Hey, I think this makes three years. Dude, Bubba, man. I feel like we've been through many adventures together, my friend. It has been a while. How's our ally doing? Is there any, like, diplomacy anyone would take? Okay. So let's just take this non-aggression pack. Okay, they just want a little bit of money, sure. So maybe this is how I win the campaign. I just, I just make, like, friends with everyone around the map. There's Daniel up there. I think that's what people call him, right? YouTube always notifies me an hour or so af like after the stream starts. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, Festus probably eats an apple, but we don't know how old or nasty that apple is. It's funny because I'm allergic to apples. So like for me, that, that expression is especially ridiculous. What the hell is this? Where'd you come from? Oh, it's the Empire. <laughs> it's just Sigma. Oh, that was Karaburg. Okay. I thought they would come and try and liberate Altorf, but they're just like, nah, we're good. We're just going to, like, raid you. <laughs> yeah, the Empire's trying their best here. So we're going to, like, siege that city down over there using the Ague, which we've done. I really do like that one. It seems really nice. Your mom is allergic to apples? Uh, she actually isn't. My mom, um, my mom used to make apple pies all the time when I was a kid, and I wasn't allergic to them until I was, like, in my 20s, strangely enough. Let's see what this looks like. Low casualties? Yeah, sure, we could just do this. We need to just occupy this and then, like, heal up here. Uh, lumbers? Yeah, it's not going to be terribly helpful. Okay, replenishment. None of the warriors are in any position to level up. We could get a Beast of Nurgle for this army. Do we want to get a Beast of Nurgle, or do we want to get, like, Festering Stooges? Festering Stooges are a really good unit. They're super expensive, though. All right, so Burning Head, for sure. Exalted Man. Let's get you going. You need, a boon. you need a boon? Well, I mean, sure, why not? 250 for upkeep. I feel, I feel like it's not that much. Oh, that's for the uh, Demon's View. Yeah, 348. Beast of Nurgle is only 192, and then we can get some Furies as well. 
Yeah, an army rolling up on us there could be a little bit problematic. Okay, so the Empire is here. Altdorf is ours. The garrison kind of sucks. How are our plague timers doing? You know, the fact that this city doesn't have a plague is certainly a little bit disconcerting. We got this, so we will take... Yeah, we'll take that. We'll, we'll settle that, colonize that at some point. Because for Nurgle, it's nice to have the provinces, I think. I think it's the way to do it. Altdorf? Does Altdorf have a plague? We could we could give Altdorf a little bit of eleven. What other really good ones that we have? Plague duration, income from sacking, growth. Yeah, this really just seems like the best one. Casualty replen plus 35%, dude. I mean, that's crazy. The path to glory for Kylos. Yeah, yeah, let's look at that together. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good point. We should look. Okay, so... He has a tune to Shaman for the Golden Hounds. Cool down to all spells. So rank up channeling. Win a battle with a, another spellcaster in your army. Okay, so if you have two casters, that's kind of cool. A tune to Ulgu. Gives us Pendulum, but... You can devote to Nurgle. Um, which is character must reach rank 5. Or... Character must reach rank 30. I think we can go Nurgle. And then we can ascend to Nurgle Demon Prince. So we're going to go Nurgle and then Nurgle Demon Prince after that. That's really neat, actually. Okay, yeah, you can go Undivided Demon Prince there. Man, they really went all out for this campaign. It's pretty sweet. Okay. So Altdorf is ours. Let's let's just like pretend like we're starting an Empire campaign. Although the problem is these gremlins are just going to keep trolling me. Karaburg got raided. They're just taking fat attrition, which is outstanding. Let's see how many territories the Empire has. I will hear your petition. <laughs> Franz sounds like he's getting a little bit more interested in what I have to say. He's like, okay. Okay, big man. I hear you. So we're just going to go take this down. And they can come and get Altorf back, and then I'll just squash them again. We'll just kind of lure them in. So Festus is on his way over. Auto resolve. Uh, let's go ahead and just sack that. And get the money. Nice. And then we'll see what's cracking over on the other side. Uh, Gardener of Nurgle. Okay, speed enemy armies. Get less speed. Oh, that's cool. So I can actually catch them. I love that. That's very fun. Love the mix-up. Atrium yesterday and Warhammer today. Yeah, man. We were having fun. It's, it's mainly going to be Total War, but, you know. We'll get in there where we can. So we got money, which will sustain our, our haggard economy for, uh, for a bit longer. Definitely... Definitely not worth upgrading that. Kerberg does not have a plague, which is a shame. So let's go ahead and get the ague there. I do still want to get this bad boy, but this one is just so good. So we're going to infect Kerberg to try and get these armies plagued up. And uh, I, I would like to get this one. Let's see. Constant, yeah, I guess. Nah, the ague is just so good. I don't see any point of like messing with other ones. All right, pass turn. Change your gifts regularly to unlock the later ones faster. Yeah, I don't know. Like the other ones just don't seem as good. It's like this one just seems so powerful. The casualty replan and the the length of the plague just being super long. It's, I don't know. I'm kind of like, can you show the red line skills? Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay. Oh, is that Franz? Franz is coming back to Altdorf, baby. Little does he know, Chungus waits in the shadows. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So, one of our main victory conditions for this campaign is wiping out the Empire, so... Path to Glory unlocked, yeah. Oh, we're coming for you, Franz. You're in You're in some danger, buddy. And you can see they're all just getting wrecked with attrition now. Yeah, they, they one of the armies there caught the plague from Karaburg. All right, cool. So, yeah, these guys got it. They're raiding here. Oh, never mind. That's just some guy named... Hmm. We could reach Uber's Reich, I guess. I could also get this army, but it's not really... Yeah, so they're in my territories. I don't think these Empire armies... Maybe both of them could win versus one of my armies here. There's a Cathay Caravan we could hit. I think I'm just going to let this army heal for now. Um... Hey, look! The goblins stole my... <laughs> The goblins took one of my territories. It's okay. We can be friends. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pals. So let's see what options we have here. 
Yeah, let's get some more experience. Farm some more souls. All that sort of good stuff. We want to have our, our lovely little empire of our own here. Yeah, so I'm going to try occupying. I don't know if it's the most effective way to do things, but yeah, who knows. And chaos gifts. Let's see. So slot, additional gifts can be unlocked via the technology tree. Okay, got it. So these Nurgle gifts are gained via... Yeah, soul sent to Nurgle. Okay. So experience gain, brilliant contagion. We don't have like the crazy good ones yet. Chance of spreading the plague. We've been doing the... Um, the Desiccated Hide, which is the one that gives missile resist and unit experience gain for my Nurgle units. This one gives you, um, enables replenishment in foreign territory. I would like to get another spot. Let's see how I can actually do that. Okay, looking here. I was kind of going for the Swamp of Souls. Unlocks bonus growth effects, Infernal March. Demonic Pact gives us maximum gifts for Chaos Undivided. Okay, so that's for Chaos Undivided gifts. Now, how do we get additional Nurgle gifts? Looking in the tech, enables direct recruitment of exalted heroes of Nurgle. That's what we were talking about earlier, guys. Ruinous monuments, culling of the weak. Unchained beasts. Oh, gore feast for chaos warhounds and feral manticores. That's kind of nice. So that they would they would just start healing on their own. Gifted units. Virulent blessing. Maximum gifts for Nurgle. Okay, so that gives you a maximum gift of Nurgle. And down here. Okay, so the Maddening Gifts, which is where we're going, gives us Nurgle, Nurgle action. Okay, so we kind of have an idea of how we're going to play this. You're just chilling. We could just beat down this Cathay Caravan real quick. As if they're going to do anything, but yeah, Let's just let our guys replenish for a turn so we can go finish off the, uh, the Empire to the north. How many territories do they have? I think they have a couple. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. But with the plague on us, hopefully it's uh, it's more doable for sure. Yeah, that, I, I saw where it was. Don't worry. Okay, so we're chilling here. Any sense in repairing Karaberg? Not really. Not possible. We can get you. We just have so many infections. It, we might as well just do this like everywhere. Uh, we can. I guess we could put this guy. In fact, Wizenmund with, um, and what do we need here? Yeah, so we need this more times. I would like to get the armies from beyond one. That seems like the only other one that might be really useful. All right, cool. Let's do this, pass turn, and let's see what the Empire does. John Maddening gifts. <laughs> yeah, obviously our economy is a little bit haggard because of the aggression, but I feel like chaos should be played that way. It's like... Obviously, you're not going to have like a ton of infrastructure and eco building. So, Aldorf should be retaken. I would wager. Yeah. See, they're going back to Aldorf, which is good. It's it's kind of the trap we laid for them because now we go and we just we have all their armies like right there, and then the empire is broken. Basically, they're just they're just dead. I like the little gremlin goblins like joining our our neighborhood. Yeah, experience is the is the limiting factor. Like money with with chaos, you can get money so quick by just like sacking something or you know causing problems there. But you'll play your first campaign as Festus. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's it's very fun. I I enjoy it a lot. I think it's more fun than Valkyrie's actually. You just have a lot of agency and like fun things you can do on the map. Let's max out training because we're gonna split you into a different army later, most likely. Uh, we can reach you. Oh, they're actually heading to Altorf, so they're not even there yet. Unworkable. One of the armies has the plague. Yeah, one of them has it. The goblins are... Hail chaos. Look! Look, they said hail chaos! Oh my god! I've, I've, I've got some devoted followers. Talapheim could be raided. Festus will just keep going deep. Um, can we reach Uberstrike, actually? We can't quite reach it. Okay, so what we do is we go here... We get a little bit of speed. Speed and Nurgle, I love those two expressions together. And then we're gonna go into Ambush Dance. And hopefully they'll go take Aldorf and then I can just like smash them after. Like they'll they'll occupy it to try and get it back. Yeah, look at the just everything just spreading all over the place there. Um as far as these guys go, we do have an Empire Army here. Let's we'll get you in the trees and go into ambush dance. Okay, that looks good to me. 
Kerberg, we don't need to update that yet. It's pointless. And let's pass the turn. Ah, the caravan, it's fine. I, I wanna I wanna land ambush. Yeah, upgrading your starting units to cho chosen is very, very cool. I, I love it. It's just look at the dreaded plagues everywhere. Oh my god. Just like you, you have no shortage of infections. Yeah, so Altorf is probably gonna get attacked by these armies. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Oh, they actually have Caraburg Greatswords. That's nice. So please just take it back. Oh, wow. They just sacked it? What? Certainly not very... Uh... Yeah, that seems weird. <laughs> All right. I'm, I mean, I'm down. It's it's uh, it's one less you know city I have to worry about there. So we'll just go to I Isleheart then. We'll take this army and head to Isleheart, and we should be able to just crump the empire from here. I would imagine they'll be... Why would they, Why would they sack Altdorf or destroy it? It's fine. Hey, look at that. It's, as long as Eldorf is gone, that's all we care about. We don't care about, like, as long as the Empire is gone, Reichland, because that's one of our victory conditions, you can see, for our long campaign. Um, yeah, the long campaign is we just need Reichland gone, so. Ah, oh, they didn't see me. Didn't see the Chungus hiding in the trees. Okay, so, oh my god. Oh my god, the longest. That's a. Look at that OP retreat. Well, anyways, can I really not get through here? I should be able to get through there, right? Go through the trees. All right, Festus just waddling around. Uh, yeah, the city. We have a decent little army coming here. Garrison there should be able to hold this army off. So what can we do here to make you a little bit stronger? Get the demon spew. Demon's view will be okay. That's gonna put us in the. Oh, that's gonna put us really, really tight, actually. All right, it's fine. We're gonna get the city. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue the siege for a turn. Let them take a little bit of attrition, and then we'll see if we can get a, a good fight next turn. We're literally gonna be like <laughs> have like twenty gold or something. Not that it matters. Festus should be able to get back. All right, so looks fine. Let's pass. How much does it sing the Sigmarite Soul? It, it feels bad. Feels bad. Uh, in order to make up for this, I'm going to have to play Franz in a head-to-head -head campaign, and someone else will have to play Festus. Does Theron know there's an actual Chungus? Yeah, I do. The Ogre. I saw him in o on Okoy stream. How would they purge stuff in Worm and Fantasy? Just send in Gelt? Yeah, probably. So these Haggard Empire armies are all on their way out. They're just they're just going to... Oh, there's Franz! Franz is in the trees in March Dance. I don't know if I can go right through those bushes there, though. I don't know if I can. Huh. We'll continue the siege up there because, you know, that army isn't very good. It's mostly marauders, so if I could just, like, force them into open field, that's going to be prime time. Your cadaver will make an excellent... Oh, military access. Yeah, dude, sign me up. Dude, this goblin, he's been a great ally. Even though we farmed him for souls earlier, you know, we've been friends. Do not take me for a fool. Oh, Franz is... Do not take me for a fool as he potentially gets caught in March Chance in the bushes. Okay, well, I won't. Oh my god, going through this forest is no joke. Okay, so... I think I can reach Franz here and just give him the dirty in the woods. Which would be nice to get the trait for doing that. Let's see what this looks like as we continue sieging. Yeah, so they're taking attrition. We'll just continue that. We're gonna get money here. Hmm. Aldorf is just spreading Nurgle corruption because of the... Because of the plague. Okay. Can I actually reach Franz, though? I can't. Is there any way to actually check this? Okay, so continue Siege. Let's do the Gifts of Chaos, see if there's anything I want to change here. I don't think we do. I think we're all we're all chilling there. Can I reach Franz? I like, I see the board. No, I think, I don't think I quite can. God, it's so hard to ch see if I can actually reach him. Like, because of the trees? I don't know if I can. Hmm. Maybe he goes and resettles Outdorf. Absolutely not. Then I get I should get here in two turns. Yeah, that's very weird. Okay, let's see if we can do any diplomacy here. What request would you make of a god in waiting? Uh we have a non aggression pact. Is there anybody who doesn't hate me? Chaos. Okay, it looks like most most everyone hates Festus. Could you show the effect of level ten authority? So you want to see the eyes uh yeah, yeah, I'll show you in just a second. As long as I don't forget. 
Yeah, I don't know if we can reach him. It's too hard to tell. If you click and hold, you can see your movement range. I know. But, like, you can't see it through the trees is what I'm saying. Because I would love to just take out Franz and then go to Uber's Reich after, but, like, if I can't reach him, he's just going to run away. I think I'm just short. It looks like the aura is just out of his influence there. Yeah, I don't think we can. All right, so we're, we're waddling. Maybe Franz and his Empire friends will decide to attack. I think I have one more turn before I hit, hit the red financially. So, uh, How are we doing in the capital city? So we have the plague going here. It's just constantly going, <laughs> which is great. Is there anywhere that doesn't have it in my Empire? Festus has got three turns left on that. Let's do this. Just reinfect it. Let's keep it. Keep it nice and fresh. Yeah, you can see the percentage. Oh my god, look at how quickly Gunhound slayed that uh that Slanesh bot. The eye knows I can't reach, but dude, just they're all getting wrecked by attrition. That's so brutal. Oh my god, how long does it last? You, imagine how bad this would feel in a head-to-head -head campaign. Oh yeah, look at this! Oh, this is gonna be a great fight. We get Festus versus the entire Legion of Man. Oh yeah, dude, sign me up. This is exactly what I wanted. So every Sigmarite army has come to join this battle. It's the final stand of the Empire. This is like a moment from the books. I love it. I secretly want to lose this. Secretly, I'm kind of like, dude, do you know how bad it would be to lose this fight, though, with Chaos? It's like, you can't get that stuff back. It's just like, it's just gone. Oh, my God. So Uncle Chungus is coming. Franz is going to have to die quickly. We're going to run him down with our two exalted heroes. We have to shatter the leadership of man. We got two giants, but giants are... Yeah, this is great, because now I don't have to play Whack-A-Mole. I can, I can just fight them. Oh, yeah, I have Vanguard deployment! Oh, no, that's so bad for the Empire. Because my, my Plague, my whole army has Vanguard deployment. Oh, dude, you're in trouble. This army, how long? A minute? That's going to be the longest minute and 40 seconds of Franz's life. Okay, so let's get you guys around the side. Okay. Old Sawbones provide. Old Sawbones is what they call them. That's pretty fun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have Vanguard. Oh, they're corner camping. The AIs. The AIs have cheesed me. Look at this shit. What is this, dude? Okay. We better slow things down a little bit. Oh, those are pistoliers. Okay. I'm not going to reach them. Dude, the dreaded AI corner camp. Who would have expected such filthy cheese from the honorable AI? He's supposed to just deploy in front of me and die, is what's supposed to happen. Okay, pistol ears are shooting our characters. We'll side them in the trees. Oh my god, the AI cheesing me. Okay, so let's get on the swordsman. I like how they have unique voice lines too. It's very cool. Okay, so yeah, we got these guys hiding in the bushes. Hound circling around the back. And we're for sure going to go Mortis. I mean, that, that amount of troops is just... It would be stupid not to. Oh, no. Not like this, Sigmar. Not like this. Okay, so we're about to butter some bread so hard here. That Blight Boil. Oh, Franz going in for it. Oh, man, Franz. You overextended, buddy. Oh, the Blight Boil just wrecked that whole pocket of troops. Okay, so these guys can just bump and grind over here. They have, they have all the goodies. These are just pistoliers. Franz is going for the duel. Let's pop this. Let's do this. Get you guys moving in to fight. Hounds have chewed on those guys. Let's get them up on the high ground. Move you guys up. Giants come in. Dude, Carl Franz going out like a, like a true hero. Uh, we should probably do healing elixirs. And uh, we can actually keep you guys back here since we're going to get flanked by a pretty big army soon. So we'll just kind of like preemptively set up for that. Franz is like cycle charging. He's like trying all hard, trying to trying to be like a movie scene hero here. Okay, so let's get you, let's get you, and uh, get these Forsaken to chase down these units. All right, let's move you in here. How are the characters doing in the chariots? A little bit of damage. We could use the AOE heals. Okay, we've almost got Franz. He's he's running from us. Let's go Mortis Engine and Park Festus here, and just get the giants to go after him. S Sigmar is trying to preserve himself, but. It's looking a little bit bleak for the man. Uh, swordsman. Yeah, the fact that like the armies are reinforcing. All right, this is the end of France. 
Dude, you were he was a Chad though for sure. He was. Oh he's holding. Franz is unbreakable from something. So we need to get Dr. Festus in here. Let's do another Blight Boil right there. Just because it's super cool. Okay, Franz is down. He's wounded. He he has a char fantasy character plot armor, so he should be fine. Alright, so let's uh, run into the back of these swordsmen. Blight Boil of Doom. Oh, the big the big stink. Doing the doing the work. So Festus is mortising, I think. Is he? Uh, I don't know if he is. For some reason it wasn't going off. Okay, that's strange. Yeah, Franz was good though. He he did work. I'm I'm proud of him. So we're charging into these guys. We still have another Sigmaride army coming here, but we can get some shielded warriors to buffer them out. More dissensions going down. Um, honestly, not too many streams. What we could do is another... Oh, this is actually a really good stream spot. So we'll just do this like so. That should pretty much wreck them. Lord Nurgle is so good. It does everything. It heals. It has good crowd clearing. It's uh, very, very good. All right, so we have the other Empire Lord here who's kind of kicking Festus's butt a little bit. So let's uh, get him his giants. Festus is not a good fighter. Like, he's not terrible, but... You know, all chaos stuff is like usually decent at fighting, but in general, Festus isn't isn't the best. I'm glad we're getting the entire empire in one fell swoop, though. Like they just came in for their uh, for their big final stand. All right, Blight Boil of Doom, Shielded Warriors, and it looks like it's mostly a rout. Oh god! Oh, that's gonna do so much damage. Oh, oh, oh god! So filthy! I love it. I'm really glad we ended up doing a Festus campaign. I, I, he's a lot more fun than Valkia. I played Valkia a little bit last night, and she was very cool. But the Nurgle magic and just some of the characters, and so let's just go chase this guy down. Make sure he doesn't come back. Let's get the Mortis engine over here. Oh my God, the drain! Festus is already up to like four thousand value, and, and he's just getting started, man. Oh, I'm just getting started. All right, let's go over here. So that guy's getting hunted. Let's get one Nurgle man to chase here. As if the Giants are going to catch the Pistoliers. Oh my god, the Blight Boils are so nasty, dude. Can't wait to steal Chair Franz with Azazel, yeah. Or Azazel, whatever the hell his name is. I'm gonna, I'm never going to pronounce that correctly. Correct. I'm always going to mangle that just for the memes. It can't be said right now, it has to be said wrong. Uh, Alright, so, looking pretty over. Your boy Festus is going to come here with the two Exalted characters. We'll just continue chasing these guys off. Oh, it looks like there's more reinforcements coming in the side. Oh, that's sad. A little bit late to the party. Those are spearmen with shields. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, my God. Is this actually going to work? Am I going to be able to get a Blight Boil? I don't have enough magic right now. Okay. So, um, these are some swordsmen. We've got the Lord being chased down. Hounds are getting the hunt on. Let's use Curse of the Slug. Slow down their advance a little bit. I suppose we could just move in. With these, like, two giants here, I think we should crump them pretty good. So we've got them nice and bunched up. Uh, we do have enough for a Blight Boil on the edge of the map, so it's going to be pretty good. You guys hunt them. Hunt them. Oh, man, that's going to be nasty. You guys ready for this? Oh, such filth. Dude, that spell. I love that spell. Look at that. Just instant breaks on the edge of the map. We might be able to get army losses here from these guys. Infest is coming over with a Mortis Engine on the edge of the map. It's going to be pretty gross, too. Man, we couldn't kill that level 9 character. I thought the Hounds would get the job done. So a fair amount of Daka here, actually. Let's get the great weapons, get you guys in there. I think they're out of reinforcements here. Man, Nurgle in these big field armies is so slow, dude. It's so slow. Oh my god. The Giants are being draw kited. We need some tournament attack rules. Okay, well, that's, that looks like enough of that, so let's get you chariot men over there. Hey, you know, at least the giants are taking a beating, and we're going to be able to heal them using our uh, our dudes. Yeah, okay. So they got army lost. Uh, so now what we do is we gather our giants, we put Festus in healing mode, and we get our characters. Let's put them all in four, and you guys can be degrouped. Add them to group four and check this out. So we should be able to do some fat, fat cheat codes here. So we're going to use the Locus of Fecundity as a heal. Heal up the giants. Nurgle OP. When that wears off, which it should have by now, we'll use another Locus. Festus is coming in. He's all happy and jolly. He's like, ooh, this rules, man. Overcasted Fleshy Abundance. Big AoE heal on the Giants. Oh my god. Oh, that's such filth. You could abuse SEM so hard in a Nurgle campaign. And he's... Look at that. Look at that. Full health Giants. 
Full health giants. Insane. Insane. I barely took any damage. Didn't Festus steal Chair Lewin after he killed Kugath in the end times? I don't know. Festus could definitely get someone in the end times, but to be completely honest, I don't even really look at end times as like canon. Like, I look at the storyline of Total War as like canon. It's the proper way that Warhammer Fantasy should have gone. So, for me, end times is just nonsense. I don't even like consider it a thing. Hmm. Yeah. You just have like all these awesome characters with like 30 years of history just like dying in like five minutes in some stupid books. It's like, come on. Uh, so yeah, the Empire Army, Fran Franz, le he led a valiant effort. Yeah, isn't that crazy, the healing? And you get extra healing cap as Nurgle, so it's just like even gross. Grosser, yeah. Okay, so almost there. Now we just need to clean up uh, the Empire, and then Festus is going to head to Bretonia after that, so he'll head to Bretonia. He's just going to methodically ponder about and... souls. Uh, let's take the casualty replant, actually. I because, like, uh, all those Empire armies are plagued and have attrition. Hey, look, an ally? Oh, yeah, dude. Sure, let's let's have the evil, haggard, cackling villains association here. Perfect. Perfect. End times is fan fiction? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Like, in, in, I, I wouldn't honestly see that. Here, here's my end game goal, guys. Someday, I'm going to, when I'm, like, in my late 40s, I'm going to go work at Games Workshop. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to climb my way up the corporate ladder until I'm the overlord. And then I'm just going to retcon all the end times lore. I'm just going to banish it to the Shadow Realm. It will, it will be forever scratched from history. It will happen. You guys just wait. Uh, yeah, okay, so we don't have any facils. <laughs> all right, so let's take this real quick. Uh, you know what? We could just raise it. Whatever. Although, yeah, that money is pretty nice. I did kind of want to like have Altdorf as like a like a mini home for us, but I guess this is faster in terms of progression. So whatever, let's do this. Screw it. The empire will be a wasteland, but it's just going to be resettled. But the the decent part about it being resettled is, is I can um, like look at these these objectives. Like I'm already like, I feel like I should be close to winning the short campaign by now. Okay. Um, an apple a day. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's make Festus tank here. I think we got all the top trees. Um, Aura of Chaos's Missile Resist is pretty good. So for Redline Tree, yeah, so armor for all non-demonic infantry. and may, So that's pretty cool. It's been kind of streamlined. Yeah, I can get chosen now. Yeah, so it's just buffs for non-demonic stuff. For all non-demonic cavalry. Yeah, so it's basically all non-demons. The blue tree, lightning strike, uh, we could do blessed by evil. Yeah, the blue tree doesn't seem that necessary here. So we get our caster tree, magical reserves, and now we can go down red tree, I think, with Festus, and we'll buff, we'll buff the chosen. I think I do have a chosen now, let's see. No, not yet, actually. Oh, here he is, wait. Am I not rank seven? Maybe I need to be gold or something? There we go, okay. So chosen of Nurgle with great weapons, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Sign me up for those guys. Those guys are so metal. And now we're going to get the tech tree for them, too, so it's going to be even better. The Empire... Uh, the AI has always struggled. Like, Empire AI has always been pretty terrible, honestly. And let's get Scarred Veteran for the tankiness. Oh, I think there was a unique skill up there I didn't notice. Infernal Champion. Okay, I should get that one. That one's pretty good. All right. Life's good, man. Festus is just chilling. The Empire is being taken down. Nurgle, yeah, Nurgle shouldn't be able to ambush. <laughs> Doesn't really make sense. Usually people see Nurgle coming from a mile away, but the entire lore is there's nothing you can do about it. It's like this it's like this Thanos, inexorable tide, right? It's like Nurgle is inevitable. That's like the whole kind of thematic of Nurgle. So yeah, we'll continue our siege. It's fine. We're in no rush there. I don't feel like dealing with that. It's kind of a pain. Uh, so we got that going, which is good. Destroy. He's got the plagues. The brass keep is on its way up. Mindenheim, we want to get the eco building going. That is where. Oh, never mind. That puts us in the red. Wow. Okay. I guess we're not doing that right now. What other buildings could we get here? Control income from all buildings, adjacent, allied, or um, yeah. So this is just this is. I mean, twenty percent on top. Doesn't feel worth. 
Are there any more chaos shrines down here? Like big scary lands? I don't think so. Like how the hell am I gonna get these? I guess I just have to become allies. Hey, it's Bellicor. What's up, dude? Oh, of course Grom the Ponch will be my homie. What? I'm down to be homies with Grom. So quick deal, let's see who will take non aggressions. Whatever you was offering. Yeah, let's be friends with Grom. That'll be fun. Okay, so Legions of Chaos. I would like to become pals with them. 4,000, yeah. We need to become friends with the Demons of Chaos because that's the only way we're going to be controlling those side territories that we need for our victory condition. It's like the only way. Okay. Uh, do we have damaged buildings here? We could repair these. I think they give you... Yeah, not a whole lot, but whatever. Let's just do that so it stops asking me. Any plague? So Middenheim does not have a plague, which is a problem. So let's just put this one, this one plus that should be fine. We're just trying to unlock the the all the all the selections. It's not the most optimal plague, obviously. Yeah, no, we have we have Grom and and Haggard uh, and the Haggard vampire count guy Heinrich. The grand dude. I just want to keep playing all day, man. I wish I didn't have to go. God. I have an appointment I have to go to. I I literally like look, I have like the most biblical hair. I look straight out of the old testament right now. So I'm getting a I'm getting a haircut today, so I gotta gotta go jam. I'll be back on tomorrow though. We're gonna we're gonna stream this again like for the next couple days until we finish it. Um because I want to finish this campaign before the launch so I can focus on tournaments and all that. I will for anyone who's here enjoying campaigns though, I will be having a constant campaign on the channel, whether it's a head to head or even a solo campaign. I really want to do a Count Noctilus one. That's one I've been kind of really, really feeling. Okay, see, so the Empire took Altdorf again, which is fine. We'll, we'll be back for it. We're just going to kind of keep shambling about here. Really? You're going to get rid of my Hound? That's eh, okay. Uh, the Hound has been pretty useful, though, to be honest. Although, we could just re-recruit it. It's not like a huge deal. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just, get, we'll just get the hound back. And, um. Like, I almost want to occupy it so we don't play whack a mole. Yeah, whatever. I don't think it really matters. Alright, let's get the shrine. Keep expanding. And Devoted of Chaos. So now we're going to get the Chaos Vanguard. So melee attack for all. That's going to start buffing up our, our basic warriors, right? Oh, we have another Chosen, baby. The Chosen of Nurgle are growing in power. Oh, Chaos Knights. Yeah, screw Hounds. We can get Chaos Knights. Let's get some Lances. Oh, yeah. Chaos Knights of Nurgle. That's so cool. Can we get another one? Rank 6. Dude, we're just going to get Chaos Knights and Chosen. Just this thick, thick Nurgle metal army. Continue the siege here. Oh, baby. Sign me up for that. How could the Plague Lord himself not have, a, not have enough, something going on here? If only I could do more each turn. Uh, all right, so let's pass. Chaos Knights obviously have pretty expensive upkeep. The buzz cut? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> no, I look pretty haggard with buzz cuts. I'm keeping the beard though. I have a I have a really pretty substantial beard right now and mustache. It's horrible. It looks so bad. I truly have a saint of a wife to put up with it. Armored Legion of Nurgle, dude. Yeah, I want to I want to get some Chaos Knights. So we actually win this, which is hilarious. Look, these two Empire stacks lose to the shit house garrison. I love it. All right, so let's take the uh, let's take the souls. It's fine. See, this is why it's good to have those like settlements, man. I don't know. I don't know what's optimal. I really don't. So the empire is almost gone, and then I guess we'll just colonize the remainder of it and. Uh, it seems hard to support more than one army as Chaos. I don't know. I'm sure there's some tricks for making a ton of money with Nurgle that I'm missing. Um, but with, we don't have any vassals. It's like the other Chaos factions have vassals near them, but with Festus, we don't. Okay, so yeah, we can... I wonder if he's going to settle that. Uber's Reich should be able to fend off this Haggard army. So back to Altdorf we go. Okay, so Maddening Gifts. Okay, so we got the Maddening Gifts now, so now we have a Nurgle, another Nurgle gift. We should have another Nurgle slot, right? Wait, do we not? So, plus Moan Maximum Gifts of Nurgle. 
Oh, no, no, we're researching it now. Okay, just finish this. Unlocks bonus growth effects for the Dark Fortress military buildings. That's cool. Oh, yeah, so look, we get growth from our Dark Fortress buildings now. That's pretty cool. Um, let's get this for the post-battle loot to try and balance our economy out. Festus doesn't get vassals. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. He does not have any vassals. So maddening gifts for the extra Nurgle action. We have plagues everywhere. Um, we continue the Great Siege over here until we can get... Yeah, see, now we can get a good auto-resolve on them, so... We're just going to do that. Alright, um, let's occupy it. Hey, look at that! The cultist camp which of gold. We get Nurgle Corruption. Eh. Path to glory. Let's devote you to the Plague God. How much do we have in terms of uh, souls? Okay, we have 12,000 souls, so yeah, we can devote him to Nurgle, because that's the plan. Okay, so check this out, guys. We can ascend to Nurgle Demonhood at level 20 with this character, which is super cool. Um, rank up in channeling stance, reach level 15, and Blight Swarm. Okay, he gets some cool stuff. And let's go ahead and get the Children of Nurgle and just level up that tech tree. He can be devoted to Nurgle as well, which we're going to do. Cool. So now we have the Nurgle characters coming out in full force. I like the second army, man. It's pretty cool. We, uh, we, got, we got quite the crew here. Don't really need more. New gifts unlocked. So we have a new gift. Let's go ahead and see what that is. I like Lore of Nurgle. I, I think it's fun. Lore of Death is good too, though. Like... Although, eh, Purple Sun, honestly, Nurgle's better. Blight Boil and Stream of Corruption, like, Nurgle's better than Death. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so what do we got here? Infectious Offerings. Experience gained for Nurgle Lords and Heroes. Melee Defense for Armies led by Nurgle characters, which we have. And Virulent Contagion for all Nurgle characters. Okay, that's actually not bad. Um, currently, what do we have active? We have the unit gain for... I think the unit gain for units is just better. So let's see what undivided stuff we have. We're pretty close, yeah, to getting... Okay, so nothing substantial there. Nothing too crazy there. So Festus is chilling. We have not... Is there anywhere where we, where we don't have the plague? We have this nice territory. We have this territory, which is going to be coming soon, I guess. We have this. Kariburg over here. Mid, we have all of Middenheim on lock. Pretty good little garrisons as well. All right, fast turn. Why would anyone want Lore of Death when they can have Lore of Nurgle? Yeah, Nur Nurgle is one of the best lores in the game. In both multiplayer and campaign, I think. It's like, you have huge AoE that's like cheap. And then you also have healing, which is one of the strongest mechanics in the game. So, yeah, what's not to love? So, look, dude, look at the just everything spreading here. It's crazy. It's crazy. You missed another soul thing unlocked. It was units being added to recruit. Yeah, I think it was just some like Furies or something or something insignificant. Yeah, Blight Boil seems good. That seems really good. Taryn, can you show the effects of level 10 Nurgle Authority? Where is that? Where is where is the authority? Can somebody let me know? I, I Just so I could find it quicker. Next battle, can you zoom in on the Nurgle Chosen units? Yeah, we'll do that for you. We're gonna, we'll fight one, like, uh, one of these battles here, even though we don't need to, just to show you what the knights look like and stuff. We're not gonna fight at Altorf, though. It's just such a waste. Um, we need to max... Oh! Aspiring Champions! Huh. Do we want to get some Aspiring Champs? They are pretty expensive. It doesn't really feel worth it. It's, well, they've, they've joined us anyways. Okay. How are we doing on the plagues? We almost have this one. This one's pretty close. What do we need? 37 more times. All right. Bottom left corner. So here we go. Uh, casualty replenishment for Nurgle units. Upkeep for Nurgle units. Recruitment costs for Nurgle units. And warband upgrade costs are lowered for Nurgle units. Okay. And then Undivided gives you for Undivided units. Yeah, so here you go. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I just was spacing out there. Cool. Gold Sawbones. Gold Sawbones. Medium casualties, whatever, it's fine. Ooh, that was actually pretty heavy. Good thing we have Insane Casualty Replen. Get the dock set up. The Doctor is in. Will this Empire Army attack us? I seriously doubt it. Level 17, Infernal Champion, gives you some nice weapon strength, and for you, you have so much healing. It's so, so nuts. I don't know if, um, I don't know if the 
Aspiring champs are worth it. I, in my experience, I haven't liked them. One of the new undivided ones. Yeah, we don't have any of these yet. We're pretty close to getting a, a set of new ones here. Allegiance with Norska. Tribute from Vassal. See, yeah, we just can't. We can't. We have no Vassal, so. Pay the troll toll, buddy. Pay it. All right, so you're healed up almost. So next turn, you'll be good to go. Wolfenberg. Let's go ahead and get uh, this plus this. Just to get the old uh, unlock there. So we'll pop that. So that plague is going to be spreading. He is ready. Looking mighty cool. Pastor. As Azel sends his dreaded bots, I know. The Titanic meme was really funny, though. Oh my god, that was great. So yeah, we got our little uh, slice of the pie here, man. With the modded confederation with Archeon, do you think new champions will lose too much research bonus? I don't know. Yeah, not something I've looked into, my friend. Okay, so the Empire is just haggardly running around. They Eventually they will. I think they don't have any settlements left. Oh, never mind. They have the fortress up in the hills. Which maybe we, we can go we can go siege to the fortress. Are there cool? No, Nurgle doesn't have a unique aspiring champion. So for me, it doesn't feel like it. Marco, I have seen that trailer and I'll certainly be playing it on the channel when it comes out. Yeah. Okay, so... Hey, buddy, what's up, man? You want to be friends? Okay, never mind. They're, they're pissed. They don't like Festus stinking up the place. Oh, no. Everybody hates me. Everybody hates Festus. I don't blame them. He's just really making a mess of things. Yeah, so... No, the Empire... This is the last of the Empire here. They don't have any territories left. Wait, they says they have two. Why would they, why would they attack here? Oh, they're just raiding. Okay, that makes more sense. So let's let Big Daddy Festus get his army to full health before we go push out. Um, you are good. So where is this? Castle of Von Rauken. I think we can take this. And then we're actually getting into Kislev territory, which is another one of the factions we need to take out. Yeah, we still have plenty of time on the plague here. Um, we could auto that. That's fine. Okay, let's occupy that. Make the defensive building. Let's recruit some new stuff for this core. Get some Marauders and just kind of work on them. We do want to switch them into Nurgle Marauders, though. So you just click the tab here, and then we can get some great weapon ones. Just in case. All right, cool. So we're spreading the love of old Papa Nurgle. Stream of Corruption. For sure, the auto-take. Hey, look at this! Throg! Finally, friend! Oh, does he not want it? Oh, Throg. We're friendly. Why would you not take a non-aggression pact, dude? And a trade agreement? We could be we could be glorious trading partners, Throg. I'll do a little bit of diplomacy next turn. I'm kind of a little poor at the moment, so... I cannot. Um, Festus. Yeah, the Empire doesn't really have much left to do. They, I think they just have this. Random-ass territory, and... I need to make sure to finish the Empire, though. So, healing. Yeah, Throg is going to be... Throg and I are going to be best friends. I can already tell you that. Let's get those upgraded. The Gift of Chaos is chilling. You're hanging out. Festus has got the plagues. He's got the plagues with the fur. Getting to Throg is too hard, though. How do I get... It would take me, like, 20 turns. Yeah, it's going to take a long time to get up there. How's the camp campaign map performance? Okay, my computer, I said this earlier, my computer is kind of dated. It's from like 2016. I, it's had like one or two small upgrades and it's running the game as you see. So it's it's really not too bad. So yeah, Empire just running around till their armies are like, dude, this plague is brutal. Like a lot of times before the fighting even happens, the enemy armies are just like on death's bed. Let me tell Throg about my best friend. I need to I need to uh, be buddies with Throg. Because he will own some of the territories that I need to win. The Chaos Victory conditions are really, really haggard with with Festus. Because you don't start with Vassal, so you don't like own... Okay, fertility rights. That's cool. Um, looking nice and replenished. Norden is owned by Throg, which is a little bit irritating. He wants a thousand G's. Whoa, wait. Guys, Throg is strength rank one. Whoa. Throg is strength rank one with 13 settlements? What the hell is this? You guys see that shit? Since when is Throg ever ever decent? Ever. Okay, so they're fleeing. Bretonia's coming. It's 
Yeah, dude, there's so much I want to do. There's so many, like, directions to go. It's kind of hard to decide, to be honest. But the cool thing about Big Daddy Festus is we will fight this battle here. Yeah, this will be a fun one. I could auto it, but I think we'll fight it for you guys to show you the Chosen and the Chaos Knights and stuff like that. So, Dude, Throg is just karate chopping. Yeah. Throg, carry me. Carry me to victory. If Throg takes all those territories, that's one way I can I can get the victory is just have him, like, controlling everything. Dude, Giga Chad Throg, I know. Time to pay the troll till. I love it. All right, you guys ready to see the Chosen of Nurgle in action? They will eviscerate everything. Oh, the great weapons are so cool. The, the haggard armaments of the Empire will certainly not save them. Festus in his eight chins of glory. Throg is inevitable. Yeah, he, well, thankfully he's on my side, so I had to pay him a little bit, you know, but that's all right. I feel like Chaos often doesn't have, like, high strength ranks because they don't, like, own a lot of infrastructure, so they kind of are rated a little bit lower, but I don't know. That's something I've noticed. So um, let's get all of you guys and just show you right now. So here's the Chosen of Nurgle. Check these guys out. They, you, don't, you don't get much cooler than this. Yeah, they're rad. These ones look a little undivided, though. Yeah, no. Is it, is it just me, or do these look like the Undivided Chosen? I've seen the Nurgle Chosen. They look different than this. Let me see if another unit looks the same. Yeah, they kind of are somewhat similar. There might be a little bit of a bug. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to... Those look like the Undivided ones. Let's look at the Nurgle Knights. They still look rad. Okay, so maybe... Oh! I think they look like slightly more Undivided since I'm playing Warriors of Chaos. When I was doing the Nurgle campaign and looking at them with Kugath, I think they looked more Nurgle, Nurgle-esque. I could be wrong, but nonetheless, they're ready to party. All right, so Festus is going to be taking the, the Beatdown Squad right down the middle. Um, pretty good angle for him here. Take you guys. They have Nurgle crests on their helms. Yeah, makes sense. And take the warriors on the other side. So the warriors will go here with the two chariot characters. Two. And we can have the giants roll here too. We can have one giant on either side actually. Festus can also take a giant. Two and two. Beast of Nurgle can be rolling dirty with you guys since Festus just is super OP. Forsaken, I honestly want to just get rid of him. And Chaos Knights are just going to try and... Hmm, how can I sneak into the city? Looks like there's some Empire reinforcements coming in. Oh, yeah, it's a sizable little army coming. You know what? We could actually... Uh, when do they come? So a minute 48 in. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have some units over here to meet the Empire army and battle them. Including the Beast of Nurgle. So we'll put you guys in four. That should be enough to beat this army, actually. I think... Yeah, it should be enough. We'll find out. All right, start deployment, start battle. All right, let's get in. Let us go ahead and get in. Oh, I still have Vanguard deployment. That's right. Could have been a little bit closer, but it's all good. All right, so let's get this party started. We have we have these guys who are going to meet the Empire reinforcements when they come, which will be very very heavy metal. Let's get the Mortis. The AI is just like you know what I uh, I just don't feel like fighting you. I'm just not going to, which is always fun. So we'll take the capture points. We have the chariot characters in there. If they could get some sort of a mortis item. Oh my god, look how quickly they killed those swordsmen. Damn. That is really good. Alright, so they haven't come yet. They'll be here in like three or four seconds. AoE heals, because heals for the heal god. And uh, the chosen are just being ignored, basically. They're just like, nobody wants to fight them. I don't blame you. Alright, spearmen come. You guys come up here. Let's get some of you guys there. And now we get to do the Chaos Knights of Nurgle, which I'm pretty excited for. Yeah, complete route over here, obviously. So we should be able to claim the city fairly quickly. Um, let's send a warrior over there, too. Hold Sawbones provides. I love it. How's this looking here? Uh, I don't know about any changes about ladder. Yeah, I'm not sure. We might actually just win before it matters. Okay, so let's do this. Have Dr. Festus waddle in here. Fly boil them. Looking good. Um, any other towers that need to be taken? We got warriors going down there. Light boil should finish them off. Ooh, nasty. And up here. Alright, Chaos Knights and Nurgle about to get down and dirty. 
We could just kite them back a little bit until we're ready to fight. Yeah, Beast of Nurgle's great. And we just have one for the debuff. He's he's obviously not the best choice in the world, but... What the hell's this? Are they trying to take their shit back here? How dare they? Alright, Chosen, let's go. Let's go fart on these state troopers. Okay. The dreaded flatulence has come. Let's get the Beast of Nurgle and company to go deal with this guy. Chaos Knights will go and uh, hammer. Yeah, Chosen are so cool. They're just rad. They're really slow though, guys. They have like 20 speed or something. What is it, like 23? Oh my god, that's so slow. Alright, let's see how like a... Uh, Nurgle units aren't known for their damage, but we'll see what kind of work we can get done here. I don't even need to fight this army. I'm just going to cap the whole city. Okay, so... Let's hunch. Oh, the spearmen are getting in the way. Okay, um... Everything's pretty much taken. We have the whole city, and then that should just end it. Chaos Knights are just maneuvering about. The Haggard Trolls are trying. Let's go around the back. Fast forward a little bit. Alright, so here we go. Now we got the Apocalyptic Charge. Okay, what the hell? Lost Sight. Oh yeah, dude. Just big Metal Knights. That's so cool. So those archers are gonna fold in a couple seconds. It'll it'll be over, it'll be over quickly here. Yeah, so we we got the character. Uh, the main capture point in the city should be ours very soon, and I'm pretty sure that just ends it. Festus can start waddling out here to help. The siege the siege is continuing. Chaos Knights just absolutely crumping. We got to replace those armored trolls too. They've been with us a long time, but there's just far better choices. So. All right, so the cap point is ours. GG, Chaos Knight's having some fun. Shouldn't that just end it? I always thought that would end it. Uh, I guess not. Oh, there you go, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. The world will burn. We're not gonna get that much. We could chase here, but it's whatever. Yeah, the knights are actually like huge and imposing now, which is really cool. So that was the garrison. Helmet, the helmet man is still out there somewhere. We'll take this city for Nurgle. But yeah, those units are fun. We'll continue this campaign tomorrow. Um, I'll of course have a couple multiplayer battles going up. We had the uh, village and chosen build going up today, which is pretty good. We saw it against Greenskins. Got a really fun one in the next couple days, which features um, your boy Velikor versus uh, Imric. So that battle will be going up soon as well. Yeah, a knight doomstack could be okay. It would only the problem is you fight so many siege battles on immortal empires. It seems that you, they they're not they would be a, it would be a subpar army outside of auto resolve. It, it just wouldn't be that great, you know. Yeah, the chosen of Nurgle look really sweet, Zach. I agree, hundred percent, my friend. Okay, so let's do this, and uh, yeah, screw it. Give it to Big Papa. Give him the old Grunberg. Physical resistance for Chaos Warhounds and Manticores. Okay, that's kind of crappy. Do any of these give any garrison? Unlocks hero recruitment. Oh, look at that. Ritual Hut. So you can actually get Sorcerer recruitment from that. That's neat. I just like the defensive buildings, though, honestly. Festus, Festus the Leech Lord. Okay, so our troops are going to get more and more jacked as we go down the skill tree. Scarred Veteran. We have you, Woundmaker. Our economy is not great, but that's okay, because we are slowly making progress. Maybe we both puppets, but I'm oh, there you go. Look at look at Throg. Yeah, he's 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 stoked. He's he's digging it. If we could eventually get uh, some sort of an alliance with Throg, that would be the dream. <laughs> By Sigmar, yes. I think Sigmar is more of like a no this campaign. He's not been having a good time. Okay, so these guys are very weak. You could probably just march over there and just auto this down and see what that looks like. Ah, standard garrison. All right, so we'll get you. And he's just going to go rampaging into the east, trying to trying to spread the, the good word of Nurgle. Thick-skinned, sure, why not? Yeah, so we got our nice little spread. Uh, Nurgle is, is providing. Now, in terms of victory condition, though, look like... Controlling all this sucks. Yeah, we have to be friends with the Norskins to actually win. Although the basic campaign is on its way. Reichland needs to pay the troll toll. 
Hmm. So your boy Festus. No oh, Nolan is a dark fortress. Oh, yeah. Sign me up for that, dude. Nolan, Nolan all day. Yeah, so we get another dark fortress at Nolan. Surprised it's Nolan and not Altorf. That seems a little strange. So um, we will... Oh, Azag should be our friend, too. Can we, can we talk to him? Okay, looks like he died or something, or something happened to him. He's fading into the warp. Alright, great. So... Well, that was Bellacor. Okay. Yeah. So I guess we just win by becoming friends with all the other demon factions. That's that, basically. The map is huge. The map is huge. Okay, so let's take that. Um, raise it. We'll give us some souls. Could just sack it. Yeah, why not? Let's just sack it. Take the money. Then, yeah, we don't have enough movement for that, so we could march back to our own territory. I don't know if that actually helps with that much with replenishment. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Level 6, Stream of Corruption. He did have Voice of the Dark Gods. The leadership aura effects are always so weird. I feel like they should just get rid of them. I don't think we have any more hero slots, do we? No, we don't. Okay. So, looking around, Nuln will be our Dark Fortress. The big man's gonna go for it. Franz has got two territories. What does he have? I don't even know what he's rocking still. We'll get him eventually. The problem is France could confederate, so like the longer I let him live, the worse it is. So having a, a dark fortress down here is going to be very nice. Gunberg, let's get the garrison. Looks like we have all the plagues spreading everywhere, which is good. Yep, yeah, there's literally plagues all over, so we don't need to worry too much about that. Um, Festus has got his for another 11 turns, so apparently it just keeps going further and further down. All our forest is at war with us, too. Oh my god, the Slanesh bots, dude. They're just so relentless today. Yeah, the upkeep on the Chosen is a lot. That's the only thing. It's going to make it kind of hard to maintain an economy here. So we got a new Chaos Gifts? We did, yeah. I think we did. So Undivided Authority, we don't really care about that. Nurgle. Okay, units will be gifted instantly, so rot flies. Yeah, like, it just seems... The demons don't seem that good, so I think going for these kind of effects is better. Once we get a second Nurgle gift slot, which we don't... Oh, we do have that. Okay. Wait, no, it doesn't. It's currently locked. It will be done in a couple turns, though. Play Azazel and let the bots run free, I know. The whole chat, the whole stream would just be that. <laughs> Alright, so Nuln is our next target. We're just gonna auto that bad boy. We gotta become friends with Azag. I think he would. I think he's down. Most of the orcs have seemed to like us because we're beating up the Empire and the humans and stuff, so... The orcs seem... They seem down to party. Yeah, the Sigmarites are in a lot of trouble. Like, the plagues just keep spreading into their lands and weakening their armies and... But I see Lewin coming from the north. Like, I don't know if he's gonna actually come down here. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, Nurglings are cheap. They are. But, like, my... Festus' skill tree buffs most of the other stuff. Okay, so Null... Null needs to go. Okay. So, let's see if I can find... Oh, that's actually Kislev here. Interesting. I would like to discover Azag. So, I could just take this. I could take this and then gift it... Oh, I could take this territory and then gift it to Azag to get him to like us. Okay, plagues are being spread everywhere. Hmm. It probably isn't a bad idea. Okay, so big boy should be an easy auto. Okay, medium casualties. Dude, look how much damage I took. That's absurd. So we got another Dark Fortress, which is the business. Because these give you a ton of money. Um, let's go ahead and get the defensive supplies so I don't lose it while I'm out and about. Look at that. Our eco is actually almost like stable. We haven't done itemizing in a while. So let's do that. Um, armor of Silvered Steel. Gambler's armor is decent. Talisman. Uh, we could we could combine two of those. City and amulet's a sad one. We can do that in the Crown of Command. Oh, they're different item types. That's right. Yeah, too bad. All right. So yeah, we didn't have too much in the, to begin with there. Can we take Throg's? Well, Throg is one of my military allies right now. We've been we've been good pals. I would imagine Azag will like me. He's he's probably going to be down. Hmm. So Empire has this random-ass dwarf city in the hills. 
Uh, this army is perhaps going to Uber Strike? But Uber Strike's pretty well defended. Isleheart is there. You can see even the neighboring armies are getting the plagues. Little goblins are, they're all about it. Hey, there he is. Okay, there's my boy. So I want to become military allies with like all these random armies here. Okay. Because that will help me with my victory conditions. If we just, we just have the evil tide basically. Okay, uh, that's done. Now heading back up to Kylas here. I feel like he needs, he needs something better. We need to come up with a name for Kylas, guys. Aaron Grad is here. It's not a dark fortress. Norden is owned by Throg. I do have a quest to raise or sack Norden, which is pretty funny. Unfortunately, that's not a good idea. Yeah, those, those quests aren't going to be that useful. I could get mammoths from Throg. Yeah, that's true. That would be pretty rad to have a mammoth or two in my armies. So Kislev does need to pay the troll toll also, but Kislev's army is going to be... Yeah, Ice Court needs to die. Let's see how strong Ice Court is. So we have one of their territories here. Ooh, Ice Court only has four settlements. Okay, they're they're not in good shape. Honestly, this guy could probably take out the Ice Court, so let's do that. Not likely. So we'll take this. Should be an easy auto, considering we did it that last turn. Uh, we'll occupy it, just to give us like replenishment and momentum going towards the enemy armies. Magic items drop in adjacent regions. Wounds of magic, casualty replenishment, more Nurgle corruption. I think just the walls will do. Hearts of Iron, bigger loss. That's not a bad one. Okay, so some of these guys are leveling up. I think they can be ascended to warriors. No, not quite. They're close, though. Call him the Blightlord Terminator. <laughs> just Blightlord Terminator. Just a unit title. I love it. That's great. Uh, Nuln does not have a plague, which is a, which is a crime against Nurgle, so we need to make sure. Ooh, okay, we have Nurgle's Rot, so what does this do? Physical resist, yeah, this one's so much better. Character experience and casualty replenishment. I mean, dude, how can you even compete with that? Yeah, I feel like the Empire is not going to be able to muster anything. I mean, they might like cheese random bases here and there, but we don't care. That's one really cool thing about Warriors of Chaos. Like, you, the only thing you care about are your Dark Fortresses. Everything else you just just ignore and just, it's nice to have it, but if you don't have it, it's like... I cannot wait to get my scalp. Oh, Gelt wants a piece, dude. All right, Gelt's going to get some. He's going to get the uh, steel chair here. Oh, did they actually come siege me while I was injured? Oh, that's pretty funny. Look at this. All right, this will be the last one we fight. Then I got a jam. Although I might be running late if I do this. Yeah, so Nuln came to fight me. You could see one of them's in March Dance. And um, Festus, though, should be able to just heal through any of that, especially since we're in the city. Okay, the Empire's coming. Did not expect that. Uh huh. Yeah, just eight troopers. I mean, we're damaged, sure, but we'll sally forth. Do we have any garrison here? Yeah, Festus is so overpowered, we should be fine. Although, this is a pretty good catch for them, for sure. They caught us in the old siege. They're not plagued at the moment. Yeah, this could actually be a little bit stressful. Do have any warband upgrades? Nah. Okay, so you, buddy. We have an army of the Ice Court marching past us. Probably can just take that out. Chaos Strategist, I think, is better Yeah, for the campaign movement and whatnot. The Empire Strikes Back, right was when I was saying they could do nothing. Acceptable. Where is he going? He's going up to Arangrad or something? No. Oh. All right, so yeah, we have our Dark Fortress. The problem is they're just going to siege us forever until our army's dead, so we need to go fight while we're healthy. Mostly, yeah, this army is like kind of trash. So we'll save that for tomorrow's stream, just because I'm going to be late if I don't go now. So um, let's go ahead and save this bad boy. Let's do this. So that's going to be how we open up tomorrow, is we're going to have this battle for anybody looking to see that. Um, Kylas is just going to keep... Just rampaging through the lands, basically. So he's going to go take out Kislev here. So we'll destroy all of Kislev's territories. And uh, yeah, Festus is just going to secure the Empire here. We'll head up to Alhard, actually. We can secure our uh, our Altorf province. And a lot of our allies are nearby. Yeah, Grom is it's getting better with us. They don't like treaties with the Barrel Legion. Huh, that's a shame. What? Sylvania. Hey, Vlad. Let's talk, buddy. Vlad and I are going to be homies. 
Who's your favorite Nurgle character in fantasy? I don't know. I don't know the lore well enough. Tamarkan, I think, is aesthetically really cool. But I don't know the lore well enough to really give you um, a good answer on that. I know, like, the Empire characters pretty well, but... Yeah. Well, that's going to be a good spot tomorrow, guys. So we will... Um, this is going to be easy, too. Like, Festus, the two chariot characters, the giants, Chaos Knights, just running around in a healing blob. Like, Gelt's level 11. I'm, like, level 27. So we're going to just absolutely crush it, especially since this army is in reserve. But it's all state troopers, which Festus is kind of a raid boss, you know. We should be able to heal, so not going to be a problem. They'll have to kill us, like, ten times over. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. That was super fun. If you enjoyed this uh, stream, please do drop a like. let lets me know what you guys enjoy. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, we have Chosen. This is a joke. Yeah, it'll be really, really easy. Can we actually upgrade any of these guys to Chaos Knights? Yeah, we can. Ooh, look at that. So let's do that. No, we don't have the money. Okay, we'll do it later, though. Should be fun. And we'll be back tomorrow. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow earlier. We're going to be streaming early tomorrow, so it'll be pretty good for those of you in Europe and for those of you in the States. Help you guys get through your work hours and hopefully a little bit better for those of you all around the world. Thank you for joining. Tomorrow we smash Balthazar Gelt with Festus, and uh, we continue on our merry way. Adios. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And uh, Nurgle bless his ravaged body.